All right, if I play this song, it's going to get the MC8. <laughs> Gramps, good time zone to you. How you doing? Pleasure to see you. If I play that song right now, I am going to easily gonna, I'm easily going to get the MC8. No, George is going to come after me, so I got to be careful. George Lucas is, uh, as much as I want to play some Star Wars music, it is very scary to play that. <laughs> so I can't do it. Even though I want to. Uh, but anyway, good time zone. We are here. We have just uh, about 20, less than, less than, let's say, we have 17 minutes left until this premiere drops. If I, if I refresh this, it should be, yeah, 12 minutes. So we, we should be good to go very soon. And we have the Bungie one ready to go. How are you, by the way, Gramps? Are you excited? Okay, let me actually find a song that does not destroy my stream. Um, copyright free. I, I highly, I highly. Oh man, I don't know if this is going to be anything royalty free. I don't even know if this is going to be royalty free, man. Star Wars music scares me. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. I love the music in Star Wars, but I also know that if I play one song, it's going to be. And this is, yeah, I can't even use Samuel Kim either. As much as I love the Duel of the Fates, one of my all time favorite songs, I just can't use, can't use any of these things. Yikes. Not any of these songs I can use on stream. Oh. Yeah, Star Wars and Destiny the same day. My goodness. Yeah, I am super, super hyped. As both a Star Wars and a Destiny fan, I am truly, truly excited right now. Uh, I guess I can just run this. Because I can't, I can't find anything else that would actually work on stream. So, oh, yo, what's going on, Beast? Good to see you, brother. Maruno, hello, hello. Good to see you. Good time zone to both of y'all. Does Star Wars have a new game coming out? Yes, this is Star Wars Outlaws. This game is coming out. And apparently the game's release date has already been leaked, but I'm not looking at that. I just want to watch this trailer. I want to see what the story is about. But this is the newest game coming out very soon. It's called Star Wars Outlaws. No, Maruno, don't spoil it. Oh my gosh. No, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see the the, the the month or the anything. I don't want to see leaks. No. I had to close my eyes on that one. Oh, I wanted to watch. Cause I'm, I'm sure they, I'm sure they'll release the, the 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 date in the trailer, right? Oh my no, no! I've been tainted. <laughs> I didn't want to see it. Uh, okay, I have to just block it with my my hand. Uh, oh yes, I remember seeing a teaser for it. Yeah, I am super super stoked. Like, I am extremely hyped for this game, and as a huge fan of Star Wars, I am looking forward to this open world experience, because being a bounty hunter is going to be super fun. And right now, the main character looks cool. I think her name is Kess. I forgot her, I forgot her name now. But I just can't wait for this game. This, this is going to be an extremely fun, fun experience. The completely brand new, fresh Star Wars universe. The, uh, the game is going to have very unique worlds, but also familiar ones like Tatooine and everything. But I'm, I'm really curious to see how they're going to explore these brand, brand new planets and uh, traversing them. No. All right. 
So we have 10 minutes. But if you're a Star Wars fan, this is this is a game that will you yeah that you have to put on your your date. You have to put on your calendar. This is going to be an incredible new experience because we have for so long Star Wars fans have been like hungry for something new. <laughs> and so this is this is one of the the more rare opportunities <laughs> for us to bask in and it's ubisoft too so i mean there is promise in it because ubisoft they do a pretty good job with their open world games i mean assassin's creed is a good example i'm looking forward to it nevertheless less than less than 10 minutes now and we're going in but gramps i'm glad that you have you know, you have had nights to play, which is amazing. It's so good. It's going to be awesome to, to play some Onslaught with y'all. I'm, I'm stoked for, for just jumping into Onslaught fresh. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a day. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be a day. It's what, 12.53 in the, in the morning now, but I did sleep. I did sleep. I got a lot of rest today. I made sure to take a lot of rest today. Didn't really spend too much time doing Destiny stuff. I was just studying Japanese and uh, among other things, <laughs> but nothing much Destiny. I logged in for a little bit just to do some like build crafting, but other than that, I was I was like, you know what? Let me just save my hype. Man, one of these days I'm gonna have to figure out how to do like auto audio splitting, so I can actually play Star Wars music on stream, because Star Wars has some incredible music. The scores in this, John Williams is amazing. Uh, what time does reset happen for me? I believe it's around two a.m. Because just right after the final shape live stream that's likely when they're gonna go live with the servers because it's 10 a.m i believe 10 a.m or maybe 10 30 their time so that's probably around like 2 a.m 2 30 for me ouch yeah i know <laughs> just uh let's just say it's a dangerous time zone for me <laughs> the dangerous time for me to be awake I'm usually sleeping at this time, preparing for the stream in the morning. Yeah, exactly, Mardo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stream is uh, 30 minutes before the reset. So, I mean, I'll be up because I, I got my rest. So, uh, maybe I'll run a couple or maybe like one, <laughs> maybe one onslaught. I'll probably wander around and check out some of the, the in game design. And then maybe like tomorrow is when I'll go full all, like full all in. And yeah, Grams. John Williams is incredible. John Williams is like a childhood. He, he's a childhood composer for me. From, what was it from Indiana Jones to Jurassic Park to Star Wars? Like he was, he was like the epitome of like most 90s blockbusters when it comes to his scores I'll pop in for a bit but I have errands I gotta run most of the afternoon it's no problem it's no problem at all I'm just glad you're here now I'm glad you're all here for Star Wars that's the crazy thing I did not think that y'all be here for Star Wars but I'm glad to know that I have I have my <laughs> my followers for Star Wars I really can't wait for this. This is going to be great. Uh, I should probably go recording on. Yeah, I 
All right, so we are... We are now eagerly awaiting... We are eagerly awaiting the release of the official story trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. And I, for one, am looking forward to this. I grew up with Star Wars, watched all the movies. I've watched, I've watched them like several times. I think, I think the one movie that I watched the most, Star Wars wise, was likely Phantom Menace, I feel. Phantom Menace, I, I probably watched like three, maybe three or four times. Uh, and then of course I've watched A New Hope because they always put it on TV. Uh, what else have I really watched a lot of? I think, I think Empire Strikes Back I've only watched maybe twice. But Phantom Menace was just so good. John Williams and Danny Elfman have made so much great mu movie music. It's amazing. Yeah, they, their their catalog of music for movies, brilliance, brilliance. And the crazy thing is, John Williams is like in his nineties now, and he's still composing amazing stuff. His mind is so sound. Like even at that age, he's still as nimble as. As creative, crafty as, as he was back in, in the 90s, 80s even. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I know the date leaked. I don't want to talk leaks, man. No leaks. I, I can't do leaks. If, it, if it's Star Wars stuff and Destiny stuff, I can't do leaks. You know how I am, man. I'm not, I'm not into leaks. Can't do it. <laughs> Sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no pun there. The Ewok Christmas special was legendary. Now that I probably missed. <laughs> that I likely missed. <laughs> oh, two minutes. Two minutes. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, we're getting ready. I gotta close this down. <laughs> Control Japan. I did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, I. Good thing I didn't go on Twitter. I literally, I literally just got a couple hours of sleep in. Well, not a couple. I actually rested for most of the day, so I'm like really well rested. I am, I'm sharp right now. I'm awake. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's ironic because Japan is typically not very leak centered, and yet they leaked all the content, or at least the date, which is unfortunate. All right, I may have to actually stop this music because we're gonna we're gonna go in very soon. But yes, again, this is oh, it's one a.m. All right, we're getting ready. I have to pause. But yes, here we are. Star Wars Outlaws story trailer. Here we go. World premiere. Let's do this. I am super ready for this. This has to be full screen. I can't wait. I really cannot wait for this. This is going to be such an amazing experience. I have been waiting for this game for so long. I've been I've watched all the trailers for it. I've watched the gameplay footage. And if you if y'all are interested in it, there's plenty of footage out there. There's like a 20 20 to 30 minute gameplay trailer that they uh, dropped way back when. And I was completely blown away by just the gameplay itself. And when I first saw this being announced, at, at first I was a bit skeptical. I'm sure Sol and I can uh, can attest to that. But I think it was on the Xbox, the Xbox like trailer day, or I forget. I think it was like the 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 Jeff Keeley event, Summer Game Fest, I believe it was. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh! All right. Represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. Oh man. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. 
It's an opportunity to make millions. Oh, look at that. Okay, Vess. world's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now... He oh, Sliro. Gone. Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. Oh, it looks like they have some stealth mechanics in the game. I'm in. Oh my god, look at this world! Oh, is that Tatooine? You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. Come back when you're not. Jabba, right? Look, don't try it. Jabba. I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Nyx. The sidekick. We have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. Oh. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. Oh, the music. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Sliro. Best is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim. Is oh, look at this world. It looks so lush and beautiful. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lo! Please give me some dog fights in this game too. August 30th. Oh, <laughs> let's go, man. Oh, my goodness. What what an amazing story trailer that was. Oh, my gosh. Wow. OK, uh, there is a lot. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening there. And all I got to say is, wow, I'm OK. All right. I don't even know where to start, but. All I got to say is what an incredible trailer to get you pumped for what's to come. Sliro, cool, interesting character. Looks great indeed. And yeah, Gramps, I had the same mindset of like, what would a game about scoundrels be without stealth? So I imagine the gameplay is going to implement some form of stealth gameplay. Oh, it looks so good. Like there, there were some little sprinkles of gameplay in there, but this was of course mostly cutscenes. But but K, cool looking character, bounty hunter. Again, she fits. She fits the hunter role. Y'all already know hunter main right here. Oh man. Just just. Overall, the game just looks so well designed. It's a death wish. I'm in. Yeah, like right here. Oh no, no, what did I do? The, just the vast open world looks so beautiful. It's a death wish. Like this part right here. Oh my gosh. Just being able to, to go through all this is going to be amazing. On your little, uh, on your little motorbike or hover bike. This is going to be crazy to, to kind of run through. It's going to be amazing just to rush to this lush landscape. And this is going to be all open, by the way. Like this is just going to be a completely open world where you're just zooming. Crazy. What do you folks think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you folks excited for Outlaws? I know I am. Look forward, of course, to more Destiny 2. Look forward to more Star Wars. When this game drops, Outlaw drops, you can definitely bet I'll be streaming this for y'all. So until next time, as always, new warriors, stay strong, keep fighting, and may the Force be with you all, always. See you guys in August for Star Wars Outlaws with K-Vess and Nyx fighting for survival.
Take care, bounty hunters. Until then. All right. YouTube video done. Yay. All right. We we now can we can now talk destiny, guys. <laughs> we can now talk destiny. Destiny is about to begin. Where is it? Is it is it is it on? Is it live? Are we live? <laughs> Star Wars is getting a strategy game too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I didn't I didn't want to read during the uh, the recording. Okay, are we live now or what? Yo, Joe, good to see you. Good to see you, brother. How are you? Okay, we we are just waiting eagerly for for this moment, and I guess for now, I guess we can go back and just analyze uh, more of that because what an actual trailer that was. So yeah, August thirtieth is going to be an amazing day. I really like when Star Wars gets away from Jedi Sith storylines. Yeah, this is this is like one of the rare moments where we get to see Star Wars at a different, like from a different perspective, and most notably a bouncer hunter perspective. Of course, we have the Han Solo and everything, right? But you know, Han Solo has unfortunately, because this this story I think takes place during the time when I believe Han Solo was I think he was dead I can't I can't remember but in any case seeing seeing the seeing like Star Wars or at least the bounty hunter perspective is really refreshing because this is just gonna entail more action you know but yeah Joe I'm I'm super hyped I am very, very hyped. I'm in. Oh, but yeah, this this game just looks amazing. Like, wow, look at the attention to detail. The map design is incredible. Die by your reputation. Oh, yes, Tatooine. Oh, man. You want to survive? Know the players. And yeah, we're, we're all pumped, Joe. We are very pumped for what's to come. But even the voice actress sounds great too. Like everything look everything sounds and looks great. And I, I imagine that the gameplay is gonna involve you using Nyx in some way to gather resources, because you can see how Cage just uses Nyx to move in and grab a weapon. So I imagine it's gonna be part of the gameplay mechanic too. Using Nyx to attack. Gather items. Oh, if they give if they, if they give us some like Assassin's Creed traversal options too, that'd be pretty dope. Because I can see like this cutscene right here, which uh, where K is hopping off of roofs to roof. I hope we get some mechanics where we can just do some Assassin's Creed kills, you know, climbing rooftops and just like jumping on <laughs> clone troopers' heads and just smashing them. Yeah, or distracting. Yeah, that can be a great mechanic too for for Nyx. Oh man, and I also hope they add some sort of like dog fight mechanic because they did show some some battling there in the skies. But I swear this wait is Bungie not beginning yet? Are, are they late? Or am I late? They're late, right? They're probably late because I know according to my time, I, I I timed it too. I'm like okay, so just after the Outlaws trailer is when uh, they start. Okay, 20 minutes? Okay, good. Okay, so they're not late. All right. Also, Soul, now is the time for you to come into Destiny 2, man. As of today, the big reset happens. The big reset happens, and if you're a new light coming in, you can you can jump into the game, and you can be, like, right where I am. Like, you can literally jump into the game, skip all the, the new stuff, the new light quests, and you can you can basically pick your class and pick a loadout. And you can unlock all the cool armor that I have. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. Oh wait, what was a pre-order? Hold up. Come on, man. 
What is that? Oof. Okay, so there's gonna be definitely gonna be some outdoor battling. That was a nice hint right there. There's gonna be this is gonna be obviously traversing on the, the hover bike. So you can probably you can most likely travel across water. You're gonna be doing some fighting with some boars. <laughs> no map. Just like Europa. <laughs> and then this is what I was curious about. I'm hoping that we get some sort of dog fight. Like some dog fight gameplay in space. I'm seeing I'm seeing some some cool moments here. Oh, and they give us grappling. Okay, so there's got to be some grapple mechanic in the game too. Traversing from like place to like one place to the next. Because you know gameplay trailers, they'll always reveal things like that, or story trailers. Okay, so the kiss the Kessel Runner bonus pack. Okay, so you get Kay's little motorbike and her ship. Cool. And then you get three days early access through, oh yeah, what's it called? Uh, the Ubisoft Plus, I guess, or something? All right, well, come August 30th, I might have to be an Ubisoft Plus member. <laughs> That's what I gotta say. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, fun little bit where she raises the chair up. Yeah, a little comedic, you know, sprinkle in there. Man. In Star Wars, a ship is half the character of a smuggler. <laughs> That's actually insane. Oh my gosh. So you guys are like really heavy into Star Wars then. Gramps and Beast and uh, Maruno, Joe too. I already know Sol, Sol and I talk all the time. About Star Wars, so I I know that Soul is easily a Star Wars dude. <laughs> but yeah, just when that music kicks in, oh, like that moment when the music just popped up there, I was super super like excited. Like flashbacks just came into my brain when that 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 music came on. And I wonder what they're going to do. The one thing I'm curious about too is how are they going to make... How are they actually going to implement the traversing? Like from, let's say, planet to planet. That's what I'm also curious about too. Is how are they going to actually deliver on the player going from one place to the next? Because we obviously already know... We obviously already know that... What is going on? Why can't this play while I'm actually weird? Anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm curious as to how they're going to implement the traversing option. So I'm guessing maybe you see a planet on screen, let's say Tatooine or whatever, and you click on it, and I'm I'm assuming that you're either able going to travel manually from that like from one planet to the next, or it's like an auto travel, like a fast travel mechanic. That's what I'm curious about. Yo, Jersey Wu, thank you for that wonderful follow. Oh no, your streams are electrifying, and I'm hooked. Though I was scrolling, uh, scrolling to a friend's stream. I'd love to keep tuning in. So could you please add me on Discord? Oh no, hey Jersey, if you're a human, say hi. How are you doing? Does Williams do the music too? I'm not too sure actually. I'm actually not sure who is doing the music for this, but I imagine they're probably, imagine who's behind it is likely inspired by Williams. Because I can definitely hear the, the Williams inspired composing for sure. I've been GMing Star Wars, the role playing game for 20 odd years. <laughs> that's good. That's good to hear. Then I, again, I'm, I'm happy then. I'm very happy that, uh, I have a Star Wars community too, because I, I definitely want to talk more Star Wars and more sci-fi stuff on on stream, and it, it's nice to know that I can transition from Destiny to Star Wars and 
there will likely be no Discord. <laughs> Either something like Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, or maybe close to Starfield, one can hope. I would imagine it's the latter and not the former. Although, although Fallen Order did have a pretty decent traverse mechanic, uh, I definitely would say, much like you said, Maudano, if they gave us a, a Starfield-esque type of experience, not to the extent that it's Starfield, because obviously that was like a lot of work, a lot of investment went into that, but... If they gave us a, like a, a good way to take our our you know our ship and travel from one planet, it doesn't have to be a long journey, but it could just be a segment where along the way we're traveling, we experience a dogfight or something to give us that experience of being in the space, you know, being in the spaceship and us battling against you know the other enemies that are trying to fight against us. Ooh, okay. Perfect. Live on... Okay, perfect. I need to put this live so I can actually obtain my... Whatever they're giving away. Perfect. Good call on that. Oh, what about YouTube? I'm sure YouTube started too, right? No, YouTube's always late. Oh, no, here we go. Okay. Because I like watching the YouTube one because... Twitch is always laggy. But I'll keep I'll keep the Twitch one in the back because we're gonna get some rewards. So don't forget that, folks. There's always gonna be uh, emblems to give away. So peep that out. Make sure to watch Twitch for I don't know how long it was, but make sure to tune in for that. Get your drops. Wait, I'm right there with you, Maruno. I really hope that they give us something like a Starfield. As far as open world traversing, because I, for one, is a huge fan. It's a Brave Emblem? Ooh, even better. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep Twitch open. Make sure that can uh, stay in the back. Alright, so now I, I got to turn off my Star Wars brain and then transition into to Final Shape now. <laughs> More gameplay stuff, which is great. I'm always happy. As much as I love Star Wars, I, I gotta get ready for, for the final shape too. And then after this, then we can all jump in and uh, and hopefully just see what Onslaught's about. I think when I first log in, I'm just gonna just gonna check things out. I wanna just get a feel for what the, the new environment's like in the tower. Just really just sink my teeth into the experience. So the emblem is called Tigerus Fati. Or te Tegrius? Tegrius Fati? Or Tigrius, yeah, Tigrius Fati. Is there any lore behind that name? T Tigris Fati? I'm sure there probably is, and I just need to watch some Bife, Bife lore video again. And Soul, did you say something? Because you did mod check earlier, so I was wondering if you said anything. Tigris Fadi, okay. Tigris. But I'm, I'm really hoping that this Into the Light experience can really encourage more, more new players to come through and play the game. Because being able to completely just skip all of that new light experience and just jump right into the swing of things by getting like free items, legendary exotics, it's crazy. Like that's such a huge dub. But I don't I don't regret I don't regret my timing though. I really don't. I'm actually glad I went through that experience. I'm actually quite happy that I actually that I experienced the the new light quests and stuff, just so I got a feel for what it was like. But for a completely brand new player, I think this is a nice way for them to just jump right into the swing of things and not have to worry. Okay, so it's just 15 minutes. I mean, that's totally cool. Just give us whatever we need for gameplay. Give us some surprises. 
Because while 15 minutes is short... Oh, okay, for the emblem. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, that's good. I thought it was just for the actual... <laughs> the, the preview. I was like, damn. They're making it really short. Hopefully it's sweet. I uh, don't think there's any lore in game for it, but the game engine is the tiger engine. So sometimes there are some tiger imagery or on emblems and shaders. Oh, okay. Well, that certainly coincides with with that. Then that solves my my question, my inquiry. All right. Speaking of that, let me go grab. Let me go grab uh, my tea. That way I'm prepared for this. Give me a minute. I've got my bag of peanuts. Half an hour? Yeah, that, that makes some sense. Because I'm sure they want to align it with the... With the reset, right? They want to make sure that everything is... Pretty much on, on time. But I'm going to be aiming for... For farming. I'm, I'm farming for the mountaintop. That's going to be my... My attunement for... The first week, because... I think we're only be we're only gonna be getting like the attune I mean, sorry the uh the mountaintop recluse I think edge transit and a couple other things but hey no worries Maduno no problem bro thank you for stopping by I appreciate you hope you enjoy the stream into the light We'll catch up soon, brother. Have a good one. Yo, McKeer. No problem, man. No problem. Hope you're doing well. I hope your eye doctor appointment goes well as too, you know? That's always important. Hmm. I gotta be careful. One thing with peanuts is if I if I start eating peanuts, I keep going. Yo, Gagman. In the early development period of Destiny, I think his code name was Tag or something. And in that time, while they were still writing the universe, one of the races you would have been able to choose was use tiger people, but it got scrapped later on. Interesting. I also read some lore, or, you know, backstory lore, about how Destiny and Overwatch kind of overlapped. Like, one of the devs went to Blizzard or something, and they played Overwatch, and they're like, hey, this is exactly like our Titan class or something like that. This is like really early stages before Destiny 2 dropped. So I was really surprised like, oh wow. So Destiny had some inspiration from Overwatch. I've been seeing some some posts recently with players 
making Overwatch characters. Like one person made a tracer, a tracer, I guess, uh, costume in uh, Destiny. Hmm. Alright, I better stop. Yep, I gotta stop. I can't do it. <laughs> we have stepped into a war with the Cadbury Bunny. <laughs> Lollipop, how are you? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, if I continue to, oh man, this bag of peanuts, not, not just any peanuts, they're honey roasted. If I keep going and eating this, I'm literally going to finish this bag. And I can't do that. So I'm putting it far away from my, from my <laughs> peripheral vision. So I can't see it. Every time it's Doomfist, you're not wrong. You're not wrong with that statement, Gagman. <laughs> Literally, Doomfist is a titan. Not to mention we have Reinhardt himself <laughs> voicing Callus, so he himself is a titan. Uh, do you know the, I guess you can call it a meme from D1 about the war with the Cabal? Is that the Midnight Coup? Is that what you're talking about? If not, then I have no idea. But please share this insight. With Lollipop, I know you are the lore queen, so I need to, to tickle your brain with that one. While this is happening, I'm going to message my mom. While we wait, we have like two minutes left. Oops. All right. Message sent. Posted in Deeds to General. Perfect. Let's go. Stream hasn't started yet, and you're already 75% done. Hold on, let me show. Let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see this. Where am I at? <laughs> you're waking up in five and a half hours. Well, thanks, but that's definitely not happening for me. I already rested all day. Where am I at? Oh yeah, I'm at 80% for the Tigris Fati. 80%. Good, good, good. Remember, folks, now's the time to get that, uh, the emblem. This is your time. 15 minutes. I'm already 80% done. It is Zavala saying this in the beginning of a strike in D1 where you had to fight the boss known as Rock Rocket McCrocket Face. What the heck? What type of name is that? Rocket McCrocket face? <laughs> or I guess I guess to be more more specific, Rocket McRocket. <laughs> it's not his name, that's what he was called. <laughs> okay. I was like, really? Destiny was uh 
They just went unfiltered there. <laughs> Rocket McRocket. <laughs> I gotta watch this video then after. I always like to hear some lore about the backstory. But I'm guessing this is very separate from the, the coup then, right? Oh boy, I think we're beginning soon. When the music finishes, you know it's beginning. Because it's now 1.30. Well, 131 to be exact. 132 to be exact, sorry. According to my clock. Or clocks. Okay, here we go. Whether we wanted it or not. We've stepped into a war with the Cabal on Mars. So let's get to talking about their command, one by one. Valus Tarak. From what I can gather, he commands the siege dancers from an Imperial land tank outside of Rubicon. He's well protected, but with the right team, we can punch through the defenses, take this beast out, and break their grip on Freehold. So I'm guessing you're, you're referring to Valus, the uh, Rocket McRocket. <laughs> Just completed for you? Oh, let's, let me check this real fast. Hold up. Let me check mine too. Yeah, mine is done. Yep, you are now eligible to get... Oh, let's go. Folks, just like that, done. I have claimed the emblem. So now I can close out... Oh, which one is which? I'm confused now. Oh, there you go. So now I can put this back to what I was doing. Emblem is completed. Now I can log into Destiny 2 when the reset happens and I'm going to have that nice, beautiful emblem ready to go. So his name is Valus Tarak. He came back as a Taken. He would stand in, at the front of the room and just shoot rockets at you. <laughs> that sounds very fun to deal with. And imagine back then, because it was D1, you probably didn't have like that many weapons or in your arsenal to really deal with all that nonsense. <laughs> so rocket McRocket face. <laughs> now that all makes sense. It sounds like some uh, like kindergarten type of uh, teasing. Hey, look, it's Rocket McRocket face. <laughs> There's a cheese spot up by him under some stairs. The, the, the days of D1, I'll never get a chance to experience. I mean, I probably could if I wanted to go all the way back to D1. Why would I do that? Here we go. This is it. The moment we've been waiting for. Let's see this. Gameplay reveal. Hey everyone, this is Luke from the Destiny team. Luke! The final shape is the culmination. Oh, you still can, okay. Journey. So journey servers are still alive and everything? The Cosmodrome took you to the moon, Venus, Mars, the reef, and beyond. It's a journey that'll end inside the Traveler with you facing the Witness. But facing the Witness is not the end of Destiny 2. And it's definitely not the end of destiny. Of course not. It's After just the beginning. The witness, we're going to tell you what's coming next to Destiny 2 and beyond. We'll see you soon. Yeah, this is just the beginning. To me, this is just the beginning. Oh my gosh. The final shape has been an amazing project to work on. Oh, I love the your mustache. Creativity the amount of design work, the amount of all these elements. Oh yeah, I'm a cure. I'm hyped for them too. 
I was like, are you guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? It looks awesome. I'm super stoked for Mountaintop. We're going to have a pretty big impact and it's going to shake things up a lot. I'm going to farm the, the poop out of that. Of what we're working on. All right. Give me, give me the glimpse. Not big glimpse. Oh. Wait, what? You have your grapple, you have stasis and solar equipped? What the? You guys see that? Bottom left? What the? You have three classes equipped? Oh, that's a cool animation. That's new. That's new. What? You can equip how many weapons? Ooh, okay, that's the, that's the new arc uh, super right there. What? Dude, you have literally grapple. You have arc super. Custom subclasses. Multi abilities. It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept art. <laughs> Gegman uh, called it. What the? Image That's so cool. A guardian with light armor and dark armor. We're like, we really need this in the final shape. What? The ultimate form light and dark. To build light and darkness at the same time. We built prismatic exactly to be that. Prismatic is Ooh. a subclass in the final shape where you can combine certain class abilities from different damage types together. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. What? Like the witness is manipulating the energies like this, but the witness is not a master of light and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. What? Okay, this is the new subclass? Prismatic, underneath your super bar, prismatic? There's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling transcendence. I transcendence. Because you do these cool motions. For warlocks, we have this cool, like, mystic pose. Hunters are going to do this cool, like. Oh, the hunter. Ooh. Ooh, that hunter with the, 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 the knife. Grenade that combines both light and dark together. The hunters get this fire and ice combo. Titans, strand, and arc. From the warlock, stasis, and void together. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. What? Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast transcendence. So huh? you can loop them together one after the other. That's really exciting. That is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the hunter, the warlock. As this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, more build crafting combinations. Oh my gosh, than you normally get more fragment slots. Oh my gosh, the hunter class is disgusting. I can do grapple with arc. No, I'm just kidding. Hunter's cooking. I can grapple and do my arc at the same time now. Oh, like prismatic is gonna be me. You shouldn't be able to do. Ooh. It's a little game breaking. I'm not gonna lie. A, a little, a little bit. <laughs> Screw both classes, Titan. <laughs> You're gonna be like, oh no, what have I done? I'm gonna be here all night. Oh my gosh, the amount of build crafting I can do now. So all my favorite classes are now combined. All the favorite elements of my of my favorite classes are combined now. I can grapple. I can use arc with 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 hunter all in one, all in one play style. This is going to be a nice like. Oh, this is going to be amazing. It's not just about the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about using multipliers. Same time. Imagine trials. Oh my gosh, that's going to be nutty trials with all this stuff. Of light and darkness, there's all these subclasses that really resonate with people, and now they're probably gonna have to nerf that for the trials, though. And make your own guardian feel very uniquely you. This like <laughs> Bunch really just broke my brain, yeah. <laughs> unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter and having yes, gunpowder gamble and blowing them up. And then we're like, but wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You throw out, you know, your shurikens, and then you blow them up as well. It's like, okay, 
Gunpowder Gamble and Shurikens? And you're telling me I can do as much as I want? You can throw a withering blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and now your gunpowder gambles like four Oh times. my gosh! So, like, certain interactions I think get a lot easier. <laughs> Oh just because we sort of made the aspects a little bit, a little bit more permissive. Dude, bit, they. Oh, oh, you can, oh my gosh, I'm losing my, I'm losing my mind right now. Playtest, I'm probably gonna be running, probably warlock with, um, this, the lightning surge build where you have arcane needle for three melee charges, and then you combine that with lightning surge. You can throw bleak watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control or you what? Can throw devour. And so you're, you know, jumping in, lightning surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. Oh. Activating Devour, that gives you infinite sustain, effectively, to stay in the fight. As a titan, you can okay. quickly start using your... I gotta say, a warlock cook there. The ...enemies around you, and then kind of finish them off with, like, the cool blades of sand. Yeah, and if this so doesn't want to make you play all classes, I don't know what will. <laughs> very, yeah. like, fun, destructive build that you can just like destroy everything around you and it, it, it's super fun there was this moment for me where i was like wait a minute i could send out threadlings and have what watcher it just creates these moments of escalation turrets and thread and threadlings if you combine bleak watcher and feed the void you consume your grenade to throw your bleak watcher out there and so it's you know locking stuff down with stasis doing crowd control you can clean that stuff up pretty easily with, you know, an arcane needle melee, which has three charges. Those ability kills will activate the power. Wave frame grenade launcher looking nuts. More grenade energy every time devour activates, so lets you loop your bleak watcher. And so you can have, like, multiple bleak watchers out on the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just, like, launching your cool strand melees out. And every oh, time, dude, this is actually the gameplay loop I wanted to, to do for Hunter 2, was, um... Use Salvation's grip talent, and just volt shot everything. Make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build like how do we twist them and children with blink watcher this and that to that's gonna be scary oh my I'm gosh about you know seeing yeah uh, all the, the players like talk about their favorite combinations the combination is going to be nutty all the the videos that people make of their own custom builds with their own exotics that they're pairing it up with oh even the exotics create, too oh i'm making a moth keeper build, build for sure i love moth keepers a lot y'all already know Moth Keepers, Blinding Targets, then with Gunpowder Gamble, Grenades, then Stasis Shurikens, and then Arc. Oh my gosh, Arc Super. Oh, what are these guns though? Can we talk about the guns? Grapple into a shoulder charge or Icarus dash, shadow dive, and wall and well skate. The mobility is gonna be nuts. Yeah, the, like the the amount of build crafting they're giving us is crazy. Yeah, exactly, Makir. Yeah, use the gel with the moths. That's gonna be nutty. Ex Deerus. Oh my gosh. Ex Deerus plus moth keepers plus the shooty to freeze everything and gunpowder gamble to just see them explode. Oh, I'm already build crafting right now. Shape, we're gonna be making these new exotic class items. What? New exotics? These new exotic class items allow you to steal perks from other exotics. What? And combine two perks together into one single exotic. Wait, the what? That come on them are actually random rolled. One thing that is going to be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work. Steal really perks. Well. Even more customization. What? These new class items are all about prismatic and making that feel good. Holy! So it's gonna be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence does. They also look so good. Yeah. Ooh, the hunter looks so clean. With these class items, we wanted them to stand out as special. They have it's been these nine years that take aspects from other exotics. Ooh, exotic class items are gonna let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow them down, blow them up hunter build a roll on the exotic cloak 
that made it so power and melee kills caused enemies to ignite and also i could get an extra dodge charge so i could what? get an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time oh my I feel a little broken a little broken it definitely felt like i had two exotics on my cloak which is kind of the intention holy like the rules a bit it just opened up <laughs> i can see the joy for mix and matching in a way that i think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta oh my goodness Ooh, gr Ooh, grapple Ooh. They look amazing they have Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. visual effects that activate when you are transcendent it just really ties into this overall theme but on top of that the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics yeah stealing from traits from other exotics is nuts you, adds this element of spice to them and the fact that it's random rolls and it's random going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds oh my gosh you can just farm for the right per combination and make your your build completely disgustingly broken oh my gosh final shape is actually going to be nutty i just knew it i knew final shape is going to be amazing all the haters can suck an egg Oh, this is ooh, hoo, hoo, boy. Okay, Titans. Ooh, okay, Titans. Calm down. Ew. Oh, this concept art is amazing. The Dread are this new witness faction. Oh, the Dread, new enemies. When you see these new characters, not only do they look unique and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years mm. that connects it all together. Okay, so you've seen the Dread before. And you've seen a member of the Dread before. Yeah. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Yeah, 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 that's right. Well, that was just the first one. It's just the first have, of many. Like, slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. This is like the embodiment. You, you have like the elite. <laughs> the elite now. They've arrived. It's Rolk's race. The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the dread in some ways. It's yeah, it's PvP is gonna be nutty, my here. The nutty. Gun yes, exactly. The gun <laughs> bat. It does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. Ooh. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. Yeah, that's gonna be screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also oh. slows you down. What? It, something that immediately appealed to the team and made us think, we have to do this. We have to make this character. Oh, that's going to be annoying to deal with already. I can already see it. The They're Husk flying. This melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous looking blades and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. They hurt. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons, and they just come charging with those things, and we'll just slice and dice. Oh my! They are really dangerous. Especially yeah, they're scary. Groups. Oh, they're if scary. You have to kill the husk. You have to be careful, because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk? The geist is gonna pop out, and it's gonna seek you out. A geist has killed me more than I care to admit. Wow, the now geist are I'm scary. Like looking everywhere, every time I go into a fight, and I'm like. Is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> <laughs> that geist is scary. The Weaver and the Attendant are our Strand and Stasis Scions that have been reshaped by the Witness. What? We Strand, Stasis, Scions? Show, like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a Stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a Strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. The oh? fact that you can get suspended and frozen in place just adds a big new dynamic to the fight. That shoddy's persistent frame, I can stop by the reticle. The Weaver does something we've uh, done I, before. I haven't even been paying attention to the weapons. I mean, I saw Monte Carlo. Strand wave. 
which is which is interesting though. It makes me wonder: are they going to improve the Monte Carlo in some way? And like snaps and that like pulls you towards that character as one character doing that to you yeah you can handle it as soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you you have to approach it in a different way yeah that's gonna be ridiculous imagine being pulled left and right we're really excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape it just feels like there's a really cool through line through all of this it's the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. Yeah. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. Dodge, dodge, throw knife, dodge, dodge, throw a knife. Oh my gosh. Imagine like a fury, um, a fury's or Caliban's hands. Or a theories, uh, sorry, a theorist. Caliban's hand builds with his, all these multiple knives. Or just like I said before, Moth Keeper's builds with infinite blinds. <laughs> infinite blind nades with gunpowder gamble. So I'm blinding you and igniting you <laughs> and freezing you. But yeah, just seeing the grapple ability with arc and stasis applied to that is... I'm already blown away. Now you guys can't complain whenever I play Hunter. Or why aren't you playing arc? Or why aren't you playing stasis? Why aren't you playing this? Now it's like, well, I'm playing everything. <laughs> Ooh, man. That animation for the hunter though is is brilliant. For we are the light of hope. Ooh, okay, that was the warlock blink, yeah. Marasov. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Cade is back? Yo, I saw Cade there. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Launch trailer world premiere. We're not done yet. Pyramid ship. Oh, yeah. As the final shape approaches, oh, my goodness. There's so much more. There's more things. Lord has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection back into circulation. Powerful gear for a powerful guardian. Oh yeah, give me that Luna's Hal, baby. Onslaught, baby. The moment we've all been waiting for. Mountain top, I'm ready. Weapons we once deemed heretical. We now see is desperate. Oh, I can't, oh, I'm not to talk. Oh, I cannot wait to use this weapon. I know you'll use this well. Blast Prince looks crazy, though. Close. only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. I can't wait to see what you do. Falling guillotine. That's going to be like the new meta sword right there. The new meta glaive. Limited edition hollow foil. Reprise exotic emissions. Yeah, this is going to be great. I cannot wait to do the whisper. Solo. It's time, Crush them. And then get the whisper the worm. Outbreak, baby. So this is that them, outbreak is my favorite pulse in the game, man. Let's give them it always has been and forever will be. Oh my gosh. Available to all players from June 9th or from April 9th to June. Oh yeah, that new shader too. I gotta get the shader. 
<laughs> I'm lucky I have ears because without them, my smile would split my head. Right <laughs> Gramps, I feel you on that 100%. Oh my goodness. Wow, there is so much to soak in. Beast a Slayer, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. What what an incredible final shape trailer. Like Seeing the fact that you can combine abilities now is crazy. That was the one thing that got my attention the most. Not only, not only are you able to combine with the prismatic subclass, not only that, but you're able to steal perks from other exotics with the new exotics. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's gonna be crazy like the amount of build crafting that's gonna happen in final shape is gonna be paramount like it's gonna be just mind-blowing yes ss so much mayhem like insane just how much content we have now no one can complain about using whatever class because now you have every class in one you can mix Void with Solar, with Arc, with Stasis, and then you can steal perks from other exotics to make it your own very personalized build. Oh my gosh. Like, just seeing all that, just like Graham said, my, my entire... The smile on my face, the amount of amazement, like, just... But the moment I saw the gameplay footage and I'm like, wait a minute, why is the bottom left showing me grappling and arc and solar? The moment I saw that, I was like, what is going on? What is going on? The moment I saw that, I was blown away. I'm like, there's no way they're giving us multi-class. Because if that's the case, as I said, you y'all already know for so long, I'm like, man, like I wish I could just grapple. I wish I can just do all these cool things and do arc things and now it's all combined. It's all combined. Yeah. And I just love the animation, man. Woo! I just oh, I love the hunter animation with the with the, the knife spin. That to me is Ooh. My goodness. I want Stasis Void Hunter right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm right there with you. Oh, man. Imagine combining. Oh, I, oh my gosh. See, now I can combine. I can go void and go invisible. And I'm going to have access to arc staff. And I can choose to either go with stasis or solar to heal. Oh, my gosh. So I can be invisible. I can arc staff you in the face. And I can heal you. Oh, oh, oh my god. This is going to be crazy. Jack, yeah, I am. I'm already build crafting in my brain. Imagine having Syntheseps, Worm God, and Lyra's Handshake in one exotic. Oh, dude. If the random we perks the work in your favor. My goodness. It's literally breaking my brain too, Joe. The amount of, of customization. Look, look at this. This is dope. This concept art is crazy. The light and the dark with every single element applied to you. This is nutty. Uh, shout outs to the concept artist team because these people went crazy with this. Everybody can be punchy punch lords. Yeah, that's crazy what they're what they're giving us here. Yeah, Joe, like I like you said, they significantly leaned into customization and enemy difficulty simultaneously. Yeah, so they've given us basically a broken build and said, "Hey, have fun." But also have fun dealing with all the busted enemies too. Because <laughs> even the enemies look annoying to deal with. But this is going to be crazy. This is what Bungie gets when they choose to tell the community stuff. Instead of just being silent. Exactly. 
Exactly. That's what I'm saying. They were cooking behind the scenes. They literally said, look, we're going to cook and we're going to show you the full meal. In the final shape. This is the ultimate form of being a guardian to will. Oh, man. We built prismatic exactly to be that. Look at that. Okay, warlocks, I have to admit. Warlocks, y'all are going to have some fun with that. Freezing and then cooking. You're basically de the meat and then you're... Look at them. You freeze the meat and then you said, okay, time to cook them. de Boom. Oh, my... What? Dude, you're literally... You're literally just punching... Dodging, punching, dodging, punching, dodging. Everything's refreshed. Arc punch, refresh, arc punch, refresh. And you have invisibility. Like the witnesses manipulating the energies like this, but the witness is not a master of light and dark. One stasis arc for warlock. <laughs> That's going to be nutty. Stasis arc is going to be crazy. There's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either I really believe this is what the delay got us. I would agree. Once both sides are full, I would agree. New level of power that we're calling transcendence. The weight is definitely it. worth it. Absolutely. I knew it. I just knew all along. All the naysayers. This. Oh my. Every time I see this knife animation, a part of me just. Oh, a part of my soul just is lifted. I mean, I can't lie though. The warlock hands. Yeah, yeah, that mystic pose is very JoJo-like. I gotta be honest. Warlocks, I admit, you got something cool. But this hunter animation, that—that's pretty dope though. Titans, our titans are gonna be punching. While you're transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. Oh man, that. Titan. Fire and ice combo for Hunter. Strand and arc. Titans get strand and arc. Warlock, stasis and void together. Okay, so warlock gets stasis and void, and that's that's the prismatic uh, grenade. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapons. I noticed a frost armor buff, new stasis. I, as I said, as I said before, I, I had a feeling they're going to probably buff stasis in some way. And that was that was it. So We're kind of thinking about prismatic as this advanced subclass. Where advanced subclass, yeah, it definitely is advanced because it's going to require a lot of your brain. <laughs> Notice that in some of the screens, the buffs and debuffs are split to different sides of the screen, giving us more chances to see what's active. Very true. Also, I'm seeing I'm seeing volatile rounds. I'm seeing tangle. I'm seeing amplified. Which is crazy. I'm seeing all sorts of things. More potential combinations. More fragments than you avoid invisibility. Radiance. What was that? You normally get more fragment slots to socket them. Helium? That is a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot to actually. Three hundred. No, I'm just kidding. Crazy. I don't know. I'm just the art director. I think that but what I mean is the difference working up to final shape compared to earlier expansions, live streams and reveals galore compared to a trailer on release day. Yeah, it's very true though, Gramps. I, I totally agree with you. This is how it should be. It feels a little game breaking. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, this should. This is how it should always be. Give us, give us the gameplay. Give us things to look forward to. Give us the hype. You're gonna be like, oh no, what have I done? I'm gonna be here all night. Oof, yeah, with a mix of Syntheseps and Skull Fort, so, so as long as you kill with your melee, you get melee back. That's nutty. Look at that. Ooh, that wave frame's going off right now. And then, not to mention the gun combinations, too, that are going to work in tandem with all this. It's going to be crazy. Like this is the class where if you are you if you have the biggest brain, you are gonna you're gonna find success. I am I am maining prismatic hundred percent. That really resonates with people hundred percent. Now you can finally combine those and make your own. Like I, I love I love my Return of the Jedi arc hunter. But now I can play Return of the Jedi. 
Phantom Menace, New Hope, <laughs> all in one. <laughs> now it can play everything all in one. And then we're like, oh, wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You could throw out, you know, or the Titan Strand boots and Curious of the Fallen Star comp. Oh my gosh, imagine that. And you're telling me I can do as much as I want? You can throw Withering Blade melee. Okay, hold on, hold on. Restart Steam to get the download to start. All right. Let me, uh, let me do that. Oh, update. Here we go. So three gigs. So guys, if, if the stream lags, bear with me. Okay. Cause this is, this is three gigabytes. So I'm probably going to lag out for the time being. So it'll be, it'll be some time, but we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. 80 megabytes per second. So we, this should be done in like a few minutes. But again, if, if we're lagging, I'll just pause for now. I won't talk too much. But man, oh man. Okay, so Gunpowder Gamble has how many slots? One, two, okay, same thing. Bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and now your Gunpowder Gamble is like fully charged, right? Crazy. So, like, certain interactions I think get a lot easier. Yeah, because you just instantly proc your Gunpowder Gamble like that. That's nutty. Because usually your gunpowder gamble requires you to take a lot to, to get it up. Yeah, stuttering on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 gonna be for a minute. It won't be that long though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bear bear with me, folks, if you're watching the stream. But yeah, Cade. So can we talk about Cade real quick? Cause we saw Cade at the end. We saw Cade. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's into the light. Cause they show they showed the homie like really fast. Where is he at? We need to go. Keep moving. Go. When I saw Cade, I was like, wait a minute, what? Kate is back, boys. Kate is back. Like right here. So Mara saw we okay, hold on. Cause this is this is my girl right here. Can we talk about Mara for a second? So Mara must know something here. There's some lore happening right now. So Mara Soft, we can see her face. She's concerned as a mother right now. <laughs> she is not looking very pleased. Something's about to happen, and Mara Soft is concerned. Oh, okay, right here. When I saw Cade, I saw... Wait, wait what? Cade is back. Cade is back, and he does not look very happy either. He looks like he, need, he needs to de-stress. Oh, yeah. And he shot somebody, too. But the, the most important thing is he's on the poster. Kate is right there now. So we know that Kate is coming. So all, all, the, all the speculation now is done. All right, we're 47%. We're almost there, folks. Don't worry. Bear with me. It's going to be a while. But it should be done. Or halfway now, 50%. Because once this is done, I'm, I'm hopping in. I think that was Crow in the back. Oh, hold on. Let's go back and watch that. Let's go back really quick. Oh, hold on. Okay, frame by frame. We got to look here. Because that was, that was like extremely, extremely... As a fast little moment here. The frame by frame is really important here. Okay, so yeah, we do see someone in the back being being uh escorted out here. I don't know if that's going in the back. That looks like maybe Zavala or something. Maybe Ikora too. I'm not too sure. Yeah, it looks like Zavala based on the armor. Could be Ikora as well. Don't see Crow here, though. 
Uh, where did you where did you see Crow? Necrotic grips plus stasis shirukens or shirukens. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, there's going to be so many cool combinations. I'm sure people are, are right now screaming like little kids in a park on recess. That's how it is. Yeah, I think it is Zavala and Ikora. It has to be. But yes, just like Ram said, she does look kind of sad, sad, shocked, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, it's Zavala and Kor for sure. Because they look like they're both uh, escaping. But yeah, Mara here looks very, very either sad, concerned. There's just something going on. Maybe, maybe Crow is, maybe Crow sacrificed himself? Maybe? And Mara is kind of shocked by the sacrifice? Who knows? Because remember, Crow was already in, Crow was already in the Pale Heart. Right? And we already know that their connection can be felt. So maybe this could be potentially Mara responding to Crow in some way. Maybe he sacrifices himself as a way to bring back bring back this boy right here. <laughs> it was blurred. It looked like Crow. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it was very, very fast. It was very, it was very abrupt. So it was very hard to tell. But now that we look back frame frame by frame, it really does look like Zavala and Ikora just by the attire alone. But yeah, Mara's face does give off a, a very concerned look. And uh, yeah, I for one am curious as to whether or not that has to do with Crow himself. Because... Again, we don't know what Crow's up to, but I imagine that due to their connectivity as brother and sister, there's a good chance that Crow maybe put his life on the line. And then because, and because Crow, again, this is just my, my, my brain going off. Maybe because Crow sacrificed himself, he was able to bring Cade back or something. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I hope they don't end Crow like that, though. I hope Crow ends up staying alive. But seeing Cade back is, uh... I heard him talking during the stream. He could very well be alive to some extent. But I did hear his voice, too. But then there could be a moment in the story where he actually may end up maybe succumbing to some sort of injury or wound or something down the road. Cause this this seems like this, this seems like an ending segment. Like Cade comes through Zavala and Ikora leaving the scene. Who Cade is shooting at? I'm not too sure. But Cade coming back is massive. Cade coming back is crazy. This 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 right here is is the turning point for me. Is like why who is who is Cade shooting at? Is the question. That's going to be the, the, the big pondering question in my brain. But I don't think they would make him shoot Crow. That would be really crazy. Really nutty. And we are done, folks. We're back. Back to normal. And that means it's time to play. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? It's time to log in. It's time to play. Download is done. Let's go. Time to have some fun. Dim is working fine. Wonderful. Because it's time to start farming. <laughs> I'm awake, boys and girls. I'm awake. It is what? 2.15 2 in the morning? Never have I felt so awake in my life. That, that final shape preview just blew me away. The fact that they're giving us all these cool combinations now is a remarkable feat. Now nobody can say anything about Oh well final shape oh now Destiny 2 is gonna go down the drain now y'all can shut up because final shape literally is looking nice and now because people see what final shape has to offer I'm pretty sure that the pre-orders are gonna be going up now after watching that 
especially with the prismatic subclass, I'm sure all the haters are going to be, be like, oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Destiny 2, yeah. <laughs> what a great game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's wallet's going to be opening right now. One moment, please. Due to increased traffic, login services to Destiny 2. That's fine. It's 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 only fair. Everyone wants to get in and play. This is this is a massive, massive update. So I'll be waiting. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. This this is gonna be pretty much most of the stream. Um I am I am literally putting on my farmer's cap right now. I've got the overalls on. I've got my uh what is that thing that my wheat in my mouth? <laughs> You know, I've got I've got everything ready because I'm farming for the mountaintop. I am farming. Once we get in, that's it. And I I'm already prepped. I'm already prepped. I have so I'm gonna test out. <laughs> Hurry up and wait to get in. <laughs> I know, right? I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> Your hoe on the other hand. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm ready for the farming. I got all the equipment ready. <laughs> I've got everything. I got the hatchet, everything ready. I'm just waiting patiently. Once the gates are open and I see all of that, I see all that soil. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> I'm digging. <laughs> Mountaintops coming home. But oh my goodness, I was okay. So I was already build crafting. I already know. So I already have the Warcraft, Warcraft, Warlock build ready. Uh, but I'm going to definitely test out my arc, my arc build first. And I'm going to be testing it with, I'm going to do arc with Salvation's Grip. So y'all, y'all already saw the, the preview of Salvation's Grip the other stream. And how potent that thing is when it comes to just blocking off all enemy nonsense. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be jumping in with Arc, doing Volt Shot, blinding targets with Moth Keepers, freezing them with Salvation's Grip, and just blowing them up with uh, Tusk of the Boar. Or I can go with Prodigal Return and Volt Shot Chain Reaction, everything into Oblivion, <laughs> which I might do actually. I actually might do that instead. I might do Prodigal Return, Volt Shot Chain Reaction. Then I have Salvation's Grip to freeze everything so they can't move. And then just for, I guess, for my primary slot, I can even go... I can probably just go with, like, Lethal Abundance with the Slice Hatchling. That's going to be good. So I can Slice to reduce the damage on enemy attacks. Hatchlings for the extra just Strand nonsense. And I can apply volt volt shot chain reaction freezing oh my gosh yeah I'm, I'm already thinking about interesting things in my brain onslaught's gonna be fun oh yeah be prepared for a weasel guitar cabbage yeah all those mongoose everything <laughs> and other assorted fruits and veggies and random animals yep such is the life of a farmer you're going to have all sorts of animals coming through trying to steal your your crops. But I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> this is going to be a while. Because I imagine there's thousands upon thousands of people who have just finished the download and they're clicking the same button as we are. Play. <laughs> and they want to get in. So I'm I'm willing to wait here. I'm willing to wait. I don't mind the wait, because the wait's going to be all worth it in the end. And now that I know what's, ex what's to come for Final Shape, oh, I am so ready. Oh, man. June is going to be an amazing month, I tell you that. June is going to be a month that... Who is? It's going to be an explosive month. It's and then that's gonna lead me into August with Star Wars Outlaws. Oh my gosh. So I've got like June, July to have my fun. 
with uh, with Destiny. And then August, I'll be streaming Star Wars Outlaws and Destiny 2. Oh my gosh, I'm just... I'm excited. Am I feeling tired? Oh no, I am. I am juiced. I am ready. My eyes are perked up. I got like, that's why I made sure to take that day off. I needed it. I needed the time to just rest, not do anything destiny related. Just chill out, relax, get my mind geared up for this day. We usually don't even try to play on launch days. I can see why. <laughs> now I can see why. For for situations like this. Yeah, Gramps. I I literally all day. Oh, we're in. We're in. We're in. The wait has finally paid off. I, I want to see. I want to see all the new stuff. Cause I, I remember you can change your character too. You can cut you can recustomize your character and change the name. Oh, I think we're in, but not we're we're in like we're we've made it through the door, but now we're waiting in line. <laughs> it's it's Black Friday, and we waited in line. Now we're in the store, but we're still waiting. <laughs> oh, we're in, we're in. Let's go, let's go. We're in. Now we're truly in. When I see this animation, I know we're logged in. Bungie name change now available. A one-time Bungie name change is now available. Players can use this feature by logging into... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, that I'm okay with. All right, so what do they say? Okay, so modify. Here we go. So let's go into the modify section real fast. So let's peep this. Oh, okay, so now, now you guys get to see what I came up with with my actual face and hair. Um, I love my character. I'll be honest. I made this character specifically with Joanna Dark in mind. And for those of you who don't know who Joanna Dark is, that is the Perfect Dark uh, main character. She's the main female character in Perfect Dark. And uh, this was the character design that I, I was inspired by. So I'm keeping it, but just so you folks know, you do have the ability to, to modify. You just can't modify the actual, um, the race. You can't do the race, but you can modify the face, body, hair, all that stuff. Now I'm good. I'm, I'm not touching this. My character is beautiful. We're logging in. We're logging in. All right, here we go. Ooh, cutscene. A guardian. What? Are we gods? We are connected to the weft and weave of the universe. Oh, the no new... one knows how long we live. We stand alongside those without our gifts. We know intimately their lifespans, their mortality, despite their resilience. Mortals live more intensely than any guardian I've known. Love harder, perhaps. They know tomorrow was never guaranteed. That everything they could become dies with them. So, are we protectors? Our gifts were meant to defend against impossible threats. Those who need us have never needed us more. But we could do nothing. What is that? And they would still die. Oh, What's that's Elizabeth, right? That oh, sorry, no, Amanda. Sorry, I don't know why I said Elizabeth there. That's Amanda. Now, across last city, All right, so Amanda's not coming back. The forces of the witness surge. Yeah, yeah, no Our worries, Gramps. No problem, no problem. I understand. Does that make us soldiers? Pushing back buys us only time. But the alternative is unthinkable. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. I understand, I understand. City, none of us dared to dream of. With allies from unlikely places. We have never had more to lose. I turn the question to you on the eve of our darkest hour. What is a guardian? Define us in this moment. Oh man. Time. Photo taken. 
All right, that was a really very beautiful little intro into into the into the, into, into the lights. <laughs> But yeah, that confirms that Amanda Holiday is not coming back because we, we just saw her little shrine there. So Amanda is staying dead. Sorry to all of you theory crafters out there who thought she'd come back. She's not coming back. Oh my gosh, where are we? Do not tail the new light items. Okay. Meet with Lord Shax. Okay, we are in this... Oh, hold on. My voice is... Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta turn off. Hold up. What's this? Okay, salvation. Okay. Okay, so do not take the new light items. It will mess up your builds and fragments. Oh, wow, I'm not doing that. But I wanna, I wanna actually... Turn off... Is the voice chat on? Okay, yeah, so it's by default. Because I remember they they uh, they mentioned that that was going to be on. Okay, here we go. So meet with Lord Shax. Oh, wow, wow. I want to just, I want to just explore things. Wow. I feel like I'm a new light again. Oh, the Guardian Games. That's so cool. And you see like you see this guy sweeping up the remnants of the Guardian games. That's so cool. What's this? Two zero zero nine four secondary burst MFG. Oh, there's the there's a hunter champions right here, folks. We won. We won. Uh wow. Okay. Amazing. Okay, let's keep going over here. This a little shrine here, this tree shrine. I'm guessing these are all from oh, there's Eva. That's Eva, yeah. These are all from a different festival. Do the Halloween tree? Yeah, I'm guessing this is like a culmination of all the festivals that y'all took. Yep, yeah, the Christmas festival over here with the snowman. No face though. And you got the engrams here. Oh, that's so cool! You can jump in them. <laughs> You can jump in all the, the engrams. Cool. We got more engrams over here for the Christmas thing. Woohoo! Cool. So this will likely come back. <laughs> Engram ball pit, anyone? <laughs> it's like I'm a kid again at McDonald's with the ball pit. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay. So the, the Christmas stuff, the Halloween stuff, which will be coming this year, I imagine. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, whoa, okay. You have a statue of, uh, of all the, you know, the Hunter, Titan, Warlock. Cool. Solstice. Okay, that's Solstice. None of these, none of these experience, by the way. These are all new to me. I'll definitely get a chance this year to experience it uh, hands-on, which will be nice. <laughs> I want to play in the the Engram pen too. <laughs> I am super stoked for that. Oh, here we go. I'm just trying to like gather. Is there anything we can probably like take? You know how there's always going to be some hidden item, you know? Okay, you can't double jump here, so... But I imagine there's probably some Easter eggs somewhere later around that we can collect. Oh. Oh, cool. So weapons. Welcome, Guardian. We're oh. just settling in. Oh, there's Shax. Yo. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is where you can uh Attune things, right? And then this is the chest area where you can just collect. Requires Shaq's reputation, rank 10, and 30 trophies of bravery. Wow. Rank 6, rank 12, rank 4, rank 14. Oh, okay, this is what, shields? Okay, you can go in there for some equipment, I guess. I don't know. 
Okay, so more chests and rank 10, warp 14, 4. Wow, there's so many chests. Holy moly. And then you have the the, the shader in there. Burning. We need you out there. Oh, and then these are all the chests we can obtain. Approach. Which one was the new light chest? I don't want to touch that one. I got to be careful, right? Time to fight, Guardian. What do you need? Shax asked for your help. One area of chest for each class. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, because that, that makes sense because of the different statues. Okay. Shax asked for your help to defend the last city. And so, my favorite guardian arrives, Shax then tones. Our borders are burning once again, thanks to the witness. Nothing changes, including our need for you. He seems to stare you in the eyes, his helmet expressionless, his broken horn silently spiteful. This, he gestures to the armory around you, is my personal vault. It's been refit to serve as the hall of champions in your base of operations against the encroaching forces of the witness. Crow awaits us beyond the shell of the traveler. We've yet to hear from him. But if he lives, we must be ready to follow him through. And the witness lies just beyond. In the meantime, we will push our enemies out of our borders and prepare for full-scale war. Shax points to the holographic weapon pl uh, plinths lining the chamber. I remember how to entice the guardian psych. I've prepared customized firearms and blades for my personal collection. Once banned by the vanguard, now reissued by necessity. Yours, if you earn them, in live fire training against the forces of the witness. We'll engage in anti-siege warfare against our enemies in a multi-step regimen to have you master classical weaponry as you defeat our foes and will make you an even better guardian than you are. He looks you up and down. The witness is doomed. Oh, man. I accept. As training guardian. You can only get stronger from this. I wish I was there when a hunter stole his horn. <laughs> I wish I was there too. This is all new to me. Oh man, this is so fun. A guardian's greatest advantage is their light. But a top-notch arsenal certainly helps. And to face the witness, you'll need the best, Shaq says, gesturing broadly to the hall. I've assembled the brave arsenal together with Ada One. Many of the weapons here were discounted for being too dangerous, he says, shaking his head. We provide a dozen of them for your edification, because annihilation is coming for us, and vanguard safeguards won't save us, but you might. I prepared a welcome gift to get you started, he says, pointing to a hardy chest, or nearby chest, but after that, you'll have to earn each weapon the old-fashioned way, in combat. Okay, so reach power level 1810. Yay, let's go, 1810s! Claim gear from the Gift of the Thunder Gods chest in the Hall of Champions to increase your power level if needed. Okay. Oh, all right. What's this? So Onslaught can be located in the Into the Light node under Director. Defend the city. Okay. So that, I think, do not take. Okay. It would be the chest on the right. Okay, okay. But bounties wise. Okay, so deploy and upgrade. Okay, so I want to do this. Just got done with your optometrist. On your way to grind. Let's go, McKeer. I can't wait till you come back home, brother. All right, so I want to do this. Defense is completed. Uh, successfully clear a pathway in Ribbon's Lair. And cannon. That, that'll do. You'll use this well. Uh, defeat Fallen, okay. And then obtain random objectives, okay, I'll do that. Straight shooting, keep that. it simple. Okay, cool, all right. So we'll, we'll just gather some some uh, some more of these. I don't really care what they are. Okay, so this one is the new one, right? It will be the chest on the right to my left. So this one, this is the one I avoid, right? Or is this the one that I avoid? This one, right? This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this one I don't, I don't touch. Okay. So, yeah, okay, okay. Don't take it. Okay, so this one, this one is Lord Shack's authorization. All right. So essentially, okay. Interact with this. Interact with what? Interact. Who? 
Oh, okay, cool. All right. So they're saying it's buggy. Okay, so I won't take that. So let's get more bounties though. So complete 20 waves in a single run of onslaught. And you get a brave engram, which is great. And then this one is play gambit three times. Oh, that's easy. Defeat combatants in gambit. Bonus progress awarded for final blows of solar weapons and abilities. Okay. Oh, I see here. So defeat guardians and defeat and earn assist in crucible with hand cannons. Oh, damn. I would, I got to do that later. Um, defeat combatants and raids and dungeons. Oh, okay. So he's like the star horse. Okay. I got it. Okay. Complete an encounter on master difficulty or higher. Okay. So this is raids and dungeons. Okay. Gotcha. So the first one is onslaught because I want onslaught and then additional rewards complete all the complete all brave weapon quests to claim this key okay cool all right so you talk to you you talk to your boy this is robot shacks all right so yeah like like um like lollipop was saying this is this is the section for warlocks then the middle section is for us hunters and then the back back of the room is titans all right cool so let's let's jump in uh are y'all ready because i'm kind of ready right now like i'm actually ready to cook uh i got prodigal return and then i'm gonna go with uh oh where is my what can do multi-mock here not even in yet still trying okay maybe i'll try and solo it you're ready gramps okay let me let me invite gramps in here because lollipop if you're if you're ready i'll definitely like when you're done I'll, I'll let you hop in with us so let's see here so gramps is ready where is gramps where is gramps there's gramps everyone's on right now all right so that's cool uh do i want to use the multi-mock though i mean i have this is under over and kill quip this is going to be nutty but i do want to have something more fast firing let's see let me just check my dim i need something fast to fire off um i could even use outdated destiny info okay so i gotta refresh dim excuse me they're probably adding in data for like mountaintop and stuff okay let's see what do i want to use i could use Ooh, i could use tiger spite and go for the the tremors that can be good or i can go for a slice yeah, that slice is good. Slice tap the trigger is going to be good. Yeah, let's go for a slice to just completely destroy things. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Let me know when you're ready, though, Lollipop, and we can definitely hop in together. Let me just save this. So yeah, this is going to be my loadout. I'm going to try Lethal Abundance, Prodigal Return with a Volt Shot. And I've got Salvation's Grip to just freeze everything and then explode. And I got Moth Keepers for the blinding. So, uh, let's tr Oh, man. Oh, okay. What is a Guardian? Okay, that, that must be the cuts. Oh, wow. All of Champions. Okay, this is where we are now. The Whisper Exotic Mission. Okay. So, requires quest progress, Whispers of the Past. Okay, so I'm guessing you have to do... Okay, I'm not going to launch it, but I imagine i got to do that. Onslaught playlist. Defensive. What's this UI? Yeah, this is this is very... It's very clean. This is the Into the Light UI. So... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can imagine that to... There's so much space being filled already via everything else. So I can imagine them putting it here as the safest option but i like it though it's clean it's not overwhelming i'm curious though what will be on the right hand side though 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whisper of the worm is craftable. So once we do the whisper, that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. I can't wait to do that solo. That's gonna be something I do on stream for sure. I'm gonna solo run that. Uh hold on, let me see what else we have here. So crucible is hardware here. Showdown, checkmate survival. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Checkmate survival competitive so what's the playlist like because i know they had hardware right rift i know they had shut showdown okay <laughs> back then that mission was heck <laughs> i can imagine i can imagine okay so gambits i know we can do gambits all right, so that, let's jump in. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do me. Me and Grams will do a duo for the time being, and then uh, Lollipop. Whenever you're ready, just let me know, and then we can all hop in here. So champion. Okay, this is the most important thing. So we're gonna be fighting Overload, Unstoppable, and Barrier. So all three, and hopefully, hopefully, Makir, the 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 mission will be fun. I hope so. Okay, so stasis damage is going to be good. Sir, okay, so see guys, I, my mind kind of already knew. I was already anticipating this. Arc and stasis. So bring your arc builds. Bring stasis. We're going to be getting buffs. And then there's going to be void. Okay, so pile of this. Okay, this is going to be fixed. Onslaught rules. Defend and repair the ADU against waves of the combatants. There are 10 waves to set. If the ADU is destroyed, the activity ends. Uh, and then, okay, scraps. Activity currency, they are earned by scoring. Okay. Uh, you want to do VC for this one, Gramps? I imagine we, we should do VC, right? I think VC is probably the safest bet. This is just you and me. We can just uh, hop in the 1v1s for now, and then when... Um, and Lolly's ready. Lollipop can uh, can jump in, and she can be muted because I know Lollipop doesn't want to to be on the mic. I know from before she mentioned. Hello, 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 hello. Are you ready? I am. Let's try this out. <laughs> I am just like you said. If, if if we had no ears, my smile would just crack my skull right now. Yep. That's the way. <laughs> I am absolutely just ecstatic by everything. So talk to me, like, uh, what were your what were your overall impressions from the the final shape uh, trailer and and gameplay showcase? Oh man, I mean, combining all those subclasses together, it's gonna be insane. Just like the chat said, it's yeah, be awesome, man. It's yeah, it's gonna be an incredible, incredible experience. And I, I, I for one am in the same boat that the customization is gonna be out of this world. And mm -hmm. I was again, we were never expecting this. Like that's the one thing. It was no. you know, we all anticipated like light and dark at some point, but never to this extent. Nothing to help you but your team and your yeah. weapon. Fight. I mean, they they really like like chat said they kept this close to their their chest yeah they really did they really kept yeah. it to their chest and we can totally see that okay so i gotta try this out here all right this is gonna be interesting for us okay the adu has assembled for us so we gotta stay in here i guess and start building okay so purchase and Okay, so let's see. Um, purchase tripwire. I guess I'll purchase. Let's see. We have turret for two thousand, tripwire yep. for a thousand. Uh, then we have a decoy for two thousand. So maybe I will go with. I don't know if the tripwire is a one shot though. I'll purchase it just in case. Mm -hmm. Since we only have a thousand anyway, I might as well just grab two of those and then. Uh, I have my Salvation's Grip to block off any chokes anyway. So there's enemies coming from this way, so I can probably do this. Block them off. 
and then just destroy them. Bounty completed already. Okay, so I guess we have to... Oh. Okay, so we we just collect these, right? I think so. Okay. I mean, the ADU. Yep. So I'm going to grab some of these. There's also some uh, heavy and heavy bricks, special bricks. Oh, did you already throw them in there? I guess so. I threw one in there. Yeah, because it canceled mine, so... Okay, so I'm going to throw this down like this. So that way they can't chase us in here. Maybe they're timed, so we have to bring them back before the time runs out on them? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, there is a timer on it. Definitely the timer. Okay, so I'll can do Salvation Grip in this room. Okay, someone's behind me? Oh, there is. Wow, there's a guy right in front of me. Okay, so there's one, one orb behind me. I'll try and rush out and see if any enemies are coming through. Okay, so I pick up a battery. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a Tormentor already. Holy moly. Okay, you're going to get frozen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got these explosive guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so I guess we got to really hunker down here. I'll try and freeze everything. This tormentor is actually crazy. Yeah, good well in here. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm going to try and blind them. I'll pick up a battery here. Oh, I got blown up. Okay, I'm gonna try and freeze him again. Ooh, okay. Okay, Tormentor's almost done. Oh, I'm gonna run away. I'm almost dead. Yep, it's done. Perfect. Nice, good job. Alright, so we have more scrap, so I guess we can purchase more things now. So, let's see. Um, upgrade turret. How about the turret over okay. here? Yeah, go go for that one. I've got 2142, so I'm going to get more, more tripwire on the other side. And... Let's see here. So turret's been upgraded. What else have we done? Okay, so you've got your turret there. Perfect. Okay. This is fun as heck. I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming with you over to that side. I'm gonna block off that area there. Okay, I'm gonna grab the, the orb. Batter here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna use more salvations here, block them off. Almost blocked me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I have to be, be be wary of now, is actually blocking off my teammates too. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So tourists are doing their work over there. Uh, I'm gonna grab more special ammo. So let's see where they're coming from. Okay, they're coming from the right hand side. I'm gonna block them off. Yep. Nice. Block them off again. Oh that that is ridiculous. This salvation's grip is actually crazy. I'll make sure you come back safely though. <laughs> <laughs> this won't block you off. Okay, I'm gonna deal with the enemies here. You guys can maybe try and collect as you go. I have my super here. Oh yeah, these these things get erased.
Nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab more batteries here. Okay, so wave six now. Nice. Good job. Oh, what's this? Oh, new wave. Do we jump in? Yeah, enter the ship. Okay. Yep, into the ship. Execute all targets and make sure you're oh, still wow. standing when the dust settles. Okay. So I guess we just keep going and shooting. Alright, so we go to the right hand side. Spark quarters defeated. Okay. Nice. And then collect. What is this? Okay. Oh, it's a spark. Yeah. Nice. Ignite the rift. Okay. Oh, we have to protect the spark. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I'll throw a blind nade up there. Oh, what the? A total rock. Nice. Okay, so we just go through the portal again. Wow. Okay, right back to where we came from. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna upgrade. Um, let's see. How much do I have now? I have three thousand. So we could. I'm gonna upgrade or get more trip wire here. I might go for an upgrade here. All right. So I'm at six thirty-three, but we have upgrades. Um, so tripwire needs an upgrade, maybe. I think I'm saving for an upgrade for the turrets. Okay, there's one up all. 3100 now, so. Okay, I upgraded mine, so I'm, I'm a bit spent, but I'll... I'll definitely save up. I won't throw that. Oh, I have no heavy left. That's not good. My nades down here. I gotta get used to this bouncy stuff with the nades. Bonus objective. Bonus objective? Capture pyramid zone. Capture pyramid zone. So where is right. that? Is it any other side? Hold on. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I'm on the I'm on the pyramid now. To where I, come nice. to where I am. I'm capturing it now. Matt. 100. Done. Got a trophy of bravery for that too. Great. Cool. Alright, they're coming down. Looks like I've been playing with the hobby. I did not expect him to want to play. Hey, no worries, Lollipop. It's all good. I'm glad the hubby is ready to play. It's a heavy ammo box by the ADU. Oh, got that one right away. Okay, I'm refreshed now. I got 2,000. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the, the batteries here and upgrade. Damn. Okay, where are they coming from? Left and right? Okay, I better back up a little bit. Is there something over there, Gramps? Yep. It's a big... Uh, oh my gosh! The walker? Yeah, the walker. Wow, okay, well... You won't be walking here by us. Nice, okay, so you dropped... Okay, so there's two of them for you guys. Well, I have about 2843 now, uh, as far as uh, scraps, which this is, is nice. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Right, enter Make the boss. Yeah, enter the boss again. I probably should not have my blink on in this one. I think triple jump might be the better option. 
yeah, I'll, I'll use my triple jump to make, be safe. Okay, here we go. All right. I'm a bit, I'm a bit behind, but here we go. All right. All ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. Rally and shoot. Okay, let's do this. I got my super now, so I'm gonna actually go in. I'm gonna back away here. A lot of orbs behind us, by the way. I'm just blocking all the enemies off because they can't pressure us. Yep, put the well down here. Okay, perfect. You know what? I'm actually gonna swap the prodigal off. I'm gonna use um I'm gonna use dusk or tusk here. Okay, so we got a spark. Okay. Oh, they're right there. <laughs> I didn't see the rewards. Ooh, okay. So trophy of bravery and hung jury. Okay, let me actually re yeah, re return to shacks in the Hall of Champions. Okay, so let's let's remove some items so we can actually start farming. Okay, uh, seven seconds. I, I imagine it'll probably go to the postmaster anyway. So. Probably. Yeah, yeah. That was actually really fun. Yeah. Really was. Yeah. Very, very fun. The teamwork aspect I can totally see being really important since we have to kind of know like our financial situation. Like, okay, how many scraps do we have left and who's going to be purchasing this? And that's going to be like one of the more uh, important factors because... If one of us just splurges, <laughs> then it might cause us some problems. <laughs> one person buys far too many, or one too many, uh, what's it called? One too many trip wires when we need more turrets or something. Are we going back to shacks now? Oh yeah, let me do that before we continue. Yeah, let me do that. Um, so shacks is into the lights, all the champions, okay. Okay, so something just unlocked. Cool. Okay, so uh, as you as you play, uh, the Into the Light now has something new. Because on the on the left hand side it had onslaught playlist, and then on the right hand side now it just has onslaught. Yeah. So that's if you uh, do a pre made team. Then. I imagine. Yeah, that's probably if you make a pre made team. Makes sense. Yeah, what's up, Jay? Need one? That would actually be great if you can hop in. Uh, me and... Because um, Lollipop is playing with the hubby. So that's totally fine. Uh, we can probably jump into GM Run 2 then, uh, Gramps. Okay. Let's drag you in here. So yeah, Jay, hop in the, the VC and then the three of us will run it. Uh, five minutes? Okay, that's fine. So, in this five minute period, me and Gramps will just do some wandering. Because mm -hmm. this is, uh, Shacks. yeah, talk to Shaxx. And actually, let me just check out the hung jury, even though we already have the weapon. I don't know why they would give us... I got this. a succession. Oh! Rifle. Nice! That's awesome. Let me get rid of the multi mock for now. Actually, what gun am I not going to use as much? Maybe empirical. Yeah, I'll put empirical away for the time being. I just want to see the design on the the hung jury. Let's see, because it, it they did say that the the drops would give you a chance to get the limited edition stuff, right? Yep. So let's see. Did I get one? Oh. Um. Yeah, I did not. 
But I do like the design though. Very, very nice. Oh, wait, the color changes. Depending on the lighting. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. It's purple, then green. But the gold finish is still the same. But that's really cool, Hong Jury. I got loose change and box breathing. That's actually not bad for Hong Jury. Not bad. Small bore. I'm going to add the counterbalance to this. Ooh, this is crispy. But I still want the limited edition one. So I'm going to go talk to Shax. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Wait, wait, wait. Just give me three more minutes. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Take your time. We're, we're just going through here. I'm just going to wander around. Reputation rank six. Okay, so we can't get any of this stuff yet. Um, so we'll talk to Shax. Every exercise with light should teach you something. Okay. So more trophies of bravery. They can be exchanged for brave weapons. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be farming Old McDonald. <laughs> right here. And let's see what we get. So claim new weapons by spending your trophies of bravery at the brave chest in the Hall of Champions. Okay, so you've earned enough trophies of bravery to open the brave chest, which can contain all the brave weapons you've unlocked so far. Interact with the brave chest in the Hall of Champions to claim one of Shax's personal weapons. All right, so let's let's see here. I'm guessing it's the one on the left. Okay, yeah. So redeem 10 trophies of bravery. So another hung jury. So I'm guessing it's whatever, yeah, whatever you currently own. Which makes <laughs> nope. sense. Not really, because I Get got an edge so transit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude. So I'm just, I'm just getting unlucky then. You'll use this well. I'm getting unlucky. Uh, invite. Okay, one second, Jay. Give me one second. Um. Okay. Add Elsie's rifle to your brave arsenal by completing the corresponding quest. Stranger danger. What? Okay. On your way, Guardian. What news All right. on the war front? That's that's pretty cool. I guess I will do that. Let me just invite um Jay real fast. There's Jay again. Jay's name is Yeah, JD Killer, so it was. Okay. So LC's quest is where exactly? Quests. Okay, let me just obtain my. Okay, so defeat fallen. I'll claim that. Ooh, okay, so I have another trophy of bravery. Okay, and a nice ever. Uh, I think you have to go to orbit, but uh, I'll just wait. Like for oh. me to join. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, Space Force, great news on Star Wars game, instant sub, have fun gaming, thank you so much, Space Force, I appreciate you, appreciate you. Yeah, I, I'm very happy for Out, Outlaws myself, I'm very, very stoked for that. That that announcement in August just blew me away, I'm extremely stoked, and I hope you are too. Oh, so yeah, by the way, folks, Bright Dust, acquire that in the shop before you forget. Free 700, by the way. Uh, also, ooh, we also have the Itsy Bitsy Spider Weapon Ornament for the Recluse. I'm going to acquire that myself right now before I forget. And then uh, now that that's done, I am going to go back to the tower, I'm guessing, because you can't come in with us, uh, Jay. Just go out into orbit. Okay, so yeah, just return to orbit then. Alright, so orbit. Alright. Should be good to go now. Okay, so let me invite you again. Oh, there you go. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now, as far as quests, I'm just checking. Probably full on the destination. Yeah, most likely, I can imagine. Okay, so here we go. So, feats of bravery. Add Elsie's rifle. Okay, so we're on step six of seven. So, Elsie's rifle acquired. So, I have to click on that quest. And then, Whispers of the Past is the exotic for the Whisper. 
which I'll do later. That's not a, an important thing. Right now, today is on slot grind. I want to farm, so. Where did you pick up the quest for the wisp, though? Uh, so if you go to quest, they should already be on the screen. Like I have feats of bravery and then whispers of the past uh, for the exotic on my right. Oh yeah, yeah. Need to talk to Ares more. Yeah. So that one I'll do later. I'm not gonna go to it right now. That I can probably do tomorrow. I can do a solo run, blind of that one, which will be extremely fun. Yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that one. So let's let's hop back into the light here. Okay, so we'll go back to the Hall of Champs. And so, okay, so it shows we can have five people coming through. So there's a maximum of five that can come with us, not six. Which I guess is the... Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, in... no, 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 in... uh, I can I can't restart it, sorry. It's already logging us in. But as far as the Hall of Champions, I think five can only be oh, the max. No. Because I think typically it's six if you have a full squad or something, but in this case it's just five. Oh, if you wanted to invite your your colleague, Jay? Yeah, we'll we'll do it after. Okay. Let's see here. All right, let me go back and talk to. Okay, so who do we talk to again? Okay, so this is rank 10, rank 14, rank 4, rank 12. Okay. Interact. Okay, so quests. Stranger danger. Okay, here we go. So, defeat combatants with precision damage using pulse rifles anywhere in the system. Bonus damage progress granted in onslaught. Or, defeat combatants in vanguard ops. <laughs> skip i want onslaught so pulse rifle all right that's fair okay so we'll accept that that's pretty straightforward and then a pulse rifle i guess it's time to bring out my favorite gun the outbreak perfected because <laughs> that's getting buffed anyway as a matter of fact it already is buffed as a as of this new patch so I will put away the hung jury because I have a million of you already now. You can sit. I switch in. to a void build with the uh, graviton lance. Ooh, okay, very nice. That's gonna be a fun one too. And I can't believe they gave me the same hung jury with the same flipping perks too. Sad. Oh well, it's fine. All right, so we have a slot open, just in case. And I'm gonna continue with the farm. So I'm gonna have out of bounds. Well, I can go prosecutor for volt shot. Yeah, okay, so I have volt shot, then tusk of the boar, then salvation to freeze. That, that actually came in handy. Just that salvation's grip was crazy protection. So. Let me close down this thing here just to save save some RAM. All right. So as far as everything is concerned, are y'all ready? Like loadouts are all good to go? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's run this. And then we have our quest. Just make sure you have the quest from artists or our site for the, whatchamacallit? Which quest? JD? JD, could you please uh, turn on push to speak in the game? Uh, for me, um, Gramps? No, for JD. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, in the game. Do yep. you hear two of me? Yep. <laughs> okay, let's right, see. Then. So let me grab out. my fan or something. You do hear my fan? No. All right. Oh, but I can't use... What okay. is this quest that you're talking about? Uh, so basically, it's saying... Oh, I can use Hullabaloo. Okay, so it's saying that we need to do an LC, an LC quest, which you obtain by talking to our site. But because, because Gramps and I have already 
finished one part of Shax's quest, I think you have to still do that. What, feats of bravery? Yeah, the feats of bravery thing. And then once that part is done, it's asking you to do... Well, you finished the whole quest? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, in, th in that case, then maybe you are the same place as us then. Okay. Because, yeah, it's what, asking me to... What part are you on? We just what part of the quest did are one on slope. Yeah, we just did one together. So I'm on step six of seven, and it's saying to add LT's rifle to your brave arsenal by completing the, co the corresponding quest, Stranger Danger. And then that, that quest, Stranger Danger, you will, you obtained from our site, uh, which is uh, the first quest you'll see, I believe. Because it's asking you to do uh, pulse rifles. Crucible gets harsher every day. And that pulse rifle. I don't rifle. see the green stuff for I me yet. Sure of it. I just see the other stuff. The bounties and stuff, right? Yeah, I don't see the quest yet. I okay. only see bounties. Mm -hmm. All right, we're so you'll so you need two of the quest. So, yeah, you need to do an onslaught first. Then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's That's jump. Fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're, we we both need to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Um, so it still says I have to. Okay, so in this case, I'm guessing we do the, the playlist, right? Like which one? Well, would yeah, I want? it will be shorter that way. So. Fast oh, there's get... two playlists you have there. What is that? Onslaught and onslaught defense. Yeah. So I'm um, ah, okay. I see the difference now. So the playlist one is where you just do ten waves, where the onslaught does the the total of fifty. I make sure of it. Yep. Yeah. So to make it fast since... for you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Since we want you to catch up to where we are, then once you've caught up to to Gramps and I, then we can obtain or at least aim for. The 50. Yeah. That's that's gonna be the fun one. The 50 one's gonna be great. I wonder how hard it's gonna be. It's it gonna was... get progressively harder for each boss we do. Yeah, exactly. And it was already I'm wondering if I should just have a GM loadout from the beginning. <laughs> I would recommend that, because if it's gonna get harder, I'd imagine it would feel much there like a GM. In this? Yep. Yeah. It will be. There will be yeah there's um i believe barrier unblockable or unstoppable barrier. and uh overloads dio how is onslaught amazing amazing so far i'm having a wonderful time it's uh been a very very fun experience oh this okay new map okay combat oh. potential make Ooh. me proud pain Stop. leads to perfection nice. Guardian. embrace it yes yeah, very very fun Having a blast so far with Gramps and Jay just joined us not too long ago. It's been a while, Dio. Yeah, absolutely. How have you been? Okay, so this has been assembled. So the question is... Alright, here we go. So where do we want to upgrade? Okay, who's going to buy what? So you've, I'm going to purchase some tripwire here. At the I'm top. a turret here for 2000 Okay, um, I'm gonna buy another trip wire for a thousand. So now I'm down to one seventy six. Things things have been bad, deal. Oh no! How come? You can buy more. Uh, I've got only one seventy six, oh. so I can. Yeah, I gotta save up again. Oh, it's your score at the bottom. That's how you buy stuff. Yeah. So it tells you your scraps and how much you you have to spend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna block those stairs off. Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> I forgot that I'm not using salvation anymore. Um, oh, yeah, gotta be careful. I'm gonna grab some of these uh, orbs here and install. Oh, not watching my stream so bad. Hey, it's all good. I mean. I understand if, if things have not been the most uh, positive for you, so don't sweat it. I'm just glad you're here now. It's what matters. Ah, there you go. It's a bonus objective to speed up this wave. Oh, okay. Uh, so we need how many minutes? 
Okay, we need a minute to finish it. So we gotta be acting fast then. So you guys take care of that stuff. I'll take care of the minions. If possibly can. Try and kill them as fast as I can to grab the orbs. Or the batteries. Okay, there's a couple batteries on the floor there. Okay, there's one more orb to my left. Yeah. Yeah, just toss them in there. I'm gonna grab some more heavy. There's heavy heavy ammo behind the ADU. Yeah, just, just grab as many balls as you can. That didn't sound right, but just try and, <laughs> <laughs> let's try and grab as much as you can and throw them into the ADU and uh, I think that'll give us more scraps for us to use. Uh oh, there's an eyeball behind us or a servitor. There's two of them. They have big shields. Yeah, they have really big shields. Okay. I'm gonna pick up one of these uh, matters at the bottom here. Enemies at the at mid section. Okay, so we have 25 seconds to invest here. I'm going to upgrade these turrets, or tripwires, rather. Um, so another thousand here. I've got 268 left. And then upgrade. Okay. So tripwires, another thousand up here. If anyone has uh, 2,000 scrap, there's a turret down here. I unfortunately only have 276 because I bought the trip wires to block off the ADU. Okay, I have my super here. I'm just going to go go crazy here. Oh, there's two eight, uh, two batteries here at the bottom. Yep. On it. Okay. Okay, I don't want to go too far from the fort. But I'll try and not to die. Okay, got this. Just behind you guys. Jump. I can use my pulse rifle. Getting crazy here. Okay. Oh, there's one guy on a base here. Nice. All right, time for the pyramid. To the pyramid. Press your opponents and survive. Victory is a matter of will. Oh, look at those nanites, baby. Uh-oh. Oh, Damn. Who got DC? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. Can I, can I re-invite, <laughs> I imagine? I can probably re-invite, right? Hold on a second, Jay. Hold Could on a just second. Put us back in the group uh, when we relog. Yeah, hold on. Let me try and invite you. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Gramps. I have to invite just in case. Yeah. Let, let's Your wait for. Activity. Perfect. We need fire. Awesome. Perfect. That was unfortunate. But luckily, <laughs> you're right back here. <laughs> right back in it. 
Oh. Plus five hype. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Even when you're not with us, you're still with us. Oh. You got, I got kicked again? Yeah. Yep. Well, let's try, try and join us again when you come back. Hopefully you get more hype for joining us again. <laughs> it's just free, free farming I think I for need that. An invite, though. Okay, let me invite you again. It's giving you XP for joining. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That'd actually be a crazy, uh, a crazy strat too. Actually, when you think about it, just crash and then just get free XP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just easy farming for you. Alright, so I think I'm done the quest, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I need precision kills, I believe. Oh, they are freezing me like crazy! Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we have to kill that orb. Yeah, that orb behind them is, needs to be... Oh, wait. Oh, do you go up to it? Yeah, you... Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe like some spark here. Ah, there you go. Yeah, Graham's got the spark. Biggest of brains. There you go. Nice. Good call there, Gramps. Okay, so now I have a total of. Uh, 2,300, so I guess one of us uh, puts a turret down here. Perfect. And then upgrades, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just throw my trip wires up. I'll okay, grab there's, another... there's another turret over here on this side. Oh, I missed that one then. Okay, I only have 1,300, so I guess I'll save this until the next round. Yeah, sure. Okay. But at least I have three trip wires up now, so that should be should be all right. Yeah, deal. Don't sweat it. You know, I'm just very happy you're here with us. It's no big deal. That's all that matters. Did you see it? Did you see the trailer, by the way, the gameplay footage for um, for Final Shape? That's going to be amazing, by the way. The new subclass reveal was uh, such an incredible thing for us. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay in the base and I'm trying to see enemies. Any enemies around us? Okay, so I only have 17, but it seems like it's increasing slightly. Arc damage is going nutty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. What a good day. Grab these batteries again. Uh, one guy at the base, by the way. Oh, he was there. You look tanky. You're a tanky boy. Alright, I've got 2600 now. So now I can... Here we go. Okay, so I can't, I can't buy anything yet. Going for B? Yep, come on. Okay, I'll go with A then. Yeah, I'm going over to A. I'm gonna just pop my super oh. here. Oh yeah, there's a big boy over here. Yep, here. Nice, good job, Jay. Okay, A seems to be secure. No. 
Oh, we've got enemies in the base now. Okay, I'll come back to y'all. So many orbs on the floor, my goodness. Alright, where may we go? Alright, let's go to the pyramid. Rest your yep. opponents and survive. Here we go. Victory is a matter of will. Oh, okay, be careful with those holes. Don't jump on those white holes over there. Just die there. Unlock the pyramid's inner chamber. Okay, let me just check this quest real fast. I wonder if this is... Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing that the, we acquire it after we finish this wave. Okay. Alright, y'all ready? Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna go my super right now. I'm gonna pop it off. And I'm going in. these guys in the back. Alright, see ya. I'm out of here. I got too close. Oof, okay, these guys are hitting super hard here. I gotta back away. Yeah. Much harder than I anticipated. Nice. Okay, nice. So we can just collect our grub here. Collect loot. Another hung jury for me. The succession for me. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, uh, they were close. Nice. Ooh, nice. Very nice. This hung jury can literally go in the trash. Succession with the, the reconstruction of box breeding. Ooh, okay. This yeah. feels like a funnel web. I'm gonna have to do a review on that and see what the differences between both of them would be. All right, that was nice. That's just for a ten a ten roll or a ten uh, a ten wave. So now that we have three peeps here, fifty wave is the way to go because I imagine we're gonna get more for our rewards. Yeah, probably. It's gonna um, be a reward every ten levels, right? That's right. Yeah. So if we can get to the 50, we'll be, we'll be cooking. So now let me see here. Let me go, let me just exit this playlist. Wow. It just I need to go back. To sh back. Yeah. It just, me, yeah. It just put me right back into the game instantly. Didn't get a chance to even go back to orbit. So let me, <laughs> <laughs> it literally didn't even give me the option to press escape. It was just like right in. So oh, let me let me do all that real fast. Actually, I can probably just do it here. Nope. I have to wait for it to load us in. We didn't acquire the pulse rifle though, so let's. All right, so let's leave. Return to orbit. Yeah, I'm only fifty-six percent, uh... right? No, 56 uh, precision hits. No oh. Presents. Okay, that's right, because you got to do the precision hits and then get the kills too, right? No, wait, hold on. I don't see the quest you have. I just see... 
complete one of the following objectives. Defeat combatants with precision damage using pulse rifles anywhere in the system bonus. Progress granted in onslaught. Oh, okay, now I see it. <laughs> now I see it. I had, I had to actually obtain the quest. Well, not obtain it, but I had to mark the quest or track it. Okay, so I'm at 56 out of 100 for mine. Okay. Uh, what about you, Jay? Is Jay here? Oh, he's muted. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we go back to Shax. Is there anything? Is there something you wanted to get at Shax or? No, oh, for JD. Okay. Yeah. True. 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 For the actual quest. True. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Bacree stasis, not too bad. Nice, nice. Is that what you've been testing, Lollipop, with the hubby? What's the hubby running, by the way? Out of curiosity. What does Hung Jury give me? Dim's being a bit slow, unfortunately. Uh, explosive payload shoot to loot. That's the third shoot to loot I've seen. But explosive isn't too bad. Might just trash it. Box breathing is not bad though. I'll take the box breathing one. Box breathing and shoot to loot isn't terrible. All right. So yeah, go for it, Jay. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for you here because I don't think Gramps and I can really do much until. Actually, no, wait. We can still roll in the, the chest because we have the, the bravery stuff. Yeah, if we've gotten 10 of them. Yeah, so I can. Let's see what I get here. What do we? Mm. You're alive, more. Guardian. Fight like it. Bounties. Ribbon's lair. Okay, so I'm gonna just grab some more bounties here. Hopefully, this is as sturdy as you are. Not enough space. Okay. Sure. Interesting. So. Nothing here. Okay, so we can't do anything there just yet. Trophies of bravery. So how much did we get from doing that? Does it even tell us how much trophies of bravery we have? The EDZ needs our help, Guardian. Get out there. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm actually at my capacity for my bounties. I need to actually uh, start. Unfortunately, uh. You know what? Since I have my bounties done, I can probably do my weekly. One, I two... Muted. I think you were muted, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you're good now. I don't know what happened earlier. I guess it was just maybe Discord being stupid. As usual. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get my weeklies done for the Vanguard. Can you hear me now? Yep, yeah, you're good. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Uh-oh. I heard I heard Gramps. Gr I heard you, Gramps, by the way. You're 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 heard. Let me disconnect from mine. I try yeah. coming There you go. I hear Jay. I was um I was in another I was in an Xbox party, seeing if he wanted to join, but he's doing the whisper right now. That's fine. That's no problem. And yeah, uh, Gramps, oh, I did. I did hear you, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't hear you guys. Oh, weird. <laughs> I guess that's I the was, Discord. I was deafened. I was. I deafened myself. Yeah, for I don't. Me... I don't know if that does it for everyone, though. No, it shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just collect these bounties so I can actually go to Zavala. You can see how many trophies you have, by the way, if you look in your inventory. EDZ needs our help, uh, you. Okay. Oh, return me to orbit. Yeah, same. Okay, I guess there's a timer on how long you can stay there. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that would be weird. That's yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah, that's a bit strange to me. Oh, I just kicked all you guys out. Hold on. I have to re-invite you. Yep. Hold on. Okay. Uh, 
imagine there's a timer <laughs> you can only stay there for 15 <laughs> minutes <laughs> that would be lame uh, there you go okay so uh what so what are you saying there graham so you mentioned um trophies hey, yeah you can see your trophies if you go into your inventory ah okay cool so how much do i currently have i have Six. Okay, and then you needed ten to collect, right? Yeah, from the from the chest. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're losing. You're using. You the... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You need the uh, rank ups and uh, and trophies to open the specific class chests. Gotcha. That's right. Because yeah, rank four, like rank fourteen or something, right? Yep. Okay. Makes sense. So it works the same way as. Uh, that's uh, Zur. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that makes all the more sense to me then. Okay. So let me keep running with this. Okay, let's do the 50 run now. Sure. That's going to be a fun one. Um, okay, so I won't use Outbreak because I want to use Salvation's Grip for this. Cause Will that... it let me drop into 50? Check. Uh, it should because it's saying we can launch. Oh, you can? Yeah, right. it's, we can launch it. So then you're good. Yeah, yeah. And we can choose the map too. We can choose Moth Yards, Vostok, Legend Midtown, Legend Moth Yards, or Legend Vostok. But of course, Legend is going to be a challenging one only because I don't know all the maps well enough yet. So let's do Midtown. Have you done Midtown already or no? We haven't yet, right? No. Okay, so we'll do no. Midtown again. Uh, Gramps and I did, so we kind of know that one. Uh, yep. and after that one, we can do Moth Yards because we don't think I don't think anyone anyone has done Moth Yards yet. Nope. So let's do that. Um, before I jump in, though, I'm going to swap off Outbreak. As much as I love the weapon, I'm actually going to swap off because I really want to use a different pulse uh, so I can use Salvation's Grip because that's going to really help us for dealing with ads. Let me throw on. Ooh, maybe I can do Psy Hermetic because it has Sidestone on it. That would be pretty good. Just more freezing. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. All right, so let's go with Psy Hermetic. Then I'll go with. Okay, so Prodigal was fun, but it was just weird using. Okay, maybe I'll go with Indebted. And then we can go with salvation. Perfect. All right. Uh, our first run did not count towards the quest, so we have to do it again. What? How come? What, what was the the issue there? That must really be disheartening to go through the first run only to not have anything be done. No idea. Yeah, that's weird. What the? That makes no sense. Why would it not count? Because that because you we talked to Shax first and he gives you the quest, right? It is release day though. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> it is release day, so. Always gonna be bugs. Yeah, that's yep. pro that's probably the thing. I mean, considering Gramps got kicked what two times already. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't surprised. <laughs> oh, me neither. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna block these guys off. Block that guy off from pushing us. And just focus this one guy on the, on the right. I'll block him off again so he can't move. <laughs> he actually can't move. He's stuck in there. <laughs> Too bad for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Ellie, you're up and streaming already? Yeah, the moment that uh, the Star Wars Outlaws trailer dropped, I had to wake up for that. 
and then right at, shortly after we got the final shape and man oh man am i excited for final shape now after seeing what they've announced <laughs> here i am sleeping in to make it easier to wait until normal stream <laughs> only for today only for today you you can definitely sleep in tomorrow because i'll be going back to regular time this is just for today because i had so much to cover like today was a massive day it was star wars and destiny for me so it was like a huge christmas gift Like, I'm double excited. Alright, you guys can stay within a freeze. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is actually fine. Uh-oh. Something behind us? No. Oh, no. Gotta try and get the res there. I'll try and block off some targets to get the res off. I was gonna try and hold off from playing until you got on later. Oh yeah, I I definitely was not expecting to play, but now I'm like wide awake. We're gonna get a chance to play, Ellie. You don't worry about that. I'm I've already given you priority space. So you you are good on that. The next time I'm I on do that to you. It will wake you up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is, this is a mode that will wake you up. And I definitely was awakened. And just seeing all the Final Shape stuff and... Oh, I got knocked out. Seeing all the Final Shape stuff was just a huge alarm clock for me. That was like, I gotta wake up for this. It's okay, I got this guy. He can't move now. Some fighting you. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go to A. Someone's gotta go come A with me, I guess. There's, there's so many ogres here, bro. Oh, I got oh. kicked. Yeah, me too. I got kicked. Guitar too. this time. <laughs> wow, we all got kicked. I'm not even looking at the code names. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me invite you guys again. Oh my goodness. Well, at least we got used to that one. I'm doing the wake up chores and I'll be around. Absolutely, Ellie. Ellie, for sure, we're going to be playing together. Like, without a doubt. You are definitely a part of the priority crew. Again, I wasn't really thinking about playing, but again, once I jumped into the mode, I, I was like, I can't go back to sleep. Not to mention I had, I had, uh... Wait, one sec. Let me... Okay, never mind. Wait, how many people can we have in here? Max? Only th three. Three, yeah. Three? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's just a trio. What is it? Five is the other one? Or is that the Hall of Heroes can have five there? Yeah. yeah. So Hall of Champions. Oh. Yeah, Hall of Champions. So this game five. mode is three, three players? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. all right. It's like doing a GM essentially. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold me. Oh, oh, wait, let me make sure I'm doing the right one. Okay, yeah, Midtown, okay. We want the 50 wave. I don't want the 10 wave anymore. <laughs> All the baby steps. Now we have to take the walk. We have to walk and. You do know there is a, is a race for world first 50. Right oh, yeah, now. yeah, that's yeah, right. It is. The first three teams who can do it get that stay at the Lord Shacks. Probably on Legend, though. Was it a Legend? Oh, no. I don't know. No, I think it's Legend, because this might game be. mode is on 1600 right now. Yeah, it might be. That's a possibility. Yeah, Legend, I imagine, would be super challenging. But then again, I don't know much of the map, so I'd, I'd rather just do the maps first on regular, and then once we understand it, then we can probably juice the, the Legend. As much as I love Lord Shaxx and that, that, uh, what's him call it? The, um, the figure. 
Imagine going in blind on a legend would be just a headache. And now, speaking of headaches, the game is black for me. Is it for you guys yeah, too? Yeah, same. Yep. Wait, I think everyone's on now, Ellie. I, I saw a tracks on too. Like, I think everyone's on. <laughs> Who cares about sleep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At this point, I don't even think I can go back to sleep. Not when, it's... not when nothing new is out. Yeah. This is what everyone's been waiting for. Destiny's been so boring lately. Yeah, I can't even tell. Like, even when I was playing... Like for people that have played, like, everything, like, I just, like, come on and look at your stream and, like, I don't even feel like playing because I'm so bored of everything. Like, I was just, the other day, I was just getting raid titles done, because I was bored. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I, I was just playing PvP most of the time, if I'll be honest. That just really kept me engaged. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I was playing a lot of Iron Banner, too, to get those weapons. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I was also farming for the, the tusks so I can review it. And then, mount, um, not Mount Top. Um... I never bothered getting the Prosecutor, because, like, I hate that. I hate that dungeon. Oh, prophecy? Yeah, I've done it so many times. Yeah, Prophecy was uh it was an interesting experience to say the least. I definitely farmed it to get the prosecutor because I, I, I just love the weapon. And I was able, I was there's, lucky enough. There's like a lot of a lot of the I think it's an uh the RPM of that gun. There's like a lot of guns like that. Oh yeah. Prosecutor is just amazing. Like, it's just so steady. Yeah, it's like a good arc one. If you want like a good arc one, so mm -hmm. it's a good arc one because it's arc, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah, and that's what I'm using currently. I have Zen Moment Volt Shot on it. It's just my favorite gun to use. Use the summoner. Like I haven't even done the new summoner. I just use my old one, and it's still good. Yeah, summoner is clean too. I have both uh, equipped, or well, not equipped, but both in my energy weapon slot in case i ever do swap to to solar again i like using I summoner i don't like what they did with the new one it's facing in the wrong direction yeah <laughs> the image you is know what i mean yeah yeah i yeah. want to use it because of that the icon right <laughs> it's so it's it's like all the energy weapons are supposed to be to the to the right no mm -hmm. and the the kinetics are all to the left. Yeah, and the summoners uh, auto one out. <laughs> Everyone do seem to be on. Guess how silly to wait. It's all good, Ellie. It's no big deal. You know, your your rest is important. So, you sleeping in. I would, if I were in your shoes, I would have done the same thing. But this is my this is my career, so I had to I had to get my rest and jump out of bed. But I'm like, I could not miss Star Wars Outlaws. If I missed that, I would be sad. What is that, a new game? Yeah, yep. it's it's the new Star Wars game coming out in August. And this morning, my time, they announced the story trailer. And they revealed so much of that game. And I was... What Absolutely. is that game like? Is it like Battlefront or something? No. Poetry. It's... I played that one. Battlefront. It's... It's more like uh, GT. I was gonna say GT, like Grand Theft Auto, like the way that's open world oh, style. Really? Yeah, but it's just it takes place in the Star Wars, the Star Wars universe, and you're a bounty hunter, so there's gonna be a lot of amazing gameplay. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be so fun, man. Like, oh, got kicked oh again. My God, bro. <laughs> well, this is gonna be, yeah. It's gonna be a, another one of those days, like y'all said. It's gonna be a day of bugs, guitars, you know. <laughs> guitars. <laughs> yep. That's, That's what I got. Away on that guitar. I got anteatered, bro. Yeah, I got the, I got the guitar one, so I'm like, all right, well, I guess it's time to be uh, sitting on my old rocking chair with my banjo, I guess, and wait until everything's done. I think that's why my buddy's not playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone he is. Knows. He knows what's happening. I feel like I'm unlikely to find anyone to experience it all fresh with all and of get first impressions. Streamers are experiencing the same thing, though. I'm, I'm looking at other streams as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not surprised though. Yeah, everyone is. Maybe we should try another map. Just e see if, map. if yeah, to see if it works better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll try the moth, the moth which, one. Which is like the smallest map. I would have no idea. It's our first time doing it every all of them, so I would have no idea which one is the large one or the small one. The invite failed. No. Um, interesting. I feel like it's I feel like it's crashing us because of uh, too many ads or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it oh. might be. Let's see. Okay. Cramps. Yeah, it won't let me invite you. Oh, there you go. There you go. You. And don't worry, Ellie. If anything, this is this to us. It's still fresh. So your first impressions will still be met with 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 awe. And and a how, genuine. How far was the first like the first map that went up to ten, right? Yep. Yeah, and that was only because we chose the playlist version. But if we choose the onslaught yeah. version, there's likely going to be uh, a lot more. So there, again, yeah, that's why maps on, on, on the the onslaught one, right? We don't have to take midtown. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So on the onslaught playlist, you can choose which one you want. So in this case, I'm going to choose moth yards since we haven't done it yet, just to test it and see yep. if it actually doesn't crash. Yep. And then. Yeah, because the playlist one, that one's just like your Vanguard Ops, where it just throws you into a random map and you play it, but this one you can choose, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, we'll definitely get a chance to play, like, of course, Gagmin and Ellie. Like, I want to play with y'all, too, so. And yeah, of course, yeah, Gagmin's there, too, Ellie, if you wanted to run it blind. Again, like I said, I woke up. And I was not really expecting to play it like all the way through, but once I got into it, I was like, okay, we gotta play your it. <laughs> come for your life. Like I was already hooked. But not to worry. The first impressions are still fresh for, for me even. Like for all of us, it's still fresh. Like I'm still very much lost in the sauce because even on midtown i'm still learning what to do because we've only done the 10 wave and i imagine like 50 wave will be even different I keep thinking these robots are the enemies but they're our friends Okay. All right, so we still have the same amount as usual, right? Two thousand. Yeah, one hundred. Uh, where the turret? Okay, so I'm gonna put a turret at the the staircase, and I'm gonna put uh, another turret at the bottom of the map. You can only afford one turret. Okay, I, I could afford two, so I just put two down. Okay. Yeah, I, I 2175. I think that's the default, right? For everybody? 2175? Yeah, yeah I have got a default. But the turret cost 2000 for me. Really? It cost 2000? Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. sorry. Trip mine, trip mine. Sorry. My mistake. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That decoy was 2000 too. Yeah, yeah, that was my mistake. I meant the I meant the trip wires. My my call on that. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm running back with the uh, the battery in hand. Okay. Splinters destroyed. Huh? Uh, where are the splinters? Oh, oh above us. Okay, I got one of them. There's two of them. One more to my left, so I'll get that one. Nice. Nice, okay. 
as a trophy. Heavy ammo box here. Perfect. Okay, I'll throw this, uh, throw this down the middle of the staircase. Just, there you go, just don't get caught down there. Block off the stairs again. You can't come upstairs, you're not welcome here. Whoa. Oh, you're coming too close. Get blocked. Hard fought victory, Guardian. Nice. Ooh. Oh, okay. Why is Torment? it all disappearing on me? <laughs> <laughs> Just teleported on you. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I'm try and block him off. Oh. Yep, we got the got these fellows over here. I'm also trying to like to get the pulse rifle quest done too at the same time. It's like multitasking. And I got a tormentor on my right hand side tormenting me. Okay, I'm gonna block him. <laughs> <laughs> Block you off so you can't invade. Always oh, going for the decoy. That's hilarious. <laughs> yep. Such a good decoy. Doing the doing his work. Oh. Yeah. Those those exploding guys came after you. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna try my super here. Let's get him out of here. Try and speed up the process. A lot of batteries here too. There's one more, one more dum dum downstairs. Yeah, somewhere. He's hiding. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> you found him. I found him. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> Close range. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely found me. Game Playboy, how you doing? Welcome. I have 2,079, so I guess I'll invest another tripwire on the staircase. And then I'll save up the 1,000 because I don't know how much more I'll need. Uh, Turret-wise, how are we doing with that? Wait, where is... is there another decoy spot? No. I put up a decoy down there. Okay. How far am I in this quest, by the way? I haven't been paying attention. I'm gonna check my pulse oh. rifle. Return to shots. <laughs> Are yours done? Yep. Nice. Perfect. Range of danger. Hopefully, not be done momentarily. Oh, okay. Alright, I am down. Got slashed. You're not. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're up. <laughs> I'm up now. I'm not coming back upstairs because this is scaring me. All right, let me gather, gather some more bricks. Oof. Damn, they hit surprisingly very hard. Holy moly. If they hit this hard in the regular mode, I can't imagine what, what Legend's gonna feel like then. Mm hmm. Good grief. Uh 
Oh, all right. Try and block these guys off here. Stay off the staircase. Have you decided what builds y'all are going to bring in, by the way? Uh, Ellie and Geg? Oh my goodness, battery. Alright, you can stay off this. Oh, what? How did I die there? It must be my grenade launcher. Got too close to it. Okay, let me just check my quest and see how much I have. <laughs> yeah. 76. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I have 2,300, but pyramid time, so yep. let's go in. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. I'm gonna try and go aggro here. Try and take out as much enemies as I can. It literally sounds like I'm playing Star Wars already. <laughs> <laughs> feels like it too, I bet. Yeah, it literally feels like I'm playing Star Wars. I bet the woo, 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 everything is just... Ark just speaks to me. So no decisions yet. Probably gonna go... Probably gonna run O-Rigs. If I can make the BB work, I'll run it. Let's go, man. I can't wait to run it with you, Ellie. Seriously. It's gonna be super fun because we had a strat too. Remember we had the the Aeon Swift strat with uh, the Void strat. That's gonna be awesome. All right, so I guess we go straight here. Yeah. Oh. And then I can't wait to see what Gegman's cooking up. I secretly wanna wanna get BB to a hundred K kills before next expansion. But without cheesing a kill location has been slower. <laughs> I hope you I hope you get that. I hope you get that uh hundred K kills. That'll be a milestone for you, I imagine. A triumphant tactic. Nice. So that's wave one, I guess, right? Oh, that was wave seven, I think. Okay. Speaking of seven, okay, I'm not even close to 7k yet. I'm at 3k. Uh, so let's see here. So you've already upgraded the turrets, right? Nope. Just bought the level one. Yeah, I gotta buy a tripwire again. I have 2,000. I'll just have to save up again. Uh, most kills on a weapon since Tiku's. Most kills on a special ammo weapon for sure. I, I admire your dedication. I love that. I admire that devotion to leveling up a weapon and really mastering it. Uh oh. Invader. We are... That sound scares me when I hear red alert. The ADU is burning. Yeah, it's burning. Feel it. Oh my gosh. Like an alarm clock that I don't want to hear in the morning. one power. Oof. It is literally on its last last leg here. We need batteries. Yeah, we gotta we gotta yep. soak it up. Alright. Oh 
All right, we're gonna have to block him off. They can't come upstairs. All right, so I got the, I got the thing done, the quest. Ooh. Oh, okay. Watch out for the saboteurs. They hurt. Yeah, they hurt pretty bad. Uh oh. Oh no. Are we done? Mission ends. Oh. I was paying attention to enemies and I, I didn't know what was going on there. That was super fun. Holy moly. That was incredible. I kind of what I'm going to do for my build now. Yeah, definitely try out, try out the bills now. Now's a good time. Mm -hmm. so I, I got to say, out of the three thus far, I kind of do like Midtown. Just in terms of the map layout. But that was surprising. I would say I, I, I liked the last one that we played here now. The Moth one? The Moth Yards? Yeah, because it worked. <laughs> yeah, it didn't crash. <laughs> it didn't actually crash. <laughs> Everything else crashed but that one, so that's yeah. our new favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that's our favorite map now. <laughs> it doesn't crash. That's actually so Bring true. Us to Shacks? Yeah, I'm bringing it back to Shacks now. Because I got the mission done, so now it can test out the, the LC, the LC uh, gun. Which will be fun. Which means I can finally get rid of the Psy Hermetic and try out something new for once. Uh, so let me swap off Psy. And to put you back in the garage for a bit. Alrighty. Here we go. Okay, so Brave Attunement. You've unlocked Attunement. Wonderful. You may only attune to one weapon at a time. To attune a weapon, interact with its corresponding ho hollow shacks in the Hall of Champions. Try attuning to LT's rifle. Can I not attune that one? Can I attune the mountaintop like I want? I think I think you can change or attune it later. Okay. So attune LT's rifle. No, I think we have to attune to LT's rifle. Okay. Speak to Shaxx within the Hall of Champions and claim your prize. Okay. So what else does it say? It says, deactivate, collect Grimoire card. What is that? What? Ooh, collect a Grimoire card about Onslaught. Okay, so before you leave the room, to your right, there's a little Grimoire that you can collect. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was really interesting. And that adds this... I guess it's more lore stuff. Lore. Well, there's one more right here. Let's open. Oh, know wait. Oh, uh, no. Let me go back over there. There's one here. Okay, let's see this. Yeah. Oh, nice. I guess that's, I guess that's uh, corresponding to the waves, maybe. Maybe. It's a possibility. What wave did we get to? Eight. Seven. Uh, I think it was no, eight. Well, we finished eight. Uh, we finished seven. Oh, okay. So we're on eight. Right. Okay. So I, I see what you mean. Oh, don't do that. What is? Nothing. So yeah, yeah. So apparently that thing's bugged. So Lollipop mentioned um, that right chest with the gold. She said not to not yeah. to touch that. I haven't even touched it because I have all those things. Don't waste it. Yeah, yeah. She said if you touch it, it's gonna bug your game or something. Oh, really? This was made yeah. So I was like, all right. Well, you know what? I'm not doing that. I Ooh. didn't. <laughs> I didn't even touch it. I saw all the things in there. I was like, I have all of this. Yeah, it's for the newcomers, I believe. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So Elsie's rifle. It's already master worked, which is nice. Complete all brave How weapon we quests. Can we open any of them? Uh, I think so. So speak to I Core. is on rank four, right? Yeah, rank four. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you have to rank up with Shax here. Oh, this is the first time I've seen somebody else here that's not in our party. Oh, 
Oh, did I get the limited edition one? Did you did you get did you get the limited edition one? Yes. Looks so good. Oh, it looks so so shiny and golden. <laughs> yep. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, and it it has the old black armory uh, on the back, the the waves. Ooh. It's like it's moving. Oh, it's so cool. What is this? Nice. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful to look at. Oh my god, I gotta get all of them now. Mm -hmm. You know what that <laughs> looks like, bro? You know what that looks like? What does it look like? It's like it looks like that exotic, bro. <laughs> yeah. What they're called? It's the exotic that that girl uses. That's her name. Elsie. Elsie. Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? What's what's it called? Elsie's Let rifle. Look. No, it's not called no, that. No. No. That's exotic, not the exotic bro. one. Oh, the fur furnace one or something? No. No time to explain. Oh. Ah, uh, no time to explain. Wait, yeah, no time to explain. It's the same gun model. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> it's the exact same gun model, bro. And now look, it's... look at look at it. Look at no time to explain in your collections. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, let me see this. Go to collections and go to exotic, and it's in kinetic. Second page. Yes. Um, where's the other time? Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're right. Wow. It literally is, but this is now this is now the free to play version. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> bro. That's a, it. Better have something better than this gun. Oh yeah, it's gonna have that's enhanced. What I'm for. It's gonna have enhanced perks because the the and no time to explain doesn't have anything. But with all the new stuff, we can. Well, first of all, we have the legendary, uh, what's it called? Finish. That no other gun will have but this one. What legendary finish? Uh, like the paint, the overall the weapon the ornament. Paint? Yeah, the ornament is exclusive to this weapon, and all the perks will be enhanced. They're enhanceable, I, I believe. See what the perks are? That's that's what's going to be important. Well, right now it's pretty bu pretty busted. Rewind rounds and adrenaline junkie. Rewind. Just. And that's is that good for PvP? That's a good PvP role. Oh yeah. Or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rewind rounds with ricochet rounds and adrenaline junkie. This is a PvP role for sure. But this could even be used in PVE because it's just every time the magazine is empty, you just get refills. So you're just shooting people. You just if there's hordes, which onslaught is, you can just use rewind and just go nuts. And then adrenaline junkie. If you just have grenades, <laughs> you're you're just boosted damage. Ooh, lollipop! I got your recluse new hip fire grip. Oh, you're speaking my language with that one. Hip fire grip. My goodness. I can't wait for that. Okay, I'm I'm still I'm 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 I can't even speak. Let's keep going. Do you guys get a quest to speak to Ikora in the Tower Bazaar? Yes. Uh, what is that? So we're gonna go there right Very now. Bad faith. Yeah, yeah. I haven't got that yet. We need you yeah, let's there. let's go over there now. Not me. I am all the time. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying the ADS though. Like as much as I like hip firing on specific guns, I do I do actually ADS a lot when it comes to like. Uh, ARs, even SMGs, I do surprisingly uh, ADS when I play PvP. Oh, but, there's a recluse weapon ornament. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If y'all if y'all have the bright Eververse or the Eververse store, go there now because there's the the itsy bitsy spider ornament available for the recluse. You also get your free 700 bright dust. So basically, you're getting the recluse ornament for free because you're getting a free bright dust anyway which is equivalent to the same price <laughs> so you're paying nothing for it which is great i already have the it's a bit spider oh nice so you can just save that 700 no problem yep. 
Speaking of... I'm saving it, my uh, bright dust for uh, if you go to the bottom part of the store. Uh, the weapon ornament for the Thousand Voices. I'm saving it for that. Ooh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I'm saving myself that one too because I know there's going to be a few ornaments I'm looking forward to. Speaking of looking forward to, I'm looking forward to obtaining or equipping this new monarchy succession, this... which you can obtain from now by talking to Ada One. She's got two brand new, or I guess three, uh, new shaders you can obtain or equip. And my butt is going to obtain or equip that right now. Sorry, what were, you, what were you saying, Jay? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. I completely forgot. <laughs> okay. My bad. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you it's while you were speaking. Uh, I forget easily. That's no worries, oh, yeah. brother. Um, that, that ornament, it looked nice. That's what I was saying. You know the one for the thousand voices? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really nice. So I want to get it. Yeah, definitely save it up. I'm definitely saving every pretty bright dust penny because come final shape, I just have a feeling they're going to give us something so nice. And I'm I just... think there's going to be new, like, uh, what do you call it, armor ornaments that are usually in the shop. Oh, yeah. Of course. That's one reason why I'm saving. Because I know that there's going to be a day where they're going to drop something. And I'm just like, yep. Good thing I saved up. This is so beautiful. The new monarchy succession is such a beautiful shader. That's a favorite right there for me. Oh, it's so nice. Ooh, I love it. Okay, this is my new favorite one. <laughs> oh man, this is so the red, white, and black is such a great combination. Alright, see you, Ada. See you next time. The Black Armory awaits your return. All right, let's go to Ikora because I literally forgot what I was doing. Oh, it's the new light kits. Oh, okay. Cool. So for yeah, the I can see that right now. For the newcomers, so you I guess guys are like a step ahead of me. Oh, it's all good. I was literally right where you were. I was talking to Ada for a while, and then Graham's mentioned. Uh, the new light Quick stuff. Friend. Yeah, I'm not going to read it because I'm not a new light anymore. So. Okay, making the rounds. Tub is 801. Oh, okay. I'm most definitely using this for my friend's account. Oh, yeah. This new light kit is going to be cool. Let me open it, though. I wanted to see it. I'm curious. I don't want to use it. Just curious. Open. Okay, so you have Gunslinger, Night use Stalker. That for your warlock, bro. Oh, I, yeah, that'd be actually yeah. pretty cool. That'd actually be amazing. Maybe you can get that well of radiance, and then you'll know. But you'll know why warlock is so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys will never sell me on that. You, you guys can well all the time, bro. You guys can stay over there with your warlocks. I'm gonna ban you both. <laughs> <laughs> ban yeah, you I, both I from can BC. Go on my hunter, and you know, I'll be a hunter just like you. <laughs> Join the hunter army. Requires an open space in every weapon and armor slot. Okay, so this is if I wanted to become a Night Stalker or Arc Strider, which I already love. This is, again, you guys see this? This the, When you see Arc Strider, do you not think of Star Wars when you see that image of like the lightsaber no. in this hand? Not me. You know, you know what looks like Star Wars to me? Uh, if you go on Warlock and you use the Storm Trance, that's basically Palpatine. I'm muting yep. it right now. Huh? But it is, though. Oh, no, no, you're right. No, 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 no. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Palpatine, I know, I know. you know, he uses all electricity from his fingers. Do you yeah, yeah, no, you're not wrong. I was just joking. I was just joking because I, I was going to ban you. I, was, I don't know what type fingers. of, like, I don't know what Hunter looks like. The reason I say it, I don't think, like, your class like looks like uh, Star Wars is because I don't know like what character has like a staff that's like electric because I don't really watch Star Wars, you know. Uh, technically, like, Ray character is like that. Technically, Ray has a staff that has electricity. 
Because when, right. yeah, Rise of the Skywalker, she has a staff in the beginning before she transitions to a lightsaber. So technically that would count. And then in Darth Maul, he has what? like the... Yeah. I think... I Are think you who, kidding? I think... What's that girl with the... Who... Hang on. Hmm? Did, did you guys see this vendor here? Which Hold vendor? up. Yuna? Yuna? Selling exotic gear? Wait, what? Oh, this is the, the this is usually the vendor that's in. You guys see it because you're in. Uh, Welcome. You're in. A, yeah, he's in the Asian servers. That's why she's here. I'm pretty sure. Really? Because if you're in the Asian servers, you have this this lady here. I don't. But if we leave the fire team, you don't. What do you mean you don't? You well, don't see somebody here? No, because well, this is added now, but before. Oh, this has always been here. No, so I haven't seen been this here. one before. No, it hasn't so been, here for me. been here for me. Not for me, no. Yeah, it's usually in the Asian servers, like all the Asian servers have this lady here. Not for me. Are you on Steam or no? Yeah, I'm on Steam, but it's never been there for me at That's all. Like... Why this is this has always been here, trust me. If you look up a video you'll see. Interesting, because yeah, I've never had this. I've never seen her before in any of my runs or interactions. I've usually come here like all the time. Because I know she's in a Korean server. Is I I G R benefactor? What is that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Is that something in Asian countries? Or <laughs> Again, I, this is my first time seeing it. I have no idea. Like, I I recall. Wait, I just want to see. I just want to see something real quick. I'm gonna leave the fire team and just come to the tower, and see if this is a thing for me. Cause I'm in a North American server. Cause even and normally I'm in a European server. Yeah, I was gonna say cause Gramps is now seeing it for the first time. So. Even for him, I've, it's I've new. I've seen videos of that, this on yeah, on YouTube, I seen... but I thought it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because, yeah, this is in the Korea server. I know that. Like, in Korea, I know Dio mentioned it. Dio showed it off in Discord one day. And I just thought it was, like, whatever. I must be a Korea thing. Because even her name is Korean. Yuna is a Korean name. Yeah, it's maybe a, maybe you're maybe you're like linked to the Korean servers right now. That's why you've never <laughs> seen it before. Maybe in the daytime or the Please nighttime. What is it? Nighttime for you right now? So maybe the servers switch over to the Korean. I don't know. No, I, there is so I many connecting right now. We we just got spots go in, in Korea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Hilarious. Or maybe they just permanently the put on it. I want to see I want if she's here for me. If yeah. she is, I guess this is a good thing for everyone then. Yeah, this must be exotics, whichever country you're in. Yeah, this must be a permanent fixture because for we sure, like, I've never seen this at all, and I'm in Japan. Oh, so. she's not here. It's only, <laughs> it's only a Korean thing, bro. <laughs> really? <laughs> Invite me back. I want to see what she has. <laughs> wow. I didn't even look at her inventory. Like literally, this is my uh, this is my first time seeing her. Back already? She has the Queen Breaker, the new yep. fusion rifle, the well, Phoenix well. Protocol chest armor. Yeah. Asian the servers Alpha get the special treatment, bro. Yeah. The young, what is this? <laughs> the young Ahamkara the young spine. Ahamkara spine. Yeah. Oh. What is the IGR benefactor? Benefactor. Yeah. I have no idea. I think that's something, probably something like Steam, you know, but like for uh -huh. their, for their country, I don't know. So it's pay to win then? I mean, it already is pay to win. <laughs> <laughs> this is just more, you know, this is them like taking as much money as they can <laughs> out of every failure. Wow. I mean, this is great though. This is cool because it it shows. It says the Moon Moog Moogung Hua Legion, and that's a Korean thing. But it's in English, so. I'll be here when you return. Okay. But well, if uh, your if your settings on this game were set to you know Korean, you would be reading in it in Korean. That is true. Yeah, you're not wrong. Wow. Okay. Can you send me an invite. Yeah, 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 I will. So IGR is an internet gaming room. 
Oh, that's yeah. So that's oh, why. Yeah, they have a lot of those type of things there. In Korea, yeah. Yeah, they have like internet cafes and all that. If you Google it, it will find a link to link it to Bungie. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot this. Just to be, you know, just to be First sure. First time seeing it. Yeah, it's like yeah. what? Okay, let me actually do this. I'm gonna tweet this out right now. This is definitely new new news to me. I'm very shocked, but at the same time, I'm kind of impressed by that. Maybe you've just never like seen like have you? Do you usually come to this side of the tower? Yeah, I Maybe literally. She's always here for you. No, she's never been there. I I kid you not. Like I I am literally just as baffled as you guys are. I've bro. Oh. I thought this was troll, bro. Like I honestly thought this was troll. I can't believe I'm saying this. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a troll when they made the video. I was like, "There's no way, bro. There's no way they have this." And it's she's here, bro. Yeah. yeah I mean, I bet she's. I guess she's a part rigged. of the tower, bro. It's rigged. <laughs> yeah, bro. Literally, they get their they get stuff. What for free? <laughs> okay, whatever. I took a screenshot. That's all I wanted. Yeah. Me too. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Kind of yeah, at, open up our inventory at Bungie so I can like troll some people now. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm in Japan. Hold on, I know I'm in Japan. Like, yo, you don't see this girl because you're not better than me. <laughs> what the heck? This has to be a part of that bug of day one bugs. It has to be. No, yeah. it's not. It's it's not. It's not. It's a thing. It's an, it's for it's for Korea. But the fact that we are now playing in a Korean server, that's yeah, way your bug. Exactly. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Bye for now. I don't. I ain't complaining. No. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I can't complain either. It's just. It just. Un fun. Yeah. It's just unfortunate that it's locked behind the IGR thing. But I mean. Either way, that's still pretty cool yeah. that it's it's accessible. So if that's intentional, because no, like I think when you're on when you have like Amazon Prime, don't you get some benefit factor stuff like this yeah, too? You do. Like if you have Steam, so it's the same thing. It's just for them, you know. Because mm. if you have Steam, you get like all this like additional stuff. If you're on the PlayStation, you get all this additional stuff. If you're on the Xbox, you get additional stuff as well. Yeah, mm. even on um, Epic Games. If you're on the Epic Games launcher, you had a bunch of DLC for free. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's... Us out. Or, or you took us. Yeah, yeah, I took us. We're took one back in. Yeah, because I remember that's, that's when I... I don't know. If you think about it, then I guess it's fair because we all have it. You know, like... Every European region has. And, yeah, Europeans yeah. and Americans. I don't use, mind like, at all. Yeah. Uh, that's that's great <laughs> like okay. okay another error code bat this time yep me too oh, well <laughs> <laughs> and this time it actually crashed on the one map we thought wouldn't crash which was moth yards <laughs> so the game was just like yeah hey, here you go you got one Let match go. in <laughs> that's it for you one match and you're done yep <laughs> no world first raid for you race for you yeah you're cut off no more lord shacks for you <laughs> that run is done <laughs> probably rigged to that contest because they knew all along yeah <laughs> oh guardian games was rigged for sure yeah, everyone was saying the same thing guardian games it was bro you know, as 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 a bias for me, me winning, <laughs> I can't complain. I never even participated in that, and I don't even know how Warlocks got that many wins. Like whenever <laughs> I was in the tower, I only saw hunters and titans. I was like, how is like I didn't even know this many Warlocks existed still. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's everyone's using hunter now. Definitely was an interesting one.
Ooh, Elsie's Elsie's rifle is. Hold on a second. Kind of feeling this pulse rifle real I quick. Need to, I need to get that pulse rifle. I want to compare the two. I'm gonna put on the exotic one and then have the legendary one as well. <laughs> they both seem to fire the same way. As far as the sound effects are concerned. I like uh, these. Uh, these are the best to me. These. These are. Uh, yeah. Decoys. The decoys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they help us they a lot. Yeah, because if you upgrade them, I think a uh, second time, you, they actually shoot, so... Oh, they do? Yeah, they do. That's what I've been doing. When you upgrade them to the 3000, they mm -hmm. give you a... Uh, they shoot. Okay. Hmm. So, like, it adds to the fire team, you know? Interesting take. That's actually a really good perk, then. I think the the trip wires are, are useless because they destroy after a while. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to realize that now. Hence why they're probably so cheap. They're like dollar store, yeah, dollar store brand but, equipment. I mean, they're useful probably in the later rounds for sure. They're useful, but like, cause I I played Gears of War right, and when you, when you play Gears of War in the beginning, you shouldn't buy trip top, trip wires. Yeah. Just like save your scrap to the end until you really need it. That makes the most sense. Yeah, trip bars right now don't seem like a an option to throw in. Every time, every time we're doing an upgrade or something, it's a lot of points. So I'm gonna be saving up my points now. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna block out that choke over there for you guys. They can't come through that. They can try their best though. Or See what I mean? Like the wires really? are already gone. <laughs> some of them. Yeah, they're definitely gone very fast. Oh, I need a barrier. Or oh, never mind. Oh yeah, that decoy is actually putting a lot of work, and that decoy really helped right there. Another yeah, battle these, won. yeah, these decoys the are everything. Fight. They're just firing at them. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Scary. Palpatine, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't agree? Yeah, I, I definitely see the Palpatine. Yeah, I see it all the way. I definitely see that. Unlimited power! Oh my gosh, okay, I almost got destroyed by that. Whatever that explosion was, that almost killed me. Now what do we have to do here? This is um Sky Bombers. Okay, next we have to Okay, so upgrade defense is alright. So I'm going to buy turrets. I have two thousand here. I'm upgrading this guy. Oh no, he had three two thousand five hundred. Okay. Buy another decoy here. Perfect. Yeah, the, the other cooking. side of the AU. Okay. I'm just going to collect whatever we have. Uh, I need bricks on the floor, orbs. Alright. Oh yeah, I think LC's rifle is going to be pretty, pretty busted in PvP. Because they've already buffed our pulse rifles. So it's going to be crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try and collect uh, these orbs here for the battery while no one's here. Alright, so, so capture the pyramid zone, capture so. The pyramid zone. Yeah. Here. Okay, I'm gonna go cap that with Gramps then. Are you okay by yourself there, Jay? Yep, yeah. I'm okay by myself. Okay. Oh. Alright, so good for that. 
Uh, heavy ammo should be available for us now. <laughs> Where's that guy? He's right in front of me. Okay, let me grab some more of these batteries. Because the more batteries we get, the better for us. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh, there's one battery near me, by the way. If one of y'all wanna grab it. I can push. Enter the pyramid now. Let's do it. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Okay, so I, I guess since the pulse rifle quest is done, I don't have to use LCs anymore. So I could swap off back to my usual suspect. Absolutely. All right, let's go vault shot again for the vaults or prosecutor. Sorry. Okay. I hear the Polaris. <laughs> oh, it's not the Polaris. Oh, Graviton, sorry? Graviton? Yep, that's the Graviton. Sounds always, they always sound so similar to me. But I have to remember the Polaris one goes ka -ching! after you shoot the precision. Ooh, okay. That was scary right there. Okay, I got the spark. And I'm frozen. Oh. There you go. You obliterated them. Love it. So what's the point of going in the pyramid? Is this well, just like just finish the wave? Yeah, I imagine it's just as today. I imagine it's just to complete the wave and then we come back here to Reestablish because it's like see, it, see this guy. You can shoot now. See? Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. See? It's he costs. Really cool. He costs six k too to, to get the max no, upgrade. The I next mean. one. Yeah, the max. I wonder if there's another one after six. We'll have to find out once we get to fifty, <laughs> or if we get yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they become like AI guardians. That would be crazy if they actually had abilities. Yeah. No, I didn't think about abilities, but yeah, that would be <laughs> nice. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if we can hot potato the the batteries. Like if let's say let's say Gramps or you is near the, the ADU, if I can throw it to you guys and you guys can catch it. Yeah, we can try it. Now they're dropping moats. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Gambit. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Literally playing Gambit. This is probably why it's really high. Oh, okay, I'm running away. I'm literally dying here. Okay, I'm gonna try and play the left hand side here. We have a trap Oh yeah. Okay, we better check this. That's oh, a barrier too. We gotta definitely work on this. Okay, I'm gonna freeze it. And then if we freeze it, we can try and take it out. There you go, perfect. Let's try it. Can you get one of you guys stand near me and then I'll potato it? Or let's see. 
Oh, it doesn't work. work Guardian. Your light is strong. Because it runs out after 20 seconds. Huh? Yeah. Well, at least we tried. Batteries here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you can grab that one then. Have to take care of this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy with these guys. There's like a million of them coming my, our way. Uh, there's also um, a battery near me. I'm going to A here. Okay. I'm trying to defend the base. Still a few more fallen nearby. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them coming. So yeah, Both those things. Nice. It's the entrance to the pyramid. Um, oh, it's yeah, same way with him. Yeah. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make you all jump one at a time because I think <laughs> if we bump into each other when we jump, we might fall off. I gotta switch my <laughs> jump that's on burst. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful. I'm so used to the strafe one. Yeah, strafe is really good as a jump. Alright. Already? Yeah. Go. Oh. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go aggro. I'm gonna go full on in right from now. Let's deal with all these. Watch out so you got, don't get spiked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I gotta be careful. <laughs> I don't want to get BMCA'd by Jordan Lucas. Come after me. I, I was saying it in the Discord chat that uh, like every time I, I pop my super with the arc staff, that's exactly the same sound that comes in my head. This duel of fates. Okay, so I think we have to collect. Yep. Ooh. Spark. Yeah, I gotta collect that spark. Uh oh. I'll get the spark. Try and get the res off if you can. Okay, I got the spark. I'm running over. Oh, this is so good at arc. I can use my amplify to just speed run this. Alright. Nice. So we defeated the boss. Force is growing power. Nice, I got succession. <laughs> I guess you traded places now, you have my hung jury. Okay. <laughs> nice. Not a bad one. I got Discord Focus Fury for my for my uh succession. I'll put that one away though. So new. Yep. I have a question from my daughter. Okay. Do you watch anime? I used to. I was very, very heavy into anime because that was my that was my career for the longest time. Nice. Yeah. Did she have any favorites? I'm curious now. Now, that she, now your daughter asked. Yeah, this is actually a good time for a There's break. Naruto too. and Attack on Titan. Oh, very nice choices. Okay, yeah, Attack on Titan is wonderful. What? Who's your favorite character in Attack on Titan? Canadian favorite character. Yep. Mikasa. Jesus. Oh, Mikasa. Oh, yeah. She's a, she's a, definitely a favorite for many people. Definitely a very popular character in Japan, too. <laughs> based kid. <laughs> Gegman says, yeah, based kid, Naruto. 
<laughs> that's that's Gramps. Like father like daughter, you know? Runs in the family. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two amazing people. Thank you very much. Oh, of course. Did you see what I said about the new light kits? Okay, so I was reading it and then my brain paused. So I gotta, okay, I gotta go back up. So the new light kits are buggy. Okay, the new light kits are the buggy thing. The chest by Shax is fine to get. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All so right. It's new. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you want to upgrade one of these. Uh... Decoys. Decoys, yeah, thank you. Hey, wait, no, actually, I, I got so caught up in reading Lollipop's <laughs> comment <laughs> that I forgot. I, I had like 4,000. Okay, well, I guess it'll be for the better, because now we've got 5k. I got 5k scraps, so I should be able to really get us a, a nice, solid amount. I got 2,000. I have okay. 3,000 now. Perfect. Yeah. I guess one of us can be like the, the hoarder of, of currency. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just going to say that too. <laughs> just hold it down. Don't even tell anybody what you have. <laughs> yeah. And then just... when it comes time, it's just like, oh, you guys need this? <laughs> yeah, it's the oil baron. <laughs> you just have all the money. The oil baron. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys need? I got you covered. Okay, I'm gonna try and put the ice down in front of I us here. This is on mode low. Can you say it again there, Gramps? I just said that this is very fun mode. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is very, very fun. Like, I'm having a blast already. And this is like the tip of the iceberg, too, I imagine. Oh. Just to start. Just to start, yeah. Oh, we have one barrier moron nearby. Should be one more... Of those... The thing. Well, those thing to come. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Nice. But yes, thank you Lollipop for that. I really appreciate you uh, reaffirming that. Because that was really important to know. So we can get the chest, but we just can't get the new light kits. Which makes sense, because right. don't need it. Okay, these guys, the demolitionists are going to be annoying. Okay, I'm gonna try and throw down this... Ooh, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna try and block them off so I can res you. I don't worry, I'll respond. Okay. Oh, I'm getting bumped. Oh, I'm getting bumped left and right. Ooh, I got destroyed. Ooh. Ooh. We got farmed. <laughs> we all got destroyed. <laughs> I was focusing on the demolitionist, I didn't see those. <laughs> those are coming for us. Yeah, just like you, I was definitely focusing on demolitionists and then they demolished us. Yeah, they did. Good grief. Okay, now I've got, I got 6,700, so I'm gonna actually purchase some de decoys. Try upgrading it to the highest. Okay, let me try. One that's already first purchased. Okay, so 3,500 right here. I and think then... they're all 3,500. That's right. Oh, close to 6,000. Oh, uh, okay. So, so I... say we'll, we'll, we'll do that one next. Okay. Upgrade it to 6,000. We'll do. Yeah, I'm currently at 1,200, so hopefully I'll, I'll hoard again. I'll just oil bear in again. Like our our old turrets over there is firing as well. Yeah, yeah doing a pretty good job. The last wave. Yeah, the decoys are here too. 
Nice, yeah, it's doing pretty good. Oh, eyeball over here. Got him. Okay, so we got 1544. Here we go. Okay, we got the, uh, what's his name? Saboteur. You can stay over there. Got a battery for us. Okay, there's a battery nearby where I was. Oh, there was a battery. Oh, there it is. Oh, what the? Oh, there you go. It'd be really accurate with those throws because they'll bounce off the wall if you don't throw it properly. Got some yep. heavy ammo. Right, whenever you guys are ready to jump in. Yep. Ready. All right, let's go. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Okay, so more of these spark quarters. Okay, I'm going to the right hand side. Oh, okay, so Gramps is there. Okay. I guess I'll go center. Nice, Jay. You have a spark, right? Yep, I have a spark. Perfect. Nice. A triumphant tactics. Alright. Alright. Upgrading. Um, I currently have how much do I have? Three thousand, so that's Let's see, turrets are a thousand, but you no, not turrets, sorry, um, trip wires. Oh, I'm saving for the middle one, so mm -hmm. I can upgrade that six thousand. Okay. Want to see what it looks like? I've upgraded another one too. Perfect. Three point five thousand. Okay, so yeah, I'll keep saving them. Oh, they're coming from this? Oh, okay. I see. They're coming from this side. Alright, I'll, I'll keep an eye on... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I'll keep an eye on a specific side, but... They're all coming from the right-hand side now. Probably get shot here. Yep, I am dead. I'll try my best to survive there. Just respawn. Or, never mind, thanks. Nice. Um, where do you go for me? Okay, so splinters. There. 
perfect. Okay, so we have... Augment Tormentor. Alright, say hello to our little friend. This is why I love, love the decoy. Look at the tormentor. Yep. <laughs> yep. Just distracted. Burn him down. Oof. Okay, I just got almost one shot up there. If they nerf that decoy, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> 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 bro, yeah. for real, bro. I'm gonna be so pissed if they nerf it. <laughs> Actually, pretty strong, surprisingly. It's like we find a strat and they nerf it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Typical. That's actually very effective, though, I will admit. Yeah. All right. Put your it's... enemies down. But to be honest, I mean, turrets sound better. But it's not. <laughs> But it absolutely is not. Yeah, which is yep. the craziest thing. They're like one of the first things to I get destroyed. I honestly thought the turrets were good, and then I was like, oh, this is doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly my thoughts, too. Well, I guess that's a good thing. I guess the decoys actually did their part, too, distracting us. Because <laughs> we, thought, we thought the strongest thing would be turrets, and the decoys were like, no. We decoys were actually the real, <laughs> the real strength all along. Mm -hmm. Finally getting in with Geg now, but Bungie error coded his Titan in the first cutscene and never gave him the quest for accessing Onslaught. So is that what happened really? to? Yeah, that's. Ooh, so, ouch! That's not good. So what does that soft lock him out of the Onslaught then? Because that, that's what happened to Lollipop too, right? Lollipop, that happened to you, you mentioned, like... Oh, yeah, if you if you, um, if you you skip the qu uh, the cutscene, I think that might take away the quest. Wow. Like, I watched the cutscene, but some people skip it, right? Some people mm -hmm. don't watch it. That's See? crazy. That's why lore is good. <laughs> yeah. You gotta play the full game, you know, get the full yeah. experience. <laughs> They, they, they taught you a lesson there. No story, story, story. <laughs> they really forced it on you this time. So we're ready. Like you want a speed run? Here you go. I uh, one second. Let me get my sweater on. <laughs> sure. Uh, hang on. If we're having a small break just here trolling. anyway, I'm if, just saying. I'm just. I'm saying. just gonna make a cup of coffee. Here we go. Now I should be good. Just getting a little bit chilly here. Early morning. It's actually now Wait, officially. So we have like a timer before we start. Just give me like uh, two or three minutes. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, we can do a little bit of a break. Uh, let me use the bathroom real fast and then I'll maybe grab some more tea. I don't know about you, Gramps, if you want coffee or something. Uh, yeah, so beer be folks. So just give me like Two minutes. I'm gonna rewarm up some water. And that way we can get my tea ready.
I'm back. Where are you guys? <laughs> Look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> you guys are actually incredible for that. Cannot believe you actually pushed me <laughs> on this way. Bro, were you watching? No, no, I literally just came back in the room and I just saw both of you pushing me into my death. Oh, I was like, I thought you were watching, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> I went downstairs to fill up my... Like, uh my these kettle. guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I got kicked. Oh, no. No, I was inactive. Oh, yo, don't kill me. No. I'll invite you back. Okay. I'll invite you back. Oh, my gosh. The game just... um, Because I was inactive for so long. I just came back, dude. Oh, it could do for inactivity. Yeah, luckily, it wasn't for. Should it? You know what you should do when you go AFK? Do like an emote that like people can like you know the dancing emote or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where somebody can dance with you. Those those emotes stop you from going to orbit, because somebody that's can true. just dance with you. Oh, that's some cool tech. Okay, that's, how am I? That's usually why people do that. That's why usually people do that. Uh, certainly we'll do that next time then that's a good tip thank you just for that have, like you know in your emote wheel just like have an emote that you can do with other people and then you're good thick okay yeah i got the video game one so i'll definitely work with that one all right so it wasn't that he skipped it um it was uh, he got an arrow code that cut him out yeah that still sucks though getting that guitar or bat Error code's always disheartening. Uh, we cannot finish the second part. The third time we just got stuck at the recommendation screen. And it just let the game sit and it finished. Damn. You got batted? Yeah, I yeah, got batted too. Happen. Happen a couple of times, I think. Yeah, we, we got guitared, we got batted. <laughs> yeah. We, <laughs> we got, got everything. everything. Yeah, we got everything. But yes, that's right, uh, Lollipop, though. The LT rifle that we received from Shax was already masterworked. Ooh. What is going on? Damn. Goodness gracious, I can't see anything right now. Yeah. This mist is blocking everything in my path. Good thing this ice wall is up, because I can actually just rethink my my processing okay i'm gonna take out these guys up here oh i guess we have to do the whole charging standing in the the plates yeah yep. oh i got sniped Oh yeah, no worries, Lolly. It's all good. Yeah, I should have given you the the masterwork version plus the uh, the limited edition ornament. And yeah, please, if uh, if y'all are in the chat right now and you um, and you want to run it with with Ellie and Gegman, now is the best time to do it. We were getting destroyed, but we're almost there, though. Yeah, these captains gotta go. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Trying to block them off. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Oh. Anticlimactic. I thought to myself, if that we get here? Son, nice, I got edge transit. 
raining light on your opponents. I love it. What did you want to get? Another recluse. I want to see what the god roll is then. I'm gonna go on light touch, GG. And go for it. I'm gonna, th I'm gonna throw this, um, throw this sniper rifle into the bin because I don't need that. Surprise! It's not showing up though. Surprisingly enough, it shows the hung jury, but it's not showing me the succession in my inventory. It's weird because I do have it there. But it's not showing up in my weapons catalog for me to actually trade it out. Uh, and then as far as my edge transit, I have field prep. Ooh, so it comes with sticky grenades. That's pretty good. Sticky grenades, field prep, adrenaline junkie. Not too bad. Yeah, weirdly enough, dim is not working for me. It's not working properly. It's pretty inconsistent because it's not showing the edge transit, nor is it showing the succession, but it still has my hung jury in there. But I guess hung jury technically is in the game anyway. So it's just up updating the shader, I guess. Hmm. Strange. It's yeah. Show up for me. Really? Yeah. Let me let me refresh again because I'm not getting anything. Maybe sign out and then sign back in. Maybe yeah. I'll fix it. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Log out. Authorize with Bungie. Stim. Let's see if that helps. Right now it won't update at all. It seems. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, because in spite of me refreshing, I'm still seeing the same thing. I even logged out and it's still giving me only the hung jury that I have unlocked. But And the LC. I see the LC one, but it's not showing me the succession or edge transit in my my weapons inventory which is weird but like you guys have said for me. yeah it's weird for me too but like you said it's day one so yep can't really be surprised by all this oh, this is true but i will keep it though i will keep the edge transit and i will keep succession for the time being i don't want to delete anything i want to keep everything that we that we've obtained uh, speaking of obtained, I have about 5,864, so I'm just about a few hundred off of 6,000 to get the max for a uh, a decoy. How much do you, do you guys have? For what, the scrap? Yeah. Uh, I, have, I have like 5k. Okay, so I still have the most. All right. Min raid races? Oh, yeah, raid races, I can imagine, are probably like, wild, right? People are just scrambling to get those raid races done. If <laughs> it's an LFG one, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely imagine that. What the? Okay, exit the pyramid ship, okay. Um... Oh. I was wondering I where the things were. I should have deleted a lot of stuff in my vault. Made like at least 50 space. Okay, let me grab this decoy. Alright, so we're in a new place. Yeah, brand new, because I just have... There's no more decoys, so... Um... Or so, yeah, no decoys. I'm just brand new shopping here. I'm going to get a turret. And I'll save up the 1800 I have for, uh, oh. for later. Having no dim for the raid races is rough. I can imagine, yeah. This is why I have it in my all in my vault and I can't access it in my in time of need. Exactly, right? Like of all the of all the times you would not want dim to be down, now is not the time. Like you would honestly want dim to be working as intended, and it really isn't. Okay, speedway. Okay. Yeah, there's a few few punks over here. Ooh, nice. 
I got LT's rifle again as a as a reward for doing something. Yeah, for the the bounty. Oh, that's right. Okay. I got it before. Wonderful. Let's see what I can add to my list now. Well, I don't think Mountaintop is today, right? I think Mountaintop is the next... No. The next it's wave, true. right? Mountain. Mountaintop isn't enough. Okay, so today is only... It comes out on a different day. Yeah. Actually, I think it's a different week. Yeah, it's not even day, it's a week. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so they're time gating everything? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but they cut down on the time gating though. There was supposed to be one weapon every week. Uh, from oh, now is on. Is it two weapons every week or something? Yep. Yep. Fuck, crazy. Not surprised. <laughs> I'm gating the time gating. The time gating. Oops. <laughs> Bro, I know. <laughs> time gate the time gate. Oh, these guys are scaring me, these stupid blow up things. Stop it, kids. Stop it. Stop haunting me. Oh, oh man. I tried saving Gramps. Oh, I, I'm alive. <laughs> oh, I guess it was Jay well, then. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. alive. <laughs> <laughs> Momentarily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Ooh, literally damn. supplicants all over the place. Oh my gosh. I can't, I don't even have enough they're, time uh, to even lock they're them. They're melting our AUD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our AUD. Yeah. Like order left. Yeah, literally. Completely we need cooked. A, need a lot of batteries now. Yeah, we're going to have to mm. farm. Oh, let's get this mech out of the way. Hopefully this bomber will give us a lot more uh, batteries then. Oh, at least it can't walk over to me. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, okay. He's angry. He's dead. He's we need very it. dead. We need those batteries. Yeah, only two. <laughs> only two of them. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my oh, gosh. Burning. No way. That's it upgrade time. It really yep. is. Yeah, I'm gonna grab I'm some. Stuff. I'm gonna buy a turret again. I only have. Yeah, I've only got 1900 now after that purchase. What wave are we on now? Holy poop. We're, um, 15, 15, 24. Or 24. Yeah, 24. away from our batteries <laughs> yeah i was gonna say stay away we need them more than you do yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're in dire need right now uh, i think they're coming from the left hand side yeah they're coming from this little choke over here i'm gonna block them off oh almost got one shot of there okay i can bide some time here Oh, there's so many batteries here and moats. Oh. I don't know what the moats are for, but let's pick them up. <laughs> <Yes>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't even know what they're for, to be honest. 
I have no idea either. Oh man, our oh. our health is going down. Red alert! Red alert! <laughs> red alert! No more darts in the sky. Red alert now. Yeah. <laughs> that's the new, that's the new symbol, uh, the new slogan. Red alert. Well, but I'm sorry. Oh, damn. Well, we got to what? 24? 24, yeah. Uh, well, waves completed 25. Oh, okay. 25 it is then. <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess I'll take that. I'm happy with 25. That's... Halfway done. We got halfway through. Mm. Wonderful. Absolutely true. Yeah. That's better than what we did before. And didn't crash, which is also good. No crashing. Yeah. Yeah. Precisely. Wonderful. Well, let's go back to, to Lord Shax and see what we can get then. I want to see if I can attune specific things. Mm. Now that we have the opportunity. I think we have to get another quest for that. From oh. the robot. You're right. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a good call out. Um, let me just see how much I have in terms of my trophies. I got 20, 26. Why do I feel like I had so much more than 26? I feel like I was obtaining so much from all that. 20, 25 waves and only that much we've obtained. I thought that would be like close to 50 or something. Okay, so Steadfast Onslaught. Oh, okay, so now I get a Brave Engram. So Defeat Combatants in Onslaught. Okay, this is the one for Atrice. So complete 20 waves. Yeah, it gives you uh, XP plus, Lord Shack's Reputation plus 100, and a Brave Engram. What was that? Uh, this was the quest from Atrice, or the robot. If, if you pick the Onslaught one, because it gives you the different modes, so you you do like a onslaught one, or you can do a gambit one or a crucible one, and then once you complete it, you, you get an engram and you get an actual weapon too. What's this? So I get another Elsie's rifle. Oh, it's it's one of those engrams that's stored on the uh, on the vendor. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so speaking of vendors, then let me actually. So we talk to I guess Why can't next one is Gun. In the crucible will be more like you. Which one? Sorry, say it again. <clears throat> next bounty on the robot, Gambit. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I guess it goes in order. So this one I unlock. Well, it. I know you. You can choose for Crucible or Raider. Or dungeons, right? Yeah, you can choose whichever one you wanted. Or desire, rather. Okay, so my dim isn't uploading properly, so... I'm gonna have to go to... The, uh, Postmaster. If y'all don't mind, is that okay? Yeah, yep, I sure. need to go to the tower anyways. Okay. On your way, guys. Yeah, this isn't working. It'd be uh, useful if there was, like, a Postmaster involved here. Oh, absolutely. I agree. That would totally be nice. So, Edge Lord. So, I already have Edge Transit. So, the one thing I'm missing then is the sword. And so, it says rapidly defeat combatants using swords anywhere in the system. Spin to win. Bonus progress and onslaught. Okay. And then you get Falling Guillotine or Guillotine uh, as a reward for that one. And then Gambit matches, uh, Crucible. Sidearms. Oh, that's a pretty easy one. And then bows, but that's in master difficulty. I can probably do the sidearm. I can run. I can run it with trespasser with one of our runs. I'll do that one. And then this is recluse endangerment. Jury duty. Okay, so I'm only missing recluse and spin to win. And yeah, Lollipop, I'm I'm at a point now too where I'm so dependent on on the on Dim. I feel like a cell phone, you know. If I'm out of 
I'm out of data or I have no network on my phone, I'm like, what's going on? My life is in disarray. So you said we can approach this chest on the the left hand side, so I'm gonna approach it. Oh, gift. Right. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> It just gives you uh, exotics and, and, and power-up armor to get you to 8 so and 10. if you're low level, you can just power up real quick by getting this yep. armor. Yep. Because it's all 1810 armor. Gotcha. So you, you just like go to your new light thing, get your classes, and then come here, and then get your weapon infusions, and then you're to the max to level. Yep. That is so cool. Okay, let me redeem this 10 tro- Wait, hold on. Let me go to the hunter section before I redeem. I want to just check my- Okay, so this is still rank 4, right? Is there anything like rank 1 or something? Rank 2? Rip oh, off. I think the first one is in rank 4. Okay. Alright, well let me just use my- Let me use my redeem code. Our trophies. What do, you what do I get here? Oh, yay! Class, I got the recluse! Did? Yeah! Oh, yeah, those, uh, the, the trophies. trophies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just used the 10 trophies and I got my recluse in the, the box. Elsie's rifle. Nice. So now I... Succession. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> not very, uh, not very happy with that one, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> not very pleased. So let me... Okay, so the attunement then... Okay, let me deactivate, because I don't want to be getting the same thing. So I guess now that I have... Okay, so attune LC... So I can't change it? Because it's still saying I, I should attune LC... Maybe you but... have to finish the quest first. Uh, those... Uh, there's one quest for every weapon, right? Right... So, Wait a minute. Uh, if you want to do, say, recluse, you have to do the recluse and then endangerment. Gotcha. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so then let me let me go back to that really fast. Yeah, this is something I have to get used oh, to is now. Is that what the quests are? Yeah. Yeah, that makes the most and sense. And also, you will get one guaranteed uh, of those um, curated. Curated rules. The ornament. Yeah. With limited. the ornament. Yeah, it's limited yeah, edition. Boost, duty. Yeah, these are all the weapons that are supposed mm -hmm. to drop. Okay, so defeat guardians while using SMGs. Oh, that's pretty straightforward. So then I can just equip... Um... Okay, so I'll just use the multi mock for now. So no more iron bore, but I'll use salvations for now. Or oh, actually, I want to use Trespasser, so I guess I'll just use Hullabaloo. And then I'll just put Trespasser on, just to do two things at once. Okay. Alright, so let's go with, back to the tower first. That way we can all check out the Postmaster and see what we got there. Cool. So far, what are what are your impressions uh, overall? First impressions of the first, uh, I don't know how many <laughs> runs we've done so far, but <laughs> I like the I like the game mode, but I don't really like the weapons. Okay, fair, fair. And you, Gramps? Yeah, uh, I love the game mode. Super fun. Yeah, I would agree. I'm a huge fan of the game mode. It's very challenging, even without it being legend. And like I said, I can't imagine what Legend is going to be if this is already a, a hassle and we're dying mm -hmm. like that, like wave 20 something. I imagine Legends <laughs> is going to be, we have to have yeah, like... It's a challenging game mode. Like I imagine mm -hmm. how hard it is on Legend. Oh and yeah. We we're just on 25 and we we're getting cooked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's that actually... That was 1600 power yeah. right. requirement. Absolutely. Yeah, I so, love the like, game mode. Legend is for sure a GM difficulty. <laughs> oh yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Ooh, okay, so LC. Ooh, 
LT's rifle has kill clip and loose change. Oh. Mm. Well, I guess this could be good for void, but I'll lock it anyway because it has kill clip on it. All right, let me actually just read this. Indomitability. So, final blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy when playing a dark. Okay, so in this case, because I'm playing arc, that's the light subclass. So, I'm getting more grenades, which is actually good because Moth Keepers is going to just get instant refresh on that. Okay. I call it kill it mode. It really is kill it mode because it's. You're just swatting flies and vermin all around you. It's very fun. It's very satisfying too. I, I like the, the game loop of it. Just, you know, build build your fort, hold down the fort, don't die. <laughs> if you die, then you reset. Transferred. But it's My certain... vault is full now. Wow. <laughs> I have four slots left. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to make some room. E Louise. And I thought I thought I was actually overwhelmed with what I have. I have only 300 and something and you guys are full. Crazy. <laughs> so my recluse has repulsor brace and desperate measures. If this had repulsor brace and destabilizing, I would have been much happier, but I'm still Okay with desperate measures here. Uh, melee and melee and grenade final blows grant a larger. Okay, sorry. Weapon final blows grant bonus damage. Melee and grenade final blows grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. That still sounds pretty good though. Ooh. And avoid debuff target grants an overshield. Well, not bad though. And it gives me stability, which I think is decent. 51 stability is pretty good. I'm going to boss spec this maybe. Actually, no, I'll go with the major. No, one of them was bugged. I think it was major spec that's bugged. Boss spec is the one that works. So I will... I will oh, no, did they change it now? Because it... No, oh, never mind. Yeah, minor spec. There we go. So I use it for minor spec. And then... Succession, no distractions, firing line. I don't even know what the god rules for this would be right now. Let's see, this weapon when near two or more allies. Oh, this okay. This damage deals increased precision damage when near two or more allies. Okay, this is more PVE then for this roll, just by reading it. But I will say the design and succession with the gold and purple finish is really beautiful. Oh, you already got the succession? Yeah. So I have succession. I have two successions now. So so which weapon is time gated then? Uh Mountaintop, Lunas Howl. Um Oh a few others that I can't remember. Hammerhead. Four, we have we have like a four weapons then, or like four or five weapons we have we right have now. Six six weapons right now. Six yeah. Six weapons right now. Wow. Yeah. Hung jury, recluse, succession. That uh, LZ's rifle. LZ's rifle, and what are the other two? Okay. Well, I think one is the grenade launcher. Oh yeah, edge transit. Edge transit. And then um, Recluse, uh, Hunjury, uh, what else? That LZ's Rifle, Succession, and what else? What's the last one? Uh, yeah, what is the last one actually? Uh, the Grenade Launcher. Hedge Transit? No, we said that. Hedge Transit. We said okay. that first. So which one is or are we missing? Hungjury? No, we said Hungjury, right? It's Edge Transit. Hungary, um, Elsie's weapon, it's recluse. Last furnace? Is that the one? Wait, is that this week? No. No. Is it this week, Lollipop? Because it didn't show up for. Didn't show up in the quest line. Hang on. What? 
<laughs> Do we check the quests? Yeah, we should probably check the quests. Let's begin. Okay, I'll go back to the Hall of Champions. Let me just accept my... So it's Succession. It's Falling Guillotine. Ah. It's Hung Edge Transit. Hung Jury. Recluse. And uh, Elsie's weapon. That's what it was. Yeah, it was Fallen Guillotine that I forgot. That's the one, the sword one. Yep. Very good call. Yeah, I have Edge Transit. Um, yeah, I have Succession. Elsie's Rifle. Yep, okay. All right, well, we're almost there. We've collected almost everything. We're halfway there, I guess. All right, let's... Uh, you want to do one more run? Yeah. <clears throat> sure. All right, let's. All right, let me get this loadout ready for the SMG because for the recluse. So SMG, trespasser. I mean, you know what? Since since well, actually, I can't do it though because I can't run trespasser unless I. Or I guess I can run drang, or no, I can run indebted. And then put no, no, I can't because. No, it's a void weapon. That's right. So I need to slot in. Oh, but the question is, does it even work? Can I even dim right now is the question. Nope. Nope, it's not working because now I can't even, I can't even use the recluse because it's stuck in the inventory and dim's not working, so I can't even obtain it. Unless I... Um, well, actually, I guess I can just drag and drop from here. I'll take out Out of Bounds and see if that actually works. Nope. Bungie servers are down for maintenance, according to Dim. Dim, you are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you are. D-U-M. Can, can still go to your vault. True. Yeah, you're. That, that's actually a good point. I'm just so used to Dim. I, 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 every time I see the vault in the game, I just forget it exists. Yep, I know. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. So then, um, I have to remove. I guess for now, Elsie can stay there since I don't think I'm going to really be using Elsie's rifle. Great weapon, though, but I don't think I'll really see myself using it. I'll just keep it for the ornament because it's limited. And then I can go over here. Okay, so next week is Blast Furnace, Hammerhead, and Luna. Well, that's a week I'm looking forward to. Hammerhead, yeah. And Blast Furnace. Oh, yeah. That's that's Some a nice week. Guns. For sure. Luna's Howl is definitely the... I cannot wait. That is going to be a gun. Or, sorry, the grenade launcher that I will certainly be happy using. Without a doubt. Uh, let's see here. So we've got SMG... I need a sidearm. Do I have a sidearm? Oh, I can use Rat King then. Hmm. Okay, I'll use Rat King. So I'm going to put away succession into the bin. And then equip Rat King. Right. So... See a succession. It was nice knowing you. I'm looking forward to the hammerhead. Also looking forward to mountaintop. Oh yeah, Ellie, I'm I'm hyped for everything. If I'll be honest, kind of tempted to step away from the event until I can farm those. <laughs> I I know how you feel. Yeah, it's kind of like, what's the point of me playing this until that comes out? You know, I'd much rather just grind the event when the weapon you want is actually available. Not to mention the error codes. Yeah, that's going to be going on for a good portion of time. <laughs> bat. <laughs> yeah. Bat code is coming through. All right. So I got Rat King, Recluse, and Hullabaloo. That should be more than enough for me to cover my missions. Uh, but let me make sure I actually have them equipped. So I'm on a dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay. So Recluse is tracked. And then, okay, so void or stasis final blow. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's good. And then defeat combatants and raids. Oh, I could not read. See, I'm dumb. 
Uh, defeat combatants in raids and dungeons. Bonus progress rewarded for all final blows with sidearms. So basically, that one can get cancelled because I'm not in a raid or a dungeon. So abandon. That means I can actually remove Rat King. And I can use something that's actually good. <laughs> for this run, because Rat King may not be that great. So back, back to the tusk. Tusk for the task. For the task for the tusk. Whichever way you want to put it. So Rat King, go back and sleep with the rats. And I'll use Recluse though, because that seems like a good combination. Alright. I think we're good. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting like that. Just had to make sure Where's... my Wait, yeah. can you go to working the... on my own. Can you go to the enclave? Oh, do you have to do a crafting? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no worries. Let me, speaking of which, maybe I should actually upgrade my prodigal. What do I want in prodigal? What does prodigal get again? I need to check that. To check my, um, my foundry. So prodigal return. What would I want? So thresh is important because it gives me super... But Envious Assassin could be better. Envious and Volchok can be the better. Defeating targets with other weapons before drawing this one. Transfers ammo. Overflows a magazine. And I have this orienting grenades on it too. Hmm. Or Ooh. Using this weapon to break the shield of a combatant or a guardian using their super. So, how many enemies did we encounter with a shield? Quite a few, right? Yeah, basically yeah. every single one. So, I guess turnabout would be the better option here then. So, that's actually a good call that you reminded me of, JD, to come back here. I can swap my, my prodigal to turnabout. Alright, let's see... Else. I'm really just testing something to be honest. Oh, this is the t this is the perfect time. This is test day. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the biggest yep. biggest day of the test. It's like all that studying for the exam, and this is the exam day. Make sure you got all your <laughs> your <laughs> notes. <laughs> All right. Luckily for us, this is this is an open book exam, so at least we open have. Book. <laughs> so turnabout, volt shot. I could level it up though to enhance this even more, because enhanced volt shot I think would be nutty. So let me do that while I still can. Uh... Okay, that's very really good. 12, 13, 14, I'll go to 15 and I think once that happens it should be good. Let's see. Ah yes, perfect. Volt shot. Oh wait. 17? Oh, you are such bumps. Alright. What? I'm gonna have to just level up my my GL to 17. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I couldn't I couldn't get the enhanced bolt shot that I wanted. Huh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, here. There you go. Wonderful. I guess I'll just upgrade my turnabout too, why not? And here we go. Now my prodigal can finally... Now it's actually a weapon. Let's go. Perfect. Now I'm secure. I was Onslaught to Heron. Amazing. Amazing. Really, really good mode. 
loving the mode a lot it's uh very 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 rewarding if you have like the right loadout and uh just the right team chemistry and being able to test weapons on the fly is always fun everything is frantic very 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 rewarding yeah if you're home now to hear in definitely jump in i'm i'm like well beyond my bedtime i should be back in bed but i've this i've literally been so awake i've never been so awake in my life well that's a lie but as close as i could get to being <laughs> <laughs> awake as i could get without coffee this is I was. Oh, I had an energy drink. I'm well awake. <laughs> oh yeah, you're as sharp as attack then. You're as sharp as attack. Which one do you guys want then? Do you want to do um? You want to try one legend run then? Sure. Yeah. Let's um. Uh yeah, let's let's go for it. Why okay. Not? Just to see how it is. Yeah, exactly. Just to yeah, test I'll it. On my well, I'll throw on a well. Gotcha. All right, let's do Moth Yard since that one seemed to be a favorite of ours. Oh, All let's right. just test it out. I actually kind of like Moth Yards because the, the top lock, portion. Uh, does it lock the the loadouts? I believe so. Yeah. I think so. Or maybe not. Oh, on Legend it might. Maybe. I don't know. Because if it does, then we're all gonna need like a champion mod. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're about to find out. Glad to hear it. Yeah, that didn't say equipment locked. Nope. All right, that's good then. Good, good, good. I'll be yeah, on some time today. Be on my loadout then. I'll yeah. To try something. No problem. Yeah, to hear it. Once you get home, definitely try it out. Again, this is unusual for me. I'm not supposed to be here. You already know my my um my your Wednesdays are come for your life. usually fiercely. meant for raids and dungeons, but I guess this is the new the new raid dungeon for us. Oh I see the difference. We can't die. Yeah, we can't die. Once we die or I think so. Oh it says restricted, so yeah, it I, does. yeah, so I guess once we're dead, that's it. So we gotta play super safe. Doesn't seem like we have rest tokens, though. Yeah, this, uh, yeah that's also true. It's a good point. Hmm. Unless we obtain rest tokens from... Maybe obtaining oh, batteries? Really I think we don't need any rest tokens. Oh, yeah, because once you're dead, you're dead. Meaning we... No, we can rest as much as we want. As soon as... Not, uh, as long as not all of us are dead. Here, let's oh, test okay. I see what you're saying let's now. Test okay. it. Oh. Can you revive me? No. Five seconds. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm gonna address this. Yeah, so like like Graham said, so long as all of us don't get wiped, we should be alright. Oof, okay, I'm scared for my life right now. I am about to die. I'm backing up. I'm gonna try to play closer to the to the ADU. I think what we can do though, to make to make life easier, if someone can collect the batteries and just throw them towards the ADU. We can't tomato we can't potato it, but at the very least you can throw it towards the base. That's true. Where are they coming from now? Okay, I'm pretty scrapped that up and nothing left. And I'm out of uh 
Got a grenade launcher ammo here. Ouch. I'm gonna shut off the stream so my update can go quicker. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's all good about the caps. I, I figured you weren't yelling. Oh my gosh, these guys are hitting super hard. Ooh, yeah. They are. They are destroying me. Okay, so yeah, I have like a 15 second cooldown. Oh wow, you threw that from a mile away. Holy moly. No on that, one. <laughs> well that was from downtown. Well, that's good to know. At least the range is substantially fast. Oh, this it's idiot. Gotta, like, you know, I just jumped in here and threw it. That's good. That's actually really good. Because oh. I knew it was going to like go down, so I was just like, oh. yeah. That's perfect. I'm pretty uh pretty low on on resources here unfortunately. They're all on this side, by the way. Okay. Yeah, there's a big yeah, yeah. yeah there's a big, big uh yeah, yeah. big boy over here. Big brig here. Yeah, brig is uh oh, the brig? Yeah, we gotta beat the brig <laughs> first. Okay, I'll try and hold you down. Hold on. I'm gonna get a rev for you. Hold on. I'm coming back to you. Our AD is getting cooked. Yeah, I can see it. Oof. Okay, break is down. Okay, nice. Oh man. Yeah, we are. Two bullets here. Oh, we are getting cooked. Our ADU is gonna be in the ICU eventually. Intensive care. Mm -hmm. Alright, I've got 2300. Uh, I guess I'll just turret this for now. Play it safe. I guess for that brig, I guess the best plan of action then is maybe have one of us focus on the brig if we can do enough damage to it solo and then two people can just hold down the fort. Because, uh, yeah, Gramps, I think you did a pretty good job there covering the, the brig on your own there. So, where are they coming from? Right there, that ship. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I might go back to my... To my, uh... Salvation's grip here. Oh, right look behind us here. Yep. I'm gonna fall back onto base here. They're definitely stalking the base. Let's try and get that res off if you can. No, I'll be good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap back to salvations because we got we gotta slow things down. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm still, uh... See if it's a wave at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll hunker down here. You guys can try and focus up. And if they get close to the, to the AC or ADU, I'll just block them off. Oh, you know what? Now would be a good time to acquire a solar, because they have... Solar shields. Or barriers, rather. Just toss the battery back to me if you can. Or that. <laughs> that works. <laughs> <laughs> Just toss it in yourself. Oh, 
Oh man, we're red alert. This guy's standing in our property. Yep, Ooh. that's it. My yeah, <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. So even if they're in, so even if they're like just in the vicinity, it still goes off as red alert. That's good to know. I think it take damage as long as they're in the circle. Yeah, exactly. So we'd have to get rid of that guy. Well, that was a that was a lesson learned right there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a lesson learned. Not our our twenty five wave, but hey, that was still a wave nonetheless. Um, you know what? I'm kind of down to try one more. Y'all 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 down for that? Just one more try. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That wasn't too bad. Honestly, felt like that was decent. Um, okay, so defeat guardians. Okay, hold on. Or okay. Okay, so SMGs in this one. I don't know if SMGs are going to work that well. To be honest, they don't seem like uh, the the way to go. What was the damage? Do you know what was most of the damage? Solar damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. Solar shields. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, like the damage that they were shooting at us. Was it solar? Oh. Solar and void, yeah. I believe it was void, yeah, because on the on the modifier section it mentioned void being the incoming damage. Alright, I'm putting on two voids and one solar. Resist. Yeah. I'm gonna put on I'm gonna throw the AR for summoner. And then um let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put on a Void Resistance here. Um, I'm not sure, but I think we we might not be able to count on it being uh, the Fallen all the way through. It might change up the enemy enemies we face. Oh yeah, because when we go in the Pyramid, they are sometimes Hive or Fallen, right? Yeah. So I think it might be best to have one of each for the uh, solar arc and void, perhaps. Very true. Yeah, I'll have an arc then, and I'll put uh, solar resist, and I'll put um, void resist. So void, solar arc. Okay. Yeah, that should at least alleviate some of the pain. Not all of it, but it will be a remedy at least. I'm ready okay. All right, cool. Let me. So I'm gonna run Tusk Summoner. Oh, seems. Okay, never mind. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm good to go. My brain just had a brain fart there for a second. Okay, so legendary. And that was Moth Yards. So you guys found Moth Yards to be okay. What about Vostok Midtown? You want to maybe test one of those? Midtown was our best one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do Legend Midtown then. This one, I, I think we can get to 10, I feel. I'm going to use your heavy like crazy because I'll be making a lot of it. Okay. Oh, so you mean using Salvations, you mean? No, I'm using the, you know, the helmet that makes heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the warlock. So I'll, I'll be making, uh, I'll be making a lot of heavy. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, that'd be good for us. Speaking of which, I need to probably test out um, the art Aeon Swift. Because that can also Aeon give us special. Swift is, uh, Aeon Swift is, is okay. This, this helmet is better for heavy though. Hmm, yeah, because the, the stipulation for yeah. for Aeon is I have to actually kill the, uh, requires, the boss. The Aeon requires you to finish. This requires you just to kill them. Exactly, yeah, that was tough. So kill these guys. Like, yeah, kill exactly. the guy on the left first. He's, uh, I highlighted him. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this guy. The... There you go. Yep. Perfect. 
<laughs> do brain farts sound like wet farts? To some so, to some degree, yeah. <laughs> I think it's on your I think it's on your legs. If you have like the ammo scavenger, you'll pick up more ammo. Cause like it probably gave you one ammo there. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I did. Okay, uh, let me do it afterward. I, I'm gonna buy a turret real fast before I forget. Okay, so ammo scavenger on my feet. Let's see. Absolution. Which one's a scavenger again? Ah, void scavenger, strand scavenger, stasis. Which one is the best one? Oh, uh, whichever one's matching your heavy. Oh, okay, so Maya would be stasis then. Okay. Uh oh. Are we already reading red, red alert? Oh, never mind. I heard the sirens go off. I got scared. Yeah, so it's if they come in the circle, that's when it goes down. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta really play. Really hunker down here then. Just no enemies allowed. I'll block these off. Stay out of here. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I saw that one. I'll try and block them off. If I can. Guys are taking no damage. Because they have service. Oh, not not those ones. There, there's like a couple guys in front of me. They were just I was shooting them, and their HP was just like That's how you should be on barely even moving. Mm -hmm. That was the server there. Oh no, no, not not those guys. There's a, a like another person or another enemy that was away from the servitor. Yeah, yeah, there are a couple other ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we, 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 we did worse on this one, actually. <laughs> we did... Two, yeah, we actually... We did better on the... On Moth Yards, actually, surprisingly enough. Holy moly. Again, I don't want to give up. <laughs> yeah, that that definitely was was not one where I would count. That was a practice round. Two waves? No way. <laughs> that didn't count there. That was that was like a. You guys didn't see it on stream, Shall by the we, way. Yeah. Shall we call that a fail? <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely something we can pass on. That'll be that'll be discarded from our. Yeah, our VOD. Yeah. So Moth Yards it is, because we played the best on that one, so... I think this one actually is more spacious, too, because the way the ships spawn, they spawn so far away, and then the enemies have to run toward us. So it's kind of, I guess, easier than Midtown, because Midtown seems more cluttered. Like, it's more small. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's best if we just... Right, maybe I'll use Prodigal. Mm, prodigal, and then I'll use Multimock. I'll test it out. Again, I'm not a big fan of Nothing using SMGs but here, but... And your weapon. See what we can Fight. do. 
Yeah, there's like so much more space for us to move on this one. Way more space. Alright, and some of these guys are arc too, so... This is perfect. So I'll keep an eye on. I'll be the bird's eye here. I'll, I'll I'll stay at the top and look and see where they're coming from. The scope on the sniper is it really good, Lollipop? I haven't actually had a chance to take a look at the weapons. I'm gonna have to do a review for them very soon. Excuse me. It's huge. Uh oh. <laughs> when I hear that, that doesn't sound too good. Uh oh. Speaking of which, I forgot to upgrade my scope. That's fine. Okay, how much did I have though? I gotta check that. Oh, okay, I only had 2100, so it wasn't like a, a massive amount, but... Okay, I'm gonna try and grab this, uh, this battery and run back. Block these guys off. Yeah, actually I actually haven't really checked a lot of the design aesthetics of the weapons as far as like reticle and everything else. Which will be something I'll be pointing out next time. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm coming back to base. There's gonna be a lot of eyeballs here. A lot of servitors at base. Alright, so you guys can cover the bottom. I'm gonna cover the top. Because I think if we all go together, they're gonna scatter. We're already at a quarter of life left. When you aim, it takes up the whole screen? Oh my gosh. Sounds terrible. Uh oh, we're a red <laughs> alert again. Oh my goodness. The battery here. I got you. We can rebuild them. We can make it stronger. Right, decoy wise. Another battle one. On to the next one. Oh, we fight. finished two. Let's go. <laughs> Much better than uh, our previous run. Oh yeah, you're getting blocked. You're not coming in. You're not coming in. Oh, he was right behind us. Another guy. Oh damn. Holy mo. Okay, we, we need some firepower. All right, salvation. <laughs> salvation is too slow for this one. Oh, three of them just <laughs> around the ADO. Yeah, that was crazy. Just. All three of them just were <laughs> lined up. Holy moly. Okay, we need to have some actual firepower here. Um okay, EX Dearis, I gotta come out. You gotta come out, EX Dearis. We need a lot of firepower here. I guess slice will be good for us too to decrease the damage output. 
So I'll go with um, AR here. And then I'll go EX Deerus and I'll go Hollow Blue to cover different different ground. Uh, I think I'll do the Sniper Bounty, one with my distant Tom Tumulu. Tumulu is kind of hold double digit rounds, not just four. I, I'm not too sure if I read that correctly, Valley Pop. I don't know if that's a typo. But I just read that sentence and I, my brain just disconnected for a second there. Wow, right? I have no no percent on that. I didn't beat any any enemies with the SMG. All right, that's that's a big sag for me. I thought I beat at least one of them. A distance tumulus is an old dollar sniper. Oh, okay. Oh, let's try Vostok. Let's try our luck at this one. Maybe our luck will change. I'm trying to just find some sort of salvation for us. <laughs> We've been destroyed twice. Oh, old solar sniper. Okay. <laughs> I was like, old dollar sniper? What class is that? All right. This is the last of the last. Then I'm going to go to bed. Because it is now six in the morning when I should be. Wait, this is the time I'm waking up to get ready to stream for all of you. <laughs> so I'm ending when I should be starting. No, you could just stay up. Oh man. This is a gauge of pure I could. potential. But my eyes are already starting to feel weird. It's like, what are you doing? New, what are you doing to me? My body's saying. Ah oh, yes, EX Theorist helps so much. What a difference. Especially with the arc shields. Alright, I spoke too soon. I got sniped. Thanks, Jay. Okay. Alright, this is not bad. I think this position is not the worst. Okay, I'm gonna put a turret up on the upper right here. To cover the, the choke on the right. Um, anyone have enough for a turret on the left hand side here or no? Oh, just bought these tripwires. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to really hold it down on the left hand side because left is gonna be a little bit vacant. So I'll try and hold down left. Because a, a turret here would have been really helpful to cover this um, tunnel. Oh. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna toss these batteries. Hold on, you know what? I wonder how long. Just hold on, yeah. Yeah, 20 seconds. I'll stay here. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'll drop it. I'll just go collect them. I think they, they reset if uh, you pick them up, so that should be good. There you go. Whoa, what the? They all came in uninvited. What the? Oh! Holy. Yo. Wow. We all got wiped. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. All right. We're going to have to reset and come back uh, tomorrow then and uh, readjust our strats. That one was, that was crazy. We could just run a normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could. We could run a normal one. We could, we could, we could. Because that was... That's nuts. So, it, I'm guessing for the Lord Shax thing, I'm assuming they want you to do 50 to Legend then. That's the I biggest... so. Yeah, it must be because I guess getting to 50 on, on normal would seem pretty straightforward. But Legend? Yeah, for that prize you're getting, I'd imagine they want you to do it on regular... Or Legend, sorry. Okay, let's try boss doctor on 50 because we got to 25. So I think we can get to 50 on regular For sure I Have faith in us wasn't that map midtown that we got 25 on Yeah, it's true 
think Vostok we can do it though. I'm sure Vostok is, is doable. Boy at 50. We just gotta really hunker down though. Once we get those turrets up on the left and right, we should be good. Unless it changes. Does like the spawn point change? Mm, what? For the turrets? I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to that. Show me yeah, I'm curious. No limits here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look and see. Because if anything, it's kind of like a roguelike. If things just shift. This map's gonna be harder if there's witches. Mm, yeah. They're, they're just the first wave, because remember, the enemies change, so we'll never really know. So those witches may have just come in for this particular round, but then next round it could be fallen. Alright, I'm gonna do the left turret here. I'll do the right turret. Perfect. Yeah, so it is like a roguelike, because if, if anything, if all the enemies always change, then you'll never really be prepared in that sense. You kind of have to always improvise. So I imagine now we're going to see vexes or whatever. We'll see. About to find out. Oh, we got vex. Yeah, we got hives. So yeah, we can never be prepared then. Just have to kind of use guesswork and adapt. Alright, good job. Nice. Okay, so right hand side now. Oh! Screamers! Get away from me. Okay, I got two batteries. I'm gonna plop them inside the ACU, ADU. Right Oh, okay. Well, he's uh, he stopped. Yep. Hard stop. He's not stopped for sure. Oh, here comes another one of those morons. Another Nezarek. Oh, and the eyeballs. Oh, mm -hmm. goodness. What is this? A bullet hell game? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's high. The enemies are high. That's why. Oh my goodness. Feels like I'm playing a shoot em up, man. Look. Is Galaga or something? Goodness me. Oh my gosh, stay away from me. Okay, so the turrets are doing their job, which is good. Alright, so I've got about... i got 2300. I might just save here, if I'll be honest. Because these turrets are not really doing too... Or, sorry, the tripwires aren't doing too much. Or maybe I can put one just... another decoy? I um, put one 
Okay, so decoys are set up. Yeah. Yeah, and I one up each. Perfect. I really need those orbs. I'm gonna use my Nova after he's done. Hopefully, some will drop for you. Yeah. Alright, I'm dropping mine now. Could make a bunch of more. Okay. I'm trying to collect as many bricks as I can. That's... For me, my ammo is so important. Okay. Well, we're successfully we successfully passed wave five, or we're on wave five, so yep. we're doing good so far. I have plenty of orbs from where I was. I don't know if you can see him too, though, uh, Jay. Um, yeah. Oh. Stay out of here. No trespassing. Let's go, team. We made it to the... The pyramid for once. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. <laughs> <laughs> After so long. Feels brand new again. Once isn't quite fair though. Mm, say it again. Or once isn't quite fair though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is not. Got to 25 before very true you're not wrong we definitely we definitely got a lot farther than this so i think i think for the other one we're gonna have to have like like two warlocks one for healing and like one to freeze everything or just use like a stasis class to freeze everything yeah i can cold probably snap grenades cold snap grenades are are good yeah, I can probably... if you're like a hunter. I was gonna say I can swap to uh, my stasis lock if uh, if worse comes to worse. No, you can still like you don't have to use stasis lock. You can use uh like hunters have pretty good builds too for freezing. Oh yeah. I I just built I just built the stasis lock for this particular mode, so I figured if yeah. if that opportunity comes I can always test it out and, and try. Because you, you mentioned two warlocks. I know so. everyone that watches is, is mostly a hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. This is a hunter stream basically. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade the turret on the right hand side. It's like 4,000 so I might as well. I'm completely out of scraps now. Yeah, we haven't really like done that with the turrets. Like upgrade them more than once. So we don't mm -hmm. know how good they are. True. That's true. Yeah, this is a good testing phase for us. It should do work now. We'll see how fast it is. I'm saving up a lot of uh, points so I can just like upgrade all the wires, the trip wires, to see how good they really are. Yeah, now, this is a good time now. Since we're not doing legendary, I think we can yeah. test things out. Oh my goodness, alright, even with my super active, I got destroyed. Oh, thanks, Gramps. Oof. Wave 8. Wave 8, let's go. A 
lot of batteries. I got the batteries. Nice. Yeah, this... The, the normal version is more casual. You can, like, chill. Oh, oh yeah. Way more. Even if one of us goes down, we can actually still manage. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Impressive, Guardian. You have an instinct for battle. Yeah, this is certainly just a good way to, for us to understand the flow too. Like if we can just do this multiple times and understand the the ebb and the flow of. The runs, I think it'll make our legend runs a bit easier. Oh, I rocketed myself. That's all good. Hand side. Try and obtain this or take out the sky bomber here. He's gone. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Nice pyramid time. Okay, this is a new one. The guy Paul is the boss. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna go aggro here. It's gonna deflect every bullet. Uh, this would be a great Blight Ranger opportunity for me. Ooh. I feel like Blight Ranger would actually be perfect because I can just deflect everything and all the enemies just take massive damage. I have to build that later on. Oh, there it is. Oh, the spark? Yeah, oh, we have to beat the witch first, I think. Bring back the spark. Extra oh. damage from the boss, I think. Yeah, I uh, can't obtain the bill. Oh, okay. You just walk into the spark to do it? Cause I, I walked in there and then. <coughs> Cade would have been proud of how you ran through that like it was a nice in a succession. You sly bastard! It's right here. Nice. Okay. That's wave 10, I believe that was, right? Um, yep. Yeah, Alright, so now I have 2600. Uh, where's the next turret? So I'll just invest in turrets again. So I'm going to do my best to try and get the turrets to at least level 3 next time. I've upgraded this one to level 2. Perfect. So yeah, the next time I'll try level 3. Try it out. Yeah, might as well.
So how far have you folks uh, gotten so far in your runs, if you don't mind me asking, if y'all are still there? I imagine many of you are probably just running it currently, so... Thirty-seven. Let's go. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Hey, is that normal or legend? Yeah, is that normal or legend? I imagine. That's the real question. Because <laughs> if you're a legend on that, then y'all are. That's y impressive. Yeah, yeah, that's that great. Is. Yeah. Okay, normal. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, if y'all did it on Legend, you guys are actually legendary for that. Still impressive, nevertheless. That's still a very, very good run for a normal. Nice. Oh, okay, a random third. Yeah, I imagine because you guys have, are running only duo, right? Those eyeballs. Yeah, the eyeballs are definitely. They're aiming. Yeah, I got sniped too. There's like two of them. I got one of them at least, or try to. There we go. It's one down. as well. Yeah, the witches are actually the, the more annoying, I would imagine, because they have the orange solar shield on. No, not just that, they have their shield. Yeah. You have to stand in the, in the circle to break. Exactly, yep. That's definitely the challenging part. Well, luckily we're onto legend, because otherwise we'd have been done there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We would have reset. I got you. Alright, so we have to stand in that force field, but standing in that force field right now is actually not easy because those squeebers oh. keep coming in. Yeah. Make it a hassle. Like the moment I stand in that, that circle, they're just laser beaming. Okay, well, at least, oops. Okay, I blew myself up. That was not intended. How long intended. do we have to stand here? I know, right? Feels like an eternity we happen to stand there. Just to erase those witches. That felt like literally hours of torture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, I got one turret upgraded at least. So we have uh, one turret at 4k and then one turret at 2k. And then a decoy. decoy here as well now. Wonderful. Here I upgraded it. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, nice. The turret? Yeah. Mm. We have two level two turrets. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Excellent. That should be sufficient then ah. oh, one guy at that base here I'll try and keep him back I use my super here. They're coming from the, the right hand side.
Leave me alone! Uh oh, hold I'm out of there. Nice. Oh, red alert. Oh, I got him. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Much faster job this time. Yeah, moth keepers, yeah. If they can't see us, they can't hurt us. <laughs> Alright, I've got 2600. I just um, upgraded this to the max. This is what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh, it's blinking too. That looks nice. I want to see how, how much it fires. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put trip wires up here on our base. I would appreciate them not spawning ads on the ADU. That's what I'm saying, right? They literally spawn. They literally spawn on the ADU. Or ACU. <laughs> it's actually insane that the spawn points are on the point which we have to defend <laughs> and not only are these enemies incredibly annoying and tanky they spawn multiple times <laughs> that's likely why uh we died so quickly in the legend run because they literally spawned on top of us yep. so yeah. hopefully that gets a fix i imagine some group out there is probably complaining on Twitter, asking for a nerf or at least to adjust the spawn points because that's a bit much, I'll be honest. No enemy should be spawning on the point that we have to defend. <laughs> well, they weren't yeah. really spawning on the point, but they ran very fast to it. Yeah, very, very fast to it. Yeah, I think there was a fall. I think there was a fallen enemies that we were dealing with from when I remember. So this probably just jumped up. Oops. Nice. Oh, oh. These guys. Well, actually. <laughs> that is on, pretty right much on, on top of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Literally on top. And there's two of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, well at least they give us an ample resource of batteries. That's a positive at least, but still, imagine that was legendary in dealing with those idiots? Oh my gosh. We've been probably dead by now. A lot of a lot of like like hardcore players were asking for this though. They must have been smoking some wanted. drug. This is what they want. Well, you get what you, yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, you get what you asked for, and now those very same people who asked for it, they're probably gonna be like, Wait a minute! We didn't 
didn't ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, that's why you got to be careful what you ask for sometimes, because you get what you do, you get what you ask for, and sometimes you get what you deserve. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. And if you're asking for something like this, you deserve it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you definitely deserve it. You definitely do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll be standing on it and suddenly there's a big mama shank on you and I don't know where it came from. Yeah, that's why I'm just totally surprised by the sheer amount of spawning on top of the point. That should not be the case. Oh, I'm out of there. You're f Ooh, he doesn't. Oh my gosh. Too much damage. Uh, ooh, okay. Of course he has to come to our, our rift. Behind us. Mm -hmm. oh, I got burned. Gotcha. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the star over there. Oh, never mind. The star just shifted. Okay, so these star points, they constantly change them. And of course, of course, the star point is on the actual old. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say. What is this even for? These points? Uh, I believe it's to do damage Different to. things. Because you yeah. can still damage the boss with other. Sometimes it gives you a damage buff, sometimes you get. Uh, called in reinforcements. Yeah, exactly. It gives you different benefits. I have to like readjust my my posture. <laughs> I'm getting I'm just I'm I realizing. Don't, I don't think we should go for the circles. Mm -hmm. Is it not worth it? You feel? No, it's not. Because look, he's gonna keep killing us. Mm. Well, he don't want us to get to the circle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. He wants us to stay away from it because he knows he knows what's it's coming. Yeah, I'm gonna run away. What does the circle do? I want to see this one. I think it's much much like what uh, Gramps mentioned, where it does it does activate a buff of some sort. What that buff is, however. I was I haven't been visually paying attention. Increased boss damage. Oh, sorry, it's giving more damage. Yeah. So it really is imperative that we probably stay around them. But if that boss is preventing us, then of course it's not always easy. But I'm gonna go over there right now. Well, he's dead. <laughs> oh well, never mind. <laughs> I was about to go over there. I'm like, oh well, all right. Perfect. Oh man, I'm I'm kind of I thought scared. To myself, is that a miniature such? Um, because no, Dim is about to fill up or my vault. On your I love it. Uh, another edge transit for me, but I... yeah, me too. An analysis rifle. Nice. Uh, I just wish Dim was working so I can just transfer things because I feel like we're at a point where our postmaster is going to be overflowed. I just have a feeling. <laughs> I can already feel it in my bones that we're gonna probably see Postmaster on red alert. 21 of 21. Oh, uh, let's see. Do I want to delete anything? I guess I could delete Thin Precipice for now. I can always obtain it later on, since it is craftable anyway. I'll just grab Edge Transit. Oh, nice. Okay, you know what? Good thing I did. I got the limited edition one. Nice. Cool. Oh, it looks so much better than the original. And, and it comes with double perks. Ooh. Mini frag, sticky grenades. 
chain reaction, deconstruct, full court. Wow, this actually has some... This is a, pretty close to a god roll. Wow. Yeah, I got one with uh, with full court and envious assassin. Ooh. And spike grenades. And spike grenades. Yep. Wow, that's a that's a solid roll there too. It is. Wow. Yeah, I keep that one. Was it also on uh, the lemon edition one? Nope. No, it wasn't. Wow. I'm gonna delete the regular one that I have. I could care less for it. But until I get that one, this one's staying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. Don't delete that one. I'll dismantle this though, but I'm keeping the. The ornament one. Ooh, that looks nice. And then succession, moving target, Vorpal. All right, I'm going to delete succession too until I get a limited edition one. All right, let's keep going. We're doing pretty good so far. Uh, let's see now. I have 3,600. Okay, so everything reset. So I'm just going to go straight to turrets again. And I think every couple of rounds, it just keeps rotating. I think like every time. Map. Yeah, every time you go uh, go to the boss. Right, yeah, every time. Yeah, yeah, every time we finish the boss boss stage, we just get a, a fresh re reset. And the area changes too, right? From what it looks like. The location that we're at just changed. Coming from. Ooh. There's a lot of orbs on the floor. I'm gonna collect those. Two nearby base. These turrets, I think, are making the orbs. Oh, well, that's that's good for us then. Oh. Careful. <laughs> I'm here. Capture zone. Bonus. Yep. Keep on base here. Okay. Well, and then I'm back. There are some orbs nearby where I was earlier. There's like three or four orbs in case you guys needed it. But it's probably not worth the risk now considering. Yeah, Ogre's coming down the road, so... Nice. Yeah, two more orbs up here. Another Ogre's coming through. Huh? How did you fry me there? Okay. I'll take care of these eyeballs over here. They're gonna be more annoying than anything. Yep, I'm already dying. Actually, I think I fell off the map. That was my fault. Yeah, I did. I walked backwards off the map. Eyeball to the right is really weak. Yeah. Oh, this time I didn't walk off the map. This time I just got shot in the face. <laughs> there you go. Man, I, I, I turn right, I turn left. It's chaos. Are you a warlock? Yep. Are you using necrotic grip? Oh yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You're talking to one of the warlock mains. 
<laughs> For a sec, I thought you were a titan there. <laughs> You're insulting like Grandpa titan. saying that. You're insulting him. <laughs> no, no. no he, he just saw me munching on some crayons. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful and blow myself up. Oh, you know what I should use? Wither Horde. That'll be too bad. There's like two orbs in this tunnel over here, by the way, in case you, know, you guys needed any. Oops. Uh, <laughs> you got in the way, Jay. I'm just gonna shoot the enemy and then lock them in my face. Three orbs nearby my body. We're gonna, we're gonna get around. Okay. Did we miss a bonus there? I think we did. Oh, oh, shit. All targets, Not like it matters anyway. Still when the dust we'll say though. So we're on 26 now. There, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, we reached a milestone. 26. We, we're doing it. Oh, they're all gone. Damn it. Just got through your first 50 waves. Hey, let's go. Congrats. Nice. Good job. Good stuff. Now to worry about legend. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a different one. That's going to be a different... Different story right there. Or go for it. Go for legend. See how far y'all can go. What was your random running, by the way? Since you mentioned uh, two of you and then having a random on your team, so. You must have had a good build. Some times four conk person. Ooh. Well, as long as it worked out in the end, that's all that matters. They're running uh, gear with Wish Ender. It was a decision. Definitely a decision for sure. All right, how much do I have? I have 3,498. Turd is leveled up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, exact same? Perfect. Exact same. <laughs> I think what I can do then is I'll go with turrets. Or sorry, um, trip, trip mines or trip wires. I'll put this to level two okay yeah because the trip wires give you two lines so i guess the trip wire time three gives you three lines they did all right but it'll, it'll probably go smoother when we can get a third. Oh, absolutely, yeah, because calming in this thing is going to be so valuable. Like, even though even though we're not really calming that much, I think our comms are still valuable to have. But then again, we're all pretty focused, so... It's like running a GM. We're just so concentrated.
Yeah, I'll try and stand back a little bit here. I'll, I'll keep an eye on the base. Okay, there's more moats on the floor. Okay, so pyramid relic. Okay, so if we collect the relics, they're bonuses. And you get. Yep. Oh, you get trophies of bravery for that. So that's good. actually a good incentive then. So that way you can just use that to farm. And you also get a heavy chest. Exactly, yeah, which is perfect. Which we need more of. Oh, this is a barrier. Oh! Nice. I spy you. <laughs> Ooh, that was a that was a tight pickle there. All right, this one is okay. We got to beat this moron again. Ooh, okay, he is hitting pretty hard. Pardon me. Okay, I gotta try to remove his shield. Oh yeah, that, that ogre is terrifying. I'm gonna try and deposit. Nice, good stuff. You drop two. I'm gonna go ahead and collect that then. Uh, I'm at 28.97. Pyramid time, let's go. Let's time. Execute all targets let's do this. And make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Okay, orb wise, I'm just a little bit off my super, so I can't push in aggressively. So we're already further than we have been. Oh yeah, way better. Way much further, more focused. To hear it, I'm so hyped. Watch the showcase again to make sure I didn't imagine it. I know, right? That new subclass, <laughs> Prismatic was going crazy. I was... Yeah. I could not believe my eyes myself. I had to look to the bottom left a couple times to make sure I wasn't going insane. You guys mind if I just go and get a coffee? Yeah, please. There's there's a new subclass, stasis subclass. I'm gonna go to the washroom too, though. Yeah, go for it. This is gonna be a good time to break. Yeah, to hear, and I was I was super stoked. I could not believe my eyes too when I looked at the bottom left and I saw three of the abilities in one. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? Why are there three abilities? And then they just announced prismatic, and I'm like, what? So you can customize your own subclass. Solar, Arc, Stasis, all in one. So that that's gonna be that's gonna be a subclass I think a lot of people will enjoy. Myself included, I think I'll be playing that a lot more. As much as I love Arc, I love Arc so much, but if I can combine all the elements that I love, a strand grapple, arc super, and then solar grenades, oh my gosh. Yeah, to hearing, I was, I was flipping. <laughs> I was flipping. I was excited. <laughs> well, cool. Looking forward to clearing legend and unlocking the other weapons. Mountaintop hammer. <laughs> Ellie's like, oh, I'm done here. <laughs> Ellie's like, well, this was it. Oh, well, I guess I'm done for the week. I'll see you guys next reset. <laughs> That's what it feels like too. Cause I'm looking forward to Luna's Hal more more than anything. I really want to get Luna's Hal. To me right now, I'm just I'm just kind of happy to play the mode. But as far as my motivation to actually farm it to do more, I'm waiting for Luna's because I really want to get the best God roll for Luna. And. I guess, you know, edge transit's not too bad. Can't really say it's a terrible option to have. It's a great grenade launcher. 
but I'm definitely firmly planted on Luna's Howl and Mountaintop as my two, my go-tos. I never thought they would do that. Also, the, the new exotic class items sound like a much-needed armor update. Oh, yeah, and the fact that you can combine random perks from different exotics is really insane. So it's just it's just going to be a, a, a class of its own. A subclass, I should say, of its own. And that's going to be fantastic. Just see... It, the amount of build crafting that you can do with that is... It, it, it seems infinite, but of course there's probably some degree of limitation. But the fact that you can just randomly have exotic perks on one of your armor pieces or multiple is pretty pretty darn cool. And so I'm I'm really excited to just master that. So I love complexity. I like I like things that take some degree of skill to master. Because it really it really invigorates me. Which is why I love Ark so much, because Ark is a, a class that I think requires a great degree of mastery. Most notably the blinking. And it's a class where you like you really have to practice your gun skill. Especially in PvP. But yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to com combine all the different elements into one and then just go nuts with that very uh it's like that specific prismatic grenade, which is cool. It's gonna be super fun. Super super fun. Like I could even I can even do like a moth keeper build. Moth keeper with like Oh I can't even no actually I probably couldn't because then it would cut off the strand grapple. So maybe I can do if I have the option to still use my arc staff as my super, I can probably do Blight Ranger with grappling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, my brain's already thinking about um, like hundreds of different combinations. Yeah, without limits, it becomes too open and there might be a clear best option. But with good trade-offs, this could be absolutely awesome. I mean, yep, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm right there with you. Yeah, and then, you know, a few people in chat were saying PvP is going to be a different <laughs> a different ball game, which I'm I, I'm calling it now. They're probably going to they're going to. They're going to nerf. They're going to nerf that. Oh, someone left the team. Who left? Um, JD, I suppose, from being away too long. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'll add him back. Mm. Okay, I should probably just get some, get some sugar in me. I'm, I'm going to have some more peanuts. Honey roasted, that's why <laughs> I said sugar. But then again, it's not really sugar because it's honey, and honey is actually better for you than sugar, so it's actually good, healthy. <laughs> it's, it's carbohydrate, so it's pretty much sugar. Yeah, very true. <laughs> <laughs> not you wrong. You can lie to yourself if you like. But... <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, it really is just carbs. This is placebo. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tasty, though. It really is. It really is. And it has some protein. I just, I just happened to take a little piece of licorice when I was in the kitchen. Nice. Get some extra sugar in there yourself. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Quick carbohydrates. <laughs> yep. Quick placebo. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done. I can't eat this whole bag. If I do, it's I'm in trouble. Because <laughs> I'll tell you one thing: when it comes to eating any type of nuts, I am I am like a fiend, and I if if, if there's a bag in front of me, I will eat it all. Hard to stop once you stop started yeah it's really difficult i don't know what it is could be the the placebo like we're talking about but it's just there's something about peanuts and the saltiness of it that just keeps you coming back for more and then of course the honey part adding that that sweet and somewhat not sour but sweet and salty sorry taste it's it's very very addicting the the umami of the the peanut itself 
Yep, exactly. Yeah, the umami of the peanut. And it just, uh, it's very satisfying. Yep. So I got to stop right, right when I, about before it gets worse. But I, I'm going to probably have an actual good meal. Because <laughs> <laughs> eating nothing but carbs right now is not really the best. So I'm going to probably make like a hamburger. And then probably call it a day after that and take a break. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be the most exciting because I'm really excited to, to jump into Whisper solo and just run through it blind and really get a feel for the whole entire mission from start to finish. Because the reward is the, the craftable sniper rifle, which I think one could argue that it may very well be the best sniper in the game now. Because it's craftable. Yeah, yeah, they buffed it. It's craftable, so you can really, you know, micromanage it. I completely forgot about the. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it's no worries there, Jay. It can happen sometimes. I'll I'll reinvite you by the way, just in case you didn't get the first invite. Gagman's happy. I mean, we're all happy. I'm. I'm just. I'm just stoked. Regardless, I like this game mode, even if the, even if the other game mode's gonna be a challenge, I think it's like a good game mode where you can like test your builds. You know. Yep. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. I hundred percent agree on that. This is really. Because otherwise, you don't really have anywhere to go to to test your build with like high add densities. Yeah, because everything is typically very organized. You have to like pay, right? Like, if you want to test it, you have to pay to get a dungeon, and then you can test it, right? Right. For free to play, free to play. This is really good. Absolutely. Yeah. This actually might uh, make people want to buy more DLCs. Very true. I mean, I'm already convinced, to say the least. I hate how much I relied on Dim. I know the feeling. <laughs> I, th yeah. I thought it was gonna be lame, though, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I remember you told me too. You, you were the, we were one of the persons or people rather that mentioned to me that you weren't really excited for this mode, and it seems like the the tone has changed. <laughs> That's a good sign, though. I mean, they did a good job. It means they actually executed yeah, on, on yeah, what they, they said. Did a good job. Exactly. I, I do agree. And I, I very much agree with what you said. Like, this the way is... they were, just the way that I saw the... Like, when I saw the preview, the turrets didn't really look like they were doing anything. But they're actually useful. You yeah. upgrade them. Yeah, absolutely. Even the even the decoys, like you said, like there's a utility yeah, in the decoys. The decoys is like they didn't even show that in the trailer. Yeah. If I knew about that, that would have been cool. Very true. Yeah, we only on got us. On the other hand, finding out by ourselves was pretty cool as well. Yeah. To be fair, that didn't spoil anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think right. that would. Yeah. I think if they showed us too much, that would have actually been worse, in my opinion. Yeah, people probably would have been, like, making all these hate videos. Yeah, like, less <laughs> less enthusiastic, basically, is yeah the way I would see it. And then that would have easily been a whole boar, boar fest for most people, too. It's like, oh, well, I know what's coming, so might as well just... The only thing, the only thing that I, like, if I could change something about this... I would change like where the ADU spot is, like so you can just pick it yourself, and then mm. it's completely Gears of War. <laughs> oh yeah, that would definitely be crazy. Right. If you play Gears of War, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. played that. Okay. Yeah, you can pick your your spot and really kind of make it your own. Just type hold of... it down, you know. Just keep upgrading everything to the max. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree on that. That would make it uh, make another level of strategy on it as well. Yeah, because yeah. like this, we have to like always like gather points and then re-establish our base. 
Exactly. Yeah, I, I totally agree on that being the opportunity for us to utilize our own creative ways to build our spot, build our base wherever we want, where we desire. Yeah. It's still the first day. Who knows what they're going to do? Oh, yeah, exactly. There's plenty of updates they can do, which I'm really excited for. They usually for listen to the community anyways, or they usually like watch videos that people make, take their, their reference from there. Well, I can say for sure that someone, someone from the Bungie team was watching our stream because no one has ever said good time zone but me and Gramps and I'm sure many of us <laughs> yeah. know. So unless someone out there is named Steel Gramps 2.0, I'm pretty sure somebody in Bungie <laughs> was watching the stream. Because oh, yeah. Andy, def once he said good time zone, I said, wait a minute, that's, that's definitely a... <laughs> That's our community, like, catchphrase. Like, oh, no didn't you know? I'm Andy. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What a surprise. <laughs> Is that the guy that's on the... the streams or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which which guy? He was the host. He was the host of the stream. Uh, oh, yeah, he was he, the host. Yeah. So the fact that the host of the stream was like good times on everyone, I'm like, wait a minute. There's no way. There's no way you would know this catchphrase unless you were in the stream at some point in time. Because basically, Gramps was the one. I think it was Gramps and or Jack. Both of you mentioned. You know what? This is say good time zone to avoid the whole. You know, screw up with time zones. Yeah, because I'm in Europe and you're in Japan, so. Yeah, and so that was our that North was our America. right. <laughs> that was our catchphrase. Yep. And so I was like, wait a minute, how do you guys know that? There's no way that Andy would know that unless oh, he came damn. here. I saw that you exploded. <clears throat> yep. <Big> <laughs> Perfect. Can I get the res now? Thank you. No worries. But hey, I'm I'm happy with that. If that is really the case, if Andy did come through and he did come by to say hi, or he may, maybe he's under a different alias and he just came through and pretended like oh, he yeah, was. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people that do that. Oh yeah. I was like, all right, well, I respect you. My bad. <laughs> That's all good. Come on, bro, you're a warlock. <laughs> Oof, okay, I got sniped. Still hard, I have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in red alert. We got this, boys. Gramps, Gramps is a I'm good, good sport. He can, he can take it in stride. Oh, yeah. I'm six. Gramps and I always poke fun, so... Yeah, warlocks don't get mad, you know? <laughs> They're too busy acquiring knowledge to <laughs> piss you off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are you doing here? This guy is camping in the corner somewhere. I'm gonna take care of him. Now he's All dead. All these orbs are so useful. Oh yeah, the orbs are actually amazing for just getting your super back. Just go next to like a turret with like a bunch of orbs. <laughs> Maybe you watch some of my videos. Right here, this this turret right here is making a lot of orbs. Yeah, it's yeah, cooking, it doing the work. But yeah, lollipop, you're not wrong. I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe oh, that the the. Upgrades. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll shut up now. Um. Let's see, turret is upgraded. Okay, uh, decoy? Decoy is... Okay, I'm gonna buy decoy. 2k. And, um... Should be good then, yeah? I don't even know how much scrap I have. I've been saving it. Mm. It's going off with abilities. So now you are, you are the new Baron of oil. <laughs> <laughs> I am just, uh... I'm focusing so heavily now on surviving. I'm saving it for, like... I'm gonna start spending it on round 40. You yeah, will. We're getting close to that. We're we're just around the corner. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. Oh yeah, easily. We're doing pretty good so far. Like way, way better than before. I think like what we've been doing too now is like we're like, you know, two people stay near the A to U and just like one yeah. let one person roam around. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly the strat. I think if anything, I should be the one running around because I have I have um arc, so I have more speed than both of you. So I mean like I just want like to get ammo, so like now you can go. True, yeah, we can just swap turns basically, yeah, makes sense. But I would not be surprised though, uh, Lollipop, if, if Andy did in fact watch one of my, my videos or just watch the stream because I've never once mentioned good time zone in my videos. It's always been a live stream thing, so he must have just showed up out of yeah, the blue. True. Yeah, I've never once mentioned that in any of my videos. I usually just say my catchphrase of like, stay strong, keep fighting. But I've never, uh, never mentioned it in a video. So that's proof of Andy being here in a live stream. Which again, I'm, I'm happy for. That's a very good sign. All right, I've got my super now. I'm gonna uh, heavy. Potential. You guys, heavy, 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 heavy. Make me proud. Uh, oh I'm yeah, full. I'm pretty full he too. Left. Yeah, I already left. I'm, I'm, I'm full though. I'm pretty good. I'm just gonna go pop my super and get rid of these ads for us. But these guys are dropping heavy and specials all day for me. There are so many bricks of heavy and special all over me right now. I'm like forever. Actually, you know what? Before I go into the new room, I'm going to just make sure I have everything collected. Give me a sec. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, which of these witches needs a beating? You. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them need a timeout. Punishments. Done. They should just rename these wizards to witches. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> keep, I keep calling them witches. I mean, that's what they are. They look like witches. They look like mm -hmm. witches, yeah. When I when I think wizards, I'm thinking they're the real wizards. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, if anyone's a wizard, it should be a warlock. Space wizards. <laughs> yeah, space, space wizards. Oh my gosh, these guys are actually madmen. Perfect. Let's go. Very nice. Upgrades available. Okay, so let's see how much I've got. I have 3,800, so I'm just under, but I'm going to buy another... Okay, Decoy is going to get level 2, so now he's got the gun. So it's 6k for the max. Yo, look at who I turned him into, bro. Huh? What? No way, he's low Shax. Really? Yeah. Oh, what? wow. Yeah, bro, this guy's probably tanky as hell. <laughs> he's gonna be tanked up then. <laughs> oh, I just wanted like... to see, I had so many points. Oh, there's no <laughs> way we're losing this then. That's actually insane. What will he do for us? I'm curious now. No, he doesn't do anything. He just stands there, but he's like... Looks like he takes a lot of health. <laughs> yeah. like damage, I mean. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be tanking. Lord Tank, that should be his name now. <laughs> Bit of a missed opportunity that he doesn't uh, give us his... Uh, his uh, shot from... from uh, Crucible, though. Oh, yeah, so, like, right? His, his bumps, he... he... 
when you do oh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, uh, his dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dialogue, yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Kind of like a cheering. <laughs> Come on, us. Guardians! You can do this! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of motivational speech. Hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, he, him just standing there definitely is just... I mean, it's very ominous, like he's just there, but... At least do something. Punch them, let's do something. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the other section. There's, um... I'm gonna capture the Pyramid Zone. Aww, uh, a bit too late there on the... Yeah. Sucks. Oh no. Okay, let's do this quick sucks. before we get, like... Overwhelmed. Yep, yep. Let's uh, take care of them. Yeah, the, the two wizards or wicked witches of the west are over on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna run over and grab the. Try and protect me here if I can. I'm gonna try and just go in. Fall to the wall. There's a battery near that. Okay. I'm trying to erase as many of these witches as I possibly can. Oof. Yeah, they're only focused on shots. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely focusing on them, which is good. I made it through <laughs> somehow. Wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here we go. Okay, one more wizard. I took out at least two of them. There. There it goes. Alright, there's one more, and now they're done. And then there's one on the left, I think? Oh, yep, yeah, there she is. Punch you in the face. In a video game. Alright, and nice deposits. Perfect. Let's go! Time for the pyramid. Yeah. 40. This is... Uh, that was shocks. Let's go. That was Shax. <laughs> rallying us to go. Yep. Let's do this. All right. 40. We got this. Yeah, sure. We do. You ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. All right, I got my super. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in. Oh, the screen shaking is making me dizzy. <laughs> All the screen shaking. Oh my gosh. Whenever the... Whenever the enemy is just like, shoot at you, and I do my super, I'm just... All the screen shaking. Oh, we can turn it off? Okay, thank goodness, because that... That just made me dizzy for a moment there. I was like, holy moly. Okay, I'm collecting spark for us. Got one spark. Let's see. Right here. Okay. Boom. Done and done, I believe. Or not yet. Gosh, I gotta run away. Well, they're all blind, so they can't see us, which is good. It doesn't stop them from hurting us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blind rage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's a new new spark. Okay. I'll try and grab the spark. I have amplified, so I'll just run through these guys. If I can actually make it. Which is definitely annoying. Oh. 
Oh, she fell off the map. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna run away here. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Okay. I am. Oh, yeah. I got sniped in the back. They're all in the middle there. Watch out. Yeah, they all just spiked me in the back. Yeah, take your time, Gramps. Oh. I'm back. I'm back in ten seconds. Back in a second now. Being very passive right now. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Go for it. Now we're back. We're both back. Oh my gosh, wow, I just, I just exposed myself just an inch, and I just got destroyed. You expose yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I was just showing them a I, little I'm bit. I'm coming in to done. Okay, cool, cool. Well, Ooh. actually. <laughs> well, actually, uh... <laughs> oh. Ooh, okay, I am... Rift ran up. Yeah, just in the last second I saw that. Try and get you over there. Okay, I've got my super. So I'm gonna try and res here. Alright, I'm going in. And right, I'm coming back out. That's final bosses. Oh, that's final yeah. boss for a reason. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Just, just thought I'd fill in that. <laughs> <laughs> final bosses, dead. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, I'm going to delete this edge transit again. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to master work. Or no, I'm going <laughs> to module it. Sorry. And now, what do we get? The hung jury. Ooh, yeah, nice. oh, perfect. Uh, else, one more. Else, use a rifle again. Oh, Ooh, I got the roll I want. Reconstruction, recombination. Nice. Okay, let me just check if Dim is actually working. I'm afraid, though. I'm really scared. Oh, still broken. Yeah, it's gonna be probably for like a day at least. Oh yeah. Because yeah. they have to update the roles and everything. That is very yeah, true. Yeah, that and... Uh, Bungie might have disabled it. Uh, since there's so many coming in right now. Yeah, very true. Very, oh, very they true. They can disable them. I don't know that. They can disable the... The API? Yeah, the API, yeah. Yeah. So that's good. At least I have some space freed up. Oh, thought I did. Uh, let's see. Do I want recluse? Yeah, I want recluse. Everything here I'm using. All right. Anyway, I'll come back. It'll go and it'll go in the. It'll go somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it's gonna go, but postmaster, I'm sure, will probably delete it because I'm already probably full. All right, this is where we're gonna we're gonna cook, boys. We're at the final, final stage, and I'm gonna put a nice turret on the right hand side, like before, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna set up a a trip mine or a trip wire at the bottom right, just to use up all my resources, and then that should at least cut off some of the pressure. What round is this? Uh, I think uh, 41. Yeah, 41. Okay. So this is the final one. Final round, I guess you can say. A wave, rather. Oh, 
grab this. These turrets are actually melting. Okay, one more splinter. Uh, I'm gonna go grab this, the last splinter as a bonus. Done. Great. And then we have heavy ammo behind us. Oh yeah, three batteries? Oh, that's perfect. One... Perfect. Oh, we are, we are absolutely cooking now. If those batteries weren't enough, I'm gonna be sad. Wait till there's uh, three majors spawning in right around <laughs> the APU. I know, right? ADU, oh. I mean. Yeah, the ADU, yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of which, here comes Mr. Ober, paying you a visit. Ooh. Yeah. And he hurts. <laughs> and he hurts, yeah. Are you good, Jay? Jay? Are you it's there, just Jay? The two of us? Oh my gosh, it's no. Just the two of us. Oh my gosh, no. Okay. Ah, oh, salvaged. Oh. Nice. Okay. Jay, where were you? I had to go. My bad. Oh my gosh, we were, we almost actually lost it right there. Luckily, I had my super. Ooh, ooh. That's right. Oh. At the door, I had to go. Oh, okay, it's no problem. Oh, you tormentor! All right, there's a tormentor. No. no. Oh, no. oh my gosh! We were so close. Forty-two. Forty-two. <laughs> wow. Oh, we. Man. We almost got that, that one too. That was a good run, though. Yeah. That was a good run. Yeah, it was that a was, good run. That was the best run we've done for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> We did a spectacular job. I, I, I got scared though. I'm like, oh no, did Jay disconnect? I saw your name at the back. I'm like, oh no, don't tell me disconnected. <laughs> yeah. No, bro, I had to go open the door. I couldn't like miss that. Oh, uh, that's okay. I mean, you can't control that. Damn, but that was so still good though. We could do it again some other time. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> sure we can come back again. Uh, and, and and get the fifty because now now we know we know the flow of it so it's it's not like it's new to us now. So yeah, it seems like the last forty and up is like crazy. Yeah, yeah density. Yeah, that and also you can't you can't die then you wipe. Right. Yeah, that's or very true. You die and you wipe. Yeah, very true. Cause yeah, thirty. Or 40 and lower, we, we were able to just res constantly. And then the moment we hit 42, that was done. And mostly you guys were just upgrading. I was just holding all my points till later. I should have used it now. So what, what is it? So like one way, one round is 10, 10 waves? Yeah. 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 So, so then on round 40 is like the last chance I have to upgrade things then. Basically, yep. yeah. That's true. So, true yeah so that would have been your opportunity but like, like you said you couldn't you couldn't help entering the door so it's not like you know you had a, another yeah. choice so i'm like there's no way jay just left us but i i thought in my mind there's no way he would do that, no, I, I <laughs> yeah. that yeah yeah because yeah. we we were cooking still in the call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly i was like no way but i'm gonna go to the trophies and I'm gonna grab. Uh, I I held out too, like the door like Check rang five times, and then I went. <laughs> <laughs> so it's totally good, no worries. So let me let me delete. Okay, so luckily the postmaster was not 
packed to the brim, but I was still scared. But it wasn't uh we're okay. So succession. I'm gonna delete succession until I get the the golden one Elsie's rifle, loose change head seeker. Nah, I think we can delete that too. So are you Here calling it now? You're getting off. Oh yeah, I mean right now it's 7 30, man. I need to either just start my day. I can't go back to are sleep. You go to sleep or no? No. no yeah, it's too late. It's too late now. Yeah, my body's probably full of adrenaline from all that. So Received. I'm probably <laughs> <Yeah>. gonna just <laughs> I'm most likely gonna I'm just uh jumping back into this. <laughs> I'm gonna take like a good like 30 minute break and then jump back in. Uh, I might um, food. Yeah, that's what I need right now. I'm actually in need of actual food and not it's just energy. Yeah. Yeah, I need a good breakfast in my system because peanuts. Are, I mean, well, as good as they are, they're just gonna melt away after some time, and I need something that's sustainable. And plus, I want to just rest my eyeballs because it's literally it's, this is this an unusual time period for me to be awake. I had three energy drinks ready for today. <laughs> <laughs> You're prepared. Well, I'm actually already in, in the night phase because I'm working night shift this week. So oh, yeah. Night shift. Took the, yeah, so I just took the day off today. I am I have the whole night in front of me. <laughs> you're you're going to be up all night trying this then. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll likely come back maybe later on in the day. Uh, not streaming wise, but of course offline, I'll definitely be uh, be testing my hand. So if if you guys want to do it offline later, if you're not sleeping, then I'll maybe hit you up. If yeah, not, I'm on for yeah, I'm gonna just do some stuff and then I'm down to jump back in. Might come back later, yeah, like absolutely. Uh, I may come back it's in a summer. few hours. Yeah, no problem then. Yeah, it's like. It's I'm in Eastern time, so it's like six twenty-five almost. Yeah, I'm literally starting my stream right now. Like it, <laughs> this is the time that I'm yeah, actually turning on my stream, <laughs> and I'm still going. So, I guess technically, technically, guys, you got a full stream then. All right, so I just started, and you had seven hours of it, so you can't complain now. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. I was gonna be like, yo, you know, you like, how long is the stream been going? It's been a good, like, <laughs> seven hours. Yeah, again. exactly. Yeah, 651, <laughs> exactly. News of Madman, yeah. The, I heard you weren't gonna play this today, and then I saw you on, I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no I. No way that you. So I was you gonna play. Like jump into it once, and you're like, okay, I'm just playing this. Oh yeah, I mean, I was already awake regardless because once I saw Star Wars, I was or my eyes were already wide open. So that was what like is the that game free to play, or is it you have to buy it? Uh, the Star Wars one. Likely but buying, yeah. Likely oh, a purchase, sure. but. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the price. <laughs> it's Star Wars. Like I, I'm a huge fan of of the Star Wars universe and it being a brand new game taking place in a brand new world with bounty hunters. Have you have you watched all the old stuff? Oh yeah, I have. So the like, I usually hear like the Star Wars fans don't really like the new reboot or whatever. Uh, I can see why. I can see why there it's are... very. Definitely things about it I don't like. But mm -hmm. Like what I like. like. Well, what are you, what like, don't you like about it? I want to see well, it's the same as everyone. It's, it probably is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mostly. It's, I mean. The, the Ray? No, I like Ray. No? Oh, I absolutely true. like Ray. But I heard that people didn't like it because of that. I was like. Oh, sure. no. Definitely not. But yeah, so what, yeah. I, I was thinking more about uh, like um, the, for one moment. the three prequels, shall we call them? One, two, and three, mm -hmm. for instance. Is that They're, like the new universe, basically? No, no. The prequels? No, no. What, what is it? No, I, I didn't mean the prequels in, in that sense. I meant 
<laughs> the three before the original three. Yeah. He you means know, the one with like with us numerically, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know what he means. <laughs> so um like I'm the character lost, Jar Jar Binks. Stuff. Character Jar Jar Binks, for instance. I really yeah. don't like. This is important. Yeah, Jar Jar is kind of annoying. Yeah. What about the Mandalorian Damn. series? Do you like that? Oh yeah. I absolutely like the Mandalorian. Stop. I've seen it now. Yeah, Mandalorian Come is amazing. That's probably one of my favorite Star Wars uh, shows uh, that that come out recently. But I want to answer your question about the the, the Discord reason. Discord die again? No, uh, I'm just uh, no, I was just speaking quiet. There you go. Yeah, I, on me it kind of went yep. red. Probably for him though. Yeah, yeah, it <laughs> went red for me. So I, I was gonna say to kind of answer your question because uh, I know um, Gramps just answered it to some degree but to add on to what Gramps was saying I for me the the discord I feel came from Finn uh the character Finn in Star Wars was arguably one of the better characters that that the universe created because he came from a okay so his backstory was he was part of the imperial army or well, he was like a stormtrooper basically and then he didn't realize that he actually had the he was like a jedi he had a jedi force in him yet he, he was he was the force he had the force in him and then he quit being a, a stormtrooper he just said you know what this is he got tired of it because he was so tired of seeing people dying and killing senselessly and so he gets the force, he realizes he has the force, he becomes a good guy, he fights for the rebels, but in the throughout the movie, they didn't give any of that. Like, they basically, they put this actor on screen, amazing actor, by the way, they put him on screen, and they tell us about his, his backstory, but they didn't even grow his character. So toward the very end of the, the new trilogy, we learn that Finn didn't really do much. And... It was really anticlimactic that they gave him so much of a character. Like this was even in PR, by, mind you. So the big, the big catastrophe was PR. They really, really marketed Finn as like the new staple. Like you know, he's gonna be the the Jedi, the yeah, Force. Yeah, I remember them talking about that character. Like he was in the spotlight a lot. Yeah, and the the main actor, he even was like very excited about it. And then as time progressed and the movie came out and the trilogies came out we realized that finn was basically nothing more than just to my eyes a, a back character he's just a back end character he wasn't like the main story that he was supposed to be because it was supposed to be ray and finn having some relationship uh and then throughout the movie we realized that it was kylo ren and ray but then that was also stupid with kylo ren dying the way he did which i won't spoil but I kind of spoiled it anyway, but anyway, Kylo yeah, Ren. I've already seen all the spoilers. Yeah, I seen, the, I seen it. Yeah, the way Kylo Ren just dies in the movie is really stupid, and just the relationship God, that they were gonna move forward with that character. Yeah, I was yeah, looking too. forward to seeing him, but yeah, I found out he died. I was like, oh word, this and then I stopped watching. Yeah, because he was literally the next generation of what Darth Vader would be. And he yeah, conclu that's what I was looking forward to, like a second Dark Vader. But then yeah. they just scrapped the character. They literally scrapped him, and it's the way he died. It was just so lame, and it was so distasteful to the character because he actually had a great backstory. He was some people hated Kylo Ren, but like I like this character. I liked him a lot. Yeah, I loved yeah. Kylo Ren. He was a really great character, and he was, in a in a sense, like he. He felt very relatable because he had a pain, like he had a pain about him. He was conf he was conflicting between light and dark, because you know his he's the father he's the son of a hero, which is Han Solo. But then you have you know the 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 bad side, which of course is you know Darth Vader, and so 
he was really trying to battle with himself. And we as humans can understand that because we were always in conflict with our emotions. And so we can, we saw such a growth in his character and toward the very end, he just flopped. I was like, really? This is how you're going to let this guy go? It, it was just so disappointing how they just let him just drop dead. <laughs> and I know like what they did with uh, Halo in the second season with a certain character. Yeah, it, ah, it just it just felt off, really disgraceful switch. in a way. Have you seen Have you seen Halo at all? Uh, the live series or yeah. the game? The this the show. No, I have not seen it. No, I have Yeah, it is great. The TV show is like the first season wasn't so good, but the second season was good. But uh, then they just killed a certain character that I didn't think they were gonna kill. Wow. That's that's unfortunate. Like I was expecting like one of the other characters to die, you know, but then he died. Yeah, it's just the the Star Wars universe for that matter and that scenario. That's why you're 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 hearing so much divis div divisiveness or division rather. Uh, it's just that that really was like the nail. Not in the coffin, but it was one of the nails <laughs> that could have been a really, really detrimental one. Uh, Ray oh, as a character. Hmm? I just got off this thing, if you were wondering. Oh, it's no worries. No worries. Yeah, we can talk Star Wars now to take a break. But basically, Ray as a character I love. Like Daisy Rid Ridley? Daisy Ridley, her name? Daisy's an amazing actress. I love her. She's fantastic. She played That's Ray. Yeah, she played Ray wonderfully. I think Ray Skywalker is a great, um, like a great kind of next generation character. That that to me is of no concern. My biggest concern is just how they marketed Finn as a character and completely destroyed it to the point where now the actor no longer wants to be a part of Star Wars because of that whole debacle. And oh, the Ray character. Oh, Finn. The Finn character. Oh, yeah. The Finn character. Yeah. The, I forgot his name, but um, uh, Bodea or Bo Bodega, I think that's yeah. what. It was. Yeah. So he, he was he was like extremely excited to be a part of the universe, and the moment they completely stabbed him in the back uh, with his character was completely just uh, abysmal on the part of Kathleen Kennedy. Well, I don't know if it's her decision, but. I mean, she is, she's like the one who oversees decisions, at least at that, at that point. Now I think F Filoni is the one that's watching over things now, which I'm happy for because Dave, Dave Filoni is an absolute amazing guy. And I'm glad that he's the one kind of directing things in a way now, but prior to him being a part of the, I guess the directive, it was Kathleen, I guess, who was seeing things and she, they, they just ruined the, the, the sequel trilogy in a way the first one uh was it the last jedi was great and then after that one i forgot what it was um force awakens right yeah, was I, need force? To, I need to like catch up in that whole series i've only like seen like bits and pieces of like the whole star wars i highly like, recommend it old and new i recommend it if, I know if it's a really big one just like Lord of the Rings, I never looked at that one either. Yeah, Star Wars is amazing. If if you really love Destiny 2, I mean, if there's any inspiration <laughs> that Destiny 2 is is likely inspired well, by Star my Wars. My character is that Dooku character. Oh, Count Dooku? Oh my. Play. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can, yeah. like take on three guys. Yeah, Count Dooku <laughs> is a freaking amazing. He's one of my favorite characters yeah, of all time. Yeah, the, I don't really like Palpatine. He's like, uh, like he always has somebody working for him, you know? Yeah. Oh, Ellie, that's a good point too. Okay. And I think how Han yeah, died. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna. I was reading Ellie's comments. Like how Han died was also very lackluster. Like you, you took one of the most pivotal characters in all of Star Wars history, Han Solo, let alone Harrison Ford. Like. That, this guy is the epitome of all things Han Solo, and you killed him off in such a, a very distasteful way. And, like, I get it. Like, you know, father-son sacrifice 
right? You move forward. Now the sun is kind of like the one moving on. But e even in that type of scenario, I didn't like that. This It was really distasteful. And even with Luke, oh my god, there, there's so many different things we can talk about. But Luke and Kylo Ren and their little relationship and how Luke attacked Kylo Ren in his sleep and then you know, that was like the spark that fueled Kylo Ren's like rage and it's like what the heck is going on like how, even even um Mark Hamill was like what's going on with Luke's character <laughs> even he was like angry and upset with how everything turned out and then the second film came out and just felt like such a weird narrative and experience watching. Felt like lots of wasted potential. Yeah, of course. I lost interest after that film and never watched the final entry. The whole sequel trilogy, 789, felt not very grounded in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, it used the IP, the characters, but there was no continuity. Absolutely. I think of how disappointed Mark Hamill was in the handling of Luke's character. Yep. Just like I mentioned, he was very disappointed. The films just don't feel like Star Wars to me personally, so I kind of pretend they don't—they don't—they aren't canon. <laughs> True, Han dying felt like <laughs> an investment point for trying to build into Kylo. Hearing they just killed Kylo was a worse end to that situation. It is. It's like, what, what was the point of killing off Han if you're new? You're gonna kill off Kylo. Like, if anything, sure, okay. I can understand Han being a sacrifice because, you know, he was a pivotal character. He finally has to be put to rest. But in a sense, he's passing the torch on to his son. Makes sense. But then the fact that he killed Kylo in a very lame way, which was worse than his dad, by the way. Like the way his dad died, okay, whatever. But the way Kylo Ren just, he came out with a bang too, which is the worst thing. Like that, that last sequence, I thought kylo was was coming back like he 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 finally redeemed himself he he was like reformed he's like yes i'm the light now and then he you see him transform you see the lights out of him he helps out ray and then suddenly ah, that's it you just you know he what just floats the movie what about the movie uh uh rebel moon is that related to star wars uh i don't think so rebel moon i have to go back and look at that i don't think it is though rebel moon is i know rebel is obviously like an offshoot i don't know no it isn't right yeah no. lollipop road no yeah because Ro rogue and maybe you're thinking of rogue one because rogue one no, was they made yeah. like they it's it's a it's a rebel moon i think it's it's like a parody of star wars but instead oh, really? of lightsabers, they have swords, like the dark saber, basically. Oh, I yeah. Didn't yeah, neither did yeah, I. I was like, I, I thought that was related to Star Wars. No, I don't think that would be in, in any way relatable. But then again, considering what we're just talking about. In, in the way that it's a parody of Star Wars, perhaps, but. Yeah. It's connected to it. And Time, exactly yeah and then lollipop just said uh, rebel moon is not related to star wars yeah so there you go that confirms it but yeah like like ellie said um, yeah it's like a parody it, it looks a lot much like star wars the way they what's going on out there they have swords Talk and me, guns it's likely like inspired a cowboy type of star wars if anything yeah, it's likely an inspired version, like uh, they took inspiration from Star Wars, like many, many uh, franchises have, including Destiny. I'll be real, the final straw for me was knowing that Fisher died. They spent her last years on those films. Wait, so, yeah, yeah, even that too, yeah, wow. Leia as well. And just a lot of the characters that were very pivotal. Han Solo dying in a lame way. Leia. Luke, you know, all like these are three of the biggest impactful characters ever since New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Carrie Fisher, of course, shout outs to her. She's the legend. No one will ever replace her as Princess Leia. No, no one. Period. No questions asked. She is she is the princess. But uh Yeah, it was it was just unfortunate to see all that go down the drain. And so now their their redemption arc is let's bring Ray back for you know the next next trilogy. And so I'm hoping that will be good. But 
in spite of the movies, I'm actually really impressed by their series. So Mandalorian, for example, amazing. Andor, incredible. Um, Rogue One. I have to say, uh, I'm not opposed to them killing the characters. That's not it. It's the way they did it. Yes, 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 absolutely. You're very, very, very because, correct. Because, because they had to push them to the backside somehow to focus on new character characters if they want to continue the series. Yeah, you're very correct. Very, very true. Yeah, there had to be a sacrifice in, uh, you know, letting go of Luke or letting go of Leia and Han Solo. I think was was certainly a part of the. The narrative at some at some point but like you said the way that they delivered that was definitely just not the way i i imagined let's say luke to go out for example like luke is luke is luke <laughs> you know you can't really talk about star wars without luke and yeah all kind of disrespected and weren't good characters hearing the cast take on their characters just ruins it all for you yeah mandalorian is great love mando can't wait for the movie by the way the movie's gonna be great uh, Andor is amazing. Highly recommend watching it. Yeah. One of the best, oh, yeah. one of the best Star Wars live action series uh, that I've ever watched. Uh, best, like I just in terms of the acting, the actors in the show did a really good job. Shout outs yep. to, uh, I forgot his name, but he's also Swedish and he played um, he played the the villain uh, in Dune, the father. Uh, Forgot his name now. I'll have to research it, but I'm sure. Oh, the white guy. Yeah, I forgot his name. Um. Uh, Hendrik. Uh, Hen. Oh, no, Are you no, talking no. about the father of uh, who was it? Who was the character? Was that Batista or something? Yeah. So he was the father of. Yeah. In the movie Batista, right? That yeah. Guy? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a father. The guy who had like the who can float and everything. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. the Baron, the Baron. Yeah, the Baron. Yeah, and the actor's name was Stellan Harkonnen, John. Right. The yep. Harkonnen Baron. Yeah. Yeah, Harkonnen. Yeah, Stellan John Skarsgård. You mean Stellan Skarsgård? Yes, he okay. is an incredible actor, and when he played uh, Baron in Dune, great acting, and then of course his role in Andor, the way he played. His character in Andor was just brilliant. Luthen, brilliant, Absolutely. brilliant character. Like I love Luthen a lot. As much as I love, as much as I love, love, love Andor. Shout out to to the actor for that one too. I uh, forgot his name. I'll have to research it again. But Stellan, he played such an integral role, and he played it so well. Diego Luna is his name. Is uh by the way for Cassian. Oh, yeah. yeah, amazing actor. They did so well. Even Andy, Andy Circus, the um, the prisoner, he was oh, also yeah. Oh, yeah. he <laughs> was amazing. He did such an incredible role as being like the leader of the prison pack. And then during the outbreak, you can see him like he he, he had like this really like strong, almost impenetrable exterior. But then toward the end, when Andor wanted to leave you can see his almost soft side come out like oh what, what's going on uh, i can't swim you know but like seeing seeing him being terrified of all that was also very kind of humbling but really just made the character more respectable uh but yeah, lollipop i can't stand one two three seven eight and nine that's a lot of star wars if you don't like <laughs> you like star wars eh? <laughs> you click on my profile click and look at my vote <laughs> <laughs> let's see profile <laughs> let's see where, where are you um, i mean don't read it out loud oh in your profile in in discord or in the game in discord yeah okay let me see this uh where's your profile i don't even know where you are oh, let me see I mean, profile. you already know who i'm a fan of oh <laughs> wow <laughs> That's a pretty powerful quote oh, there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know whose line that is, right? Oh yes. <laughs> Anakin's line. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
that that that's a that's pretty his, uh, that's his villain arc right there yeah no, that that arc will always be remembered with the kids <laughs> that that yeah. child's face and terror when, when you he, like when he like said master anakin and then he just pulls out his his saber this is you just see that kid's face huh yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's it. I, I think Anakin. Shout outs to, like to Star Killer too. The, yeah, uh, the story yeah. they did. I don't know if they did it in live action or like a cartoon or animated or a game, but like I saw like a story of it. I think it was either a game or like yep. an animated series. The Force Unleashed, the maybe you're thinking of two games. Yep, Force Unleashed. It was two games. Yeah, it was probably the game. Yeah, I, I looked at the like story. I like watched like a movie. Star Lord's Star Killer movie on YouTube. I think it was a game. Yeah, The Force Unleashed is probably what you're thinking about. That came out, I think, on PS3. Yeah, doesn't he? He like goes under Dark Vader and then he eventually kills him and Palpatine, I think. Yeah, he was one of the subordinates for, for Vader and then he just kind of yeah. went on off on his own. Yeah. But he's an amazing character, Star Killer, which is why I love Ark. Yeah. Like now you guys know why yeah. I love Ark so much and the Ark staff because it's it's literally yeah, like he, playing Star Killer. He, isn't he like just like Palpatine? They, doesn't he have like the the lightning thing too? Yeah, he does, yeah. 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 Which is why I love yeah, Ark so I, much. I really like this character. He's like he's really good with two sabers or whatever. Amazing. Star Killer is one of the, the, the coolest characters in all Star Wars. And he's also a character that, for some reason, hasn't had any chance to get his limelight. And I, I wish they would give uh, Star Killer some respect. But to be yeah. fair, mm -hmm. if if you take Star Killer into a movie or something, he would just more or less wipe the floor with everything. <laughs> You're not wrong. Because he was <laughs> completely overpowered. He was in the games. Yeah. He was. I mean, he, was. he pulled down a Star Destroyer from the skies <laughs> in the game. Yeah. He, he's, he really, he's like, he's incredible. He's an actually yep. insanely OP, OP character. Oh, Stark. don't get me wrong. I love him. But <laughs> you couldn't really use him in a movie. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he would, he's almost like surpassing Thanos in that sense. Like we thought yeah. Thanos was strong, but Star Killer is actually insane. Such a, an amazing character. Uh, can we pretend that only New Hope, Empire, and Jedi are the only real Star Wars movies? I'm with you. I'm with you. The original trilogy was was and still is, in my opinion, uh, probably the best. Although I will say the the prequel with Phantom Menace is still one of my favorites of all time. But I, I have to say for sure the the original trilogy is whew, you can never get tired of Empire Strikes Back and just I mean though oh go ahead Gramps Are you there Gramps uh oh the Gramps disconnect. Can you, guys, can you guys hear Gramps? Oh, never mind. Is that me? Hold on. That was probably me. Is Gramps there? Did Gramps leave? Uh oh. I think Gramps left and then didn't come back. No! There we go. Gramps, you there? <laughs> yep. No, I there. am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was weird. What were you gonna say? No, um, uh, well, I I said that those were the first movies as well, so you have to love them for just being the ones that started it. True. Yeah, you, you can't you can't help but put an enormous degree of respect on it because yeah, without them, we would not even have this discussion to begin with. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, they, we we have to give credit where credit is most certainly due, and that, that mm -hmm. was really the the impact that Star Wars made as a franchise is is all because of those those first three. 
but I I will say the prequel the prequel with Phantom Menace was was really good. Mace Windu also another favorite character of mine, and very unique character. He's the only character in Star Wars with a purple lightsaber. No one else but him has it. So that's that was that's what makes him stand out. And then of course Qui Gon Jinn is an amazing character. Just so much depth to Star Wars, and yet. They just dropped the ball so many times. And then, of course, they just released Ahsoka. And now we've seen Thrall. Sorry, Thrawn. Or wait, it's Thrall or Thrawn? Admiral. Thrawn. Yeah. Th yeah, Admiral Thrawn, right? And he's an amazing character. I can't wait for them to oh, actually dive into Admiral Thrawn. Like, if you haven't read the books for uh, Admiral Thrawn, I highly recommend if you haven't done so. Uh, Admiral Thrawn, I think he's... To me, as much as people love Darth Vader, and I, of course, I have to give credit to Darth Vader and Anakin for that, uh, but Thrawn as a character, he is like the tactician. He is he is not about just killing you. He wants to he wants to like dissect you in a very tactical and strategic way, and he's kind of like the anti-hero in a sense because he's not really necessarily evil in that sense. He kind of has his own path and he'll do things to benefit his own i guess goals and because the, I, I guess he kind of hinted in a way in that notion with ahsoka where his intentions like aren't necessarily to destroy the whole world and become like the the emperor or like palpatine or whatever but he's just a, a really strategic guy he plays chess with you and I, I love that type of character where you're not about just, you know, complete genocide or whatever. You're just, I'm tr I'm going to take you out, but I'm taking you out by thinking three steps ahead of you. And that's always fun to watch. Just the mind games of what Thrawn does. He's a really great I, I would really love to see a series or a movie or something where they fleshed out the, the Chiss Ascendancy more. Ooh, yeah, that would be great too. Yeah. Yeah. I would love that. That would be incredible. Just give more backstory. Because, I mean, we already know so much about the original. You know, we know about the cast of characters that we've already been discussing. But seeing the... And that's why I love Outlaw so much, too. Because it's a, a deviation away from what we what we typically yeah. know. You know, it's, it's a new bounty hunter, fresh. And it takes place between, I think, Empire Strikes Back and... um forgot what the other movie was but or i think it takes place before empire strikes back either way it's i, I don't really think she's a bounty hunter though she's a smuggler isn't she yeah she's more of a smuggler she's a criminal not a bounty hunter right yeah yeah yeah. that, that makes sense because she did go to jabba and jabba's kind of like mm -hmm. the under the the lord of the the smuggler dark world i guess right so I would call her a scoundrel. Well, that makes me, yeah, that actually is a better term because bounty hunter is more like Boba Fett or, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that so it's makes more like a Han Solo kind of person. Right. Yeah. That makes the most sense. And considering that it takes place before Empire, yeah, that makes sense because during that phase, Han Solo was that smuggler dealing with Jabba the Hutt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Benjamin, what's going on? Aunt Oni slot. Yeah, it, it it was great. You missed out on our run, by the way, Benjamin. We hit we hit 42 on, on our waves. We could have hit 50, but you know, there's always next time. Uh episodes one through three. I could not stand the whining kid. Anakin, he had more of a backbone. I might have liked him more. Yeah. I never watched any of the cartoon series, so the cartoon series, the only one I could really say I dived into was Tales of the Jedi. But they're more like short stories. But that was they were, they were great because it really gave us some backstory into Count Dooku as well, which is fantastic. And they're also making another part two of Tales of the Jedi, which I highly recommend, by the way, because it gave you some lore on Ahsoka and how she came to be, and then Count Dooku, and all those good things. Oh, I mean the series with Anakin and Ahsoka. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I you you don't like. The Ahsoka series. I actually found it to be quite good. Uh, 
it's just unfortunate that the actor passed uh like the worst timing possible uh because that actor played such an incredible role like it was shin hadi and i forgot the other guy's name now my brain can't remember but ahsoka is really good and uh, you know it, it's leading into something fascinating uh, i love the series on disney Mmm. Yeah, there, there's so many great things that I feel Lucasfilms did really well. But the direction they're taking now, I, I'm really not too sure. Like, it's... I don't know. It's all over the place for me right now with, when it comes to Star Wars. At one point, you know, when, when, when George was at the helm, leading the way, I felt like that was Star Wars at its, you know, at its very best. Because you had the father, you know, taking care of the child, so to speak. But then when Lucas gave it up to Disney, that was when things kind of took a turn for, I don't want to say the worst, but it certainly took a turn. I don't know where that turn is heading right now. But <laughs> all I can say is... We'll see. Yeah, exactly. We'll see. We'll see where that turn takes us. I mean, again, we know we've already discussed some positives, like, you know, some of the live action shows have been really good. And I'm looking forward to Acolyte, because Acolyte does, does look promising as a show. Uh, Bad Batch wasn't necessarily too big on. And going back to Ellie, uh, the first Star Wars film I ever saw was one, then four, five, six, due to what had been released. So I view in good, I view good in both the prequels and the originals. Yeah, Ellie, I would, I would certainly say the same. The originals, character focused and development, good overcomes evil. Yeah, and again, it's it's your you know quintessential story, right? You know, character starts from the bottom, works their way up to the top, defeats the evil boss, and then you know everyone celebrates. But now it's it's all over the place. It's just a mess, and uh, we're not too sure where it's gonna head. Yeah, prequels, world building, different aliens, Clone War, which again, another great show, The Clone Wars. If you're talking cartoons, yeah. great, great cartoon. Clone Wars is really, really good. Highly recommend watching that. Uh, I can go on for days. Like <laughs> Star Wars, Star Wars to me is is my inner child coming out of my body, and I, I'm just speaking. Because it, I can go on for uh, as long as I have to with Star Wars because of how impactful it was on me growing up. Uh, just as much as James Bond. James Bond 2 is another big franchise that played a big role in my life. And those two I can talk about forever. But definitely Star Wars, uh, there's promise. There's promise. And I just hope that Lucasfilms and Disney hold to their promise to deliver. Uh, otherwise, going back to what Jay was saying, and the, you know what started this whole conversation in the first place was, you know what started the whole divide. <laughs> well, now you know why. We've given you everything that we possibly could, Jay, as to why there's division in this whole Star Wars universe. Because passionate <laughs> fans, there are very passionate fans out there for Star Wars, and they are very, very lore heavy. And if you mess with their lore. They'll come after you and they will make sure that you hear them because <laughs> they, they will make sure that if you're on social media, they will make sure that they are heard. Their voices are very loud. And so even I think Daisy Rid, uh, Ridley mentioned that like, there's an article she talked about in an interview where she understands like why people are so divisive, but at the same time, she recognizes that there's a lot of love and peace that comes with the community of Star Wars, and I agree with her. Like, as as much as there are loudmouths out there who will complain and bicker about every single thing about the lore, there are a lot of people, uh, just as much, who really love Star Wars, uh, from the characters to the lore to everything the world provides. Star Wars is is a dream for many people and a charming experience. Yeah, Ellie, Clone Wars is amazing. Yeah, Clone Wars is uh, definitely one of the better cartoons uh, for Star Wars, but just cartoons in general. Like, it was really well developed. Animation for its time, too, was fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, I can go on for days. Just Jack, you have a lore drop? 
You gotta go. No worries, Jack. Tomorrow you can drop the you can drop the lore stuff. No problem. No problem. Well, I'm just wrapping up anyway because the it's been like seven hours, and I I usually go only go for like four to five, so I'm already well over my <laughs> my limits. I'm just spitting my brain out with Star Wars. Uh, the comics put out by Dark Horse Comics were really good. Yep, even the comics too by Star Wars are really well done. Yep, yep, yep. The early comics for from Dark Horse are fantastic. Again, this was this was pre Disney era we're talking about too, by the way. So before Disney came in and swooped up, and you know turned Star Wars into what it is now. Now take care, Jack. I'll I'll be I'll be here again tomorrow. So don't worry. I'll be playing. Uh, I'll be soloing the Witch tomorrow. So a little bit of a break from onslaught, but it'll it'll be uh, it'll be an onslaught in the Witch, the Witch run, or not Witch. Sorry, is it Witch? My brain, my brain doesn't work anymore right now. I'm, I'm offline. Uh, whisper. Hmm. Oh yeah, whisper. There you go. Whisper. Thank you. My brain's thinking about something else. That that witch has like given me PTSD in the uh, onslaught. <laughs> <laughs> You've been streaming for eight, almost eight hours. Yeah. This, it's an unusual time for me to be streaming this long. But today was a really good day. And, you know, of course, Geek Media, that's that's a longtime friend of mine in real life. And he's also a geek, hence the name. And he's a comic book nerd, Marvel, Star Wars. And today was just a really good day. Like, it was the perfect recipe. You know, seeing Star Wars, excuse me, seeing Star Wars Outlaws, the new story trailer, which I've been waiting for. Uh, and then getting Onslaught in this amazing game that is destiny 2 is is phenomenal and Javi, i hope you can jump in today i got okay i gotta show you um i'll go into the tower because i need to show you where you can go to collect this stuff so if you were to come back in uh let's say let's say you just wanted to reset the game and you wanted to play a different class and because i know you run titan anyway but if you were to ever change your mind which I won't condone because I know how it feels. <laughs> Everyone's been trying to do that to me, so I won't do it to you. But if uh, you'd have to purchase an expansion, um, for this one, if you are, oh, in, no. yeah, you don't have to. This is this is absolutely free. All you have to do is log into the game, and you can be a new light player. And all you have to do is speak to Ikora, or first you have to go through the whole um, cutscene with talking to Lord Shax and whatever, but after that, after that's done, you literally go to where uh, myself and Gramps are headed to, and all you have to do is talk to Ikora, and you can choose the class you want, you can completely bypass the entire New Light quest storyline that you, that you and I have done, and you can just choose what class you want. So, did they give you, you say that uh, Harvey got that uh, the expansions from the humble bundle? Did you? I I gave it to him. I gave him the link, but I'm not too sure if he actually purchased it. Because okay. if you if you purchased the bundle that I gave you earlier, like a long time ago, uh, Harvey, that gave you everything. Oh, you didn't purchase them? Oh man, that was that was the biggest biggest opportunity because that that was forty bucks for what would retail value that's like 300 plus dollars <laughs> that, that you probably you probably saved because that was like 40 bucks at humble bundle and you got all the expansions yeah <laughs> you basically you could have you could have spent 40 bucks and got the entire expansion up until lightfall like that was the best moment to get it uh but to elaborate with what I was saying with uh, the new light stuff, basically they added this in for new players. So once you log into the game, depending on what class you choose, whether it's Warlock, Titan, or in this case, Hunter, they have kits now. And so these kits are already ready. They're campaign ready. They give you your abilities and you get an exotic armor quest, which means you have access to exotic armor right out the gate. And then... Once you choose your class, which I won't click on because I don't want to screw up my account, but if you were to click on something, 
let's say uh, Arc Strider. You click on that and then boom, you immediately have that build ready for you and you can bypass the entire New Light quest. And all you got to do is if you want more equipment, if you wanted more armor, all of that is free now. And all you have to do is go to the Into the Light and you go to the Hall of Champions, which I was just at just a while ago. You go here and you just talk to um, you talk to Lord Shax and then there's a chest next to him, a gold, a, a chest full of gold coins. You talk, you, you click on that um, chest and you can purchase armor that is of the level that most players are at. So it's I like I don't even think you have to purchase it. You just get it. Yeah, you just yeah, you just get it, which is crazy. So you just go to the you go to the box after you've done the new light stuff. You go to the treasure chest, you look at the armor, and all the armor is at the same level that every pinnacle player is at, which is, you know, myself included in Gramps. And you're basically in the game. So you don't have to even go through any headaches. You just click a button, you come in, and you're right where we, you're right where we are. So you can you can do raids with us, you can do dungeons with us, you can do onslaught with us, and you won't have to worry about the grind. Like it's super super amazing. So this is the chest I'm talking about right here. So you go to approach, right? Boom, and then it opens this. But right here, so you get a you get a free exotic. You get a free piece of gauntlet, an exotic gauntlet, and you get access to all these legendary weapons that are that are pretty decent. I wouldn't say amazing, but decent nonetheless. And then you have access to 1810 legendary armor that you can just apply, and then you're already in the game. Like it's it's really, really good. It's a fantastic free-to-play experience now. It's no longer a free, it's no longer like free to try. It really is free to play. You jump in and you want to, you know, bring your friends into the game. This is the best way to do it. And now, of course, if you want to expand, you can, you know, use your, your money and buy the expansions. Uh, but before all that, you don't have to do that. You can literally just go to the treasure chest, grab your free weapons, play the game like you, like play the game like uh, Gramps and I and Jay play and you're good. It's it's that much easier for new players. It's really amazing, and I'm 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 actually really glad they did that, because the new light quest line is, a will be honest, and for lack of a better term, crap. But it's you know, <laughs> I had to go through it, and at the time of me going through it, obviously I was really amazed by it. But looking back at it, you know, doing it over and over again, every new class, I was like, this is this is not that great. There, there is some merit to do the new light quest line still to learn the game. You haven't played it before at all, but I mean, you really want to be able to join someone or some people to play sooner or later. So exactly being able to just jump in whenever you feel ready for it is, is a great thing, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, depending on who your friends are, they can just teach you the, how, to, how to play the game because they've played it long enough to where they can just completely explain to you maybe far more than what the new light quest storyline does. And maybe within 15, 20 minutes, you'd probably get what you have to do, which I'll be very honest. I'm sure everyone in my community can teach you in the blink of an eye and you will probably be where I am. <laughs> And when I when I be streaming again tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be streaming again, but I won't be running onslaught. Uh, well, maybe no, maybe Friday because Friday is usually my community day, so I'll run that again on Friday. And this time I got to get Ellie in there. We can run some more. Uh, but tomorrow I want to try and solo the Whisper mission. And I guess if there's time after, if I feel salty or tilted after the run. <laughs> <laughs> if I somehow just change my mind, I'll, I'll probably run on slot to de-stress and just blow everything up. So, yeah, tomorrow I'll be here. Friday I'll be here. I stream Monday through Friday, so uh, I'll always be here. In in the event, like a rare event that I have something to do, then I'll message people on Discord 
but for the most part, I'm I, I I'm pretty consistent with my my streams. It's usually Monday through Friday, same time, around 7:30 ish my time in J Japan. So, all that being said, um, it is breakfast for me, and I need to eat. It's like eight eight in the morning now. And I'm looking at the sun, and this is unusual for my brain. My brain's just asking me questions like, why is the sun out right now? And why have you not gotten any good sleep? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is just uh, not not really... Well, I, I guess I did get some sleep. I did sleep all day. Well, not all day, but I, I did rest most of the day yesterday before all this took place. So I, I guess that's why I have so much more energy than usual because I made sure to, to rest well because I knew that this day would be really, really big. But yeah, definitely join, Navi. Definitely join, man. This is this is the best time. And you missed... Oh my gosh. Not even that. You missed out on some amazing, amazing content that's coming out for this game. Like... If you have the time, watch the Final Shape gameplay showcase that dropped today, and you'll understand why. <laughs> you'll you'll see why I'm so awake right now. That just yeah, whoo man, it's still oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow is is definitely the word I can describe or two words. Oh wow is amazing. Like you will be blown away. And if you aren't blown away, I don't know what will blow you away, but that blew me away. And I imagine most of the Destiny community that was blown away by that surprise. But like, my gosh, like the fact that you can do th three different combinations. It, it's it, again, just watch and, it. Uh, imagine no one has leaked it. Right. Yeah. Nobody I mean, leaked it. No data mining, no internal leaks no nothing nothing at all like de like the bungee devs literally kept this one like they were playing poker like it was close to their chest you can't poker face you didn't even know it was coming no one knew this was coming we we all had our our, our speculations and and you know, our theories but when it finally dropped and I saw what was on screen. I thought it was a glitch. I thought it was like an actual bug. <laughs> but then they kept playing and I'm like, what is this? What's going on? And it was so amazing. And this- To be honest, it, it felt a bit like an April Fool's uh, joke. Right. It was almost too yeah. good to be true. I, I, I was like, there's no way this is actually happening. There's no way they're giving us that much freedom when it comes to customizing a build because build crafting is part of Destiny's, you know, core. And they just gave us literally a brand new subclass that like epitomizes <laughs> the, the whole aspect of of build crafting. And it's going to be an advanced class. So that in itself is going to add more complexity and more creativity. And I can go on for days and I'm sure Graham's too, because we were both just like... I, so Graham's put it in the best way. Like he, if if we had no ears, our smile would crack our skulls. Like it would, our smile would go well beyond <laughs> the limits of our face, because that's how much I was smiling. It it was just an incredible experience to to tune into. I was surprised by it, but it was a surprise that I was very impressed by, and now I'm just even more excited, more like itched, like itching frothing at the mouth waiting until june and now i'm just like june can't come any sooner before i was like man june eh, oh, it'll come around now i'm just like damn it well i want it now you know like i want i want this thing to happen today you know if, if oh but if it happened today we wouldn't have onslaught for this long true that is true too or we can swap we can swap positions and then put onslaught later on and then put the subclass today. <laughs> <laughs> now that would have been something that is fair. <laughs> that would have been something special right there. I would have honestly, if that was the trade-off, I wouldn't have oh I got disconnected, it's fine. I wouldn't have um I wouldn't have minded if they gave us the, a free <laughs> into the light with a new subclass that was what we saw today. I would have been completely okay with that as well. And then if they gave us Onslaught for Final Shape, it's like, okay, cool, all right, no problem. But either way, 
whatever whatever the case is i i'm still happy i'm i'm a kid in a candy shop and i own the candy shop now i stole the keys from the from the manager and they can't find me <laughs> and i've locked them out of the store and i'm just like <laughs> i'm laughing now so <laughs> i just i i love destiny uh, destiny is is such a great great game and what they're doing with it all the naysayers all the haters who are just talking negatively saying oh the game's gonna die i'm telling you right now they're all those people they're eating all their words because they're they're mm -hmm. probably they're probably the same people who watched today's trailer and they they were probably just as impressed if not more impressed did you see the Asta Cross video? No, Where I did he not. Compared uh, Destiny to an old grandpa. Oh yeah, where he said like, oh the the fisherman analogy, where like he'll take yeah. you fishing, but he's <laughs> it's his yeah. last time fishing before he dies. <laughs> Is it going to die right now? <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing so hard with that analogy too, because it, it makes so yeah. much sense. I'm like, oh it yeah. Did, <laughs> typical grandfather he knows he's going he's like all right son it's been a while but uh yeah how, how about we go fishing really grandpa yeah why not because he just knows he's, he's, he's dying anyway so he might as well go yeah. with the bang <laughs> but i hope that does not happen with with uh with destiny i hope that grandpa lives on for another 10 more years and yep. you know we can do more fishing because right now <laughs> <laughs> right now i want to keep fishing i love i love fishing right now and i love grandpa and you know i'm sure grandpa loves me too but i want him to be alive for another uh, I decade love <laughs> <laughs> i love you too gramps <laughs> <laughs> so i i really hope that uh i hope that this game stays alive and i really hope that their transition into what's coming next with like the chapters and episodes will be the turning point and hopefully it'll be a good like a, a brand new healthy chapter for the game because this is really like a closing of a chapter which was a really big chapter of destiny so i hope oh, yeah. that yeah i hope that the final shape does close the chapter in a good way which already i'm <laughs> Considering what I've seen today, I think the chapter will close in a very good way and bringing, bringing forth the new episodes, the episodic format, I think will be, uh, for the next 10 years, I think it'll be good, if not great. So I, I always have this intuition in my mind or in my gut where like, if I'm led towards something, usually it's for the better. So I think it, but it brought you here exactly exactly my intuition can't be wrong really there you go exactly <laughs> it brought me here and if my intuition brought me here there's likely a good reason because your intuition will always lead you somewhere that's a safe option or the, a good option uh, because it leads you away from danger it leads you usually towards safety so if there is anything that intuition confirms it's that destiny 2 is not going to go anywhere anytime soon and if uh, my intuition is correct, then, like I said, Grandpa's not going anywhere. Grandpa is going to be staying, and I look forward to going fishing every single week. And Jay, you're busy? No problem. Don't worry about it. You, we, we were busy together playing the Onslaught. We had a great time. So don't you fret. Uh, I'll be here again tomorrow, like I said, uh, doing uh, the Whisper mission. And of course, if time permits, which I'm sure it will, we'll jump into more of the Onslaught. So that being said, it is now 8.30. It is close to eight hours of me streaming. And I'm done. I am going to clock out. And I'll see you folks again. Gramps, pleasure having you on the mic. And a pleasure, as always, playing with you. Absolutely the same. Always, always a wonderful experience. And we're always in very good spirits, good vibes no no anger here so uh, i'm very happy with that and again thanks to to everyone who stopped by today lollipop ellie again i apologize for well yeah i i, I guess i apologize for streaming <laughs> this long but streaming at a time that i'm not usually supposed to stream at but then again this is the very last time so don't ever think that this is going to happen again 
unless <laughs> Bungie announces some other surprise on Wednesdays. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. I'm usually very, very never consistent. Say never. never say never, yeah. We never know. They might announce another you know Wednesday special and show off more of the the the, the subclass. But until then, don't worry. Again, every Wednesday from now on, we'll be back to normal schedule. And Ellie, again, I, I wanted to play with Ellie today. It was really supposed to be an uh, Ellie, myself, and Gramps, and Lolly. Uh, but of course, you know, everyone's just playing the game. They're hyped for it too, so there's always tomorrow. And I'm, I also, shout outs to Ellie and Gegman as well for actually completing the, the wave, 50 wave, and getting it done. So Heck yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah, big ups to you both for doing that duo with a random. So if y'all can do it, then I'm sure Gramps and I and one of you folks can, and Jay, of course, can do it We're regardless. We were almost there. Like I said, we were almost there, but it's just, you know, some getting used to, which will, will, come, will come with time. Either way, I'm happy. Everyone's happy. That's all that matters. And until next time, as I always say, new warriors, stay strong, keep fighting, and may the force be with you all. Always. All right. Ellie, didn't get to catch you today or the first impressions, but there's always another time. And that time will be tomorrow, Ellie. And I'll be here on time. And you can wake up knowing I'll be there. And don't worry. All right. I got you. Lollipop, Javi, everyone, y'all take care of yourselves, okay? Gramps, you yourself, take care, my brother. I'll see you again soon, okay? Jay, you take care of yourself too. If you're on the mic, take care of yourself. And I'll see you again soon. So folks, again, see you again very, very soon. And by soon, I mean tomorrow. All right? Have a good one. Happy. Hopefully be here tomorrow. You guys take care of yourself, okay? I'm out. Peace!